Just Carl waiting. kind of is a healer. Yeah, we're just waiting. We're just waiting on uh, Eric. I, I think I should fire into combat this time. Yes. I think you should. Me yes, I think you should too. I, I think I. Uh, oh, woo! Thanks for the no warning, Jay. Do, do we want to quickly do a what our characters are? Well, we talking? do it. We do it live in an announcement, right? We usually, uh, oh. yeah, in the beginning. But yeah. Um, you got uh, uh, Edge of Greyhawk Mage, you got uh, Tony's a Fighter Mage, right? Uh, and uh, Telegord's a priestess, priest, he's half over a priest of Peronius. And then Excelli's a Shadow Mage Bounty Hunter Multiclass. Kazara is a fighter, half orc fighter. Devin's a bandit. Uh, and Rosie's a thief, straight thief. And Carl's a Ranger Druid. Yep, Carl's backloaded. Hit a check. Backloaded, sorry. I'm yes! The, the no slobs are here. Make sure everything's running. We're good. We're good. Jay, I have a new idea for you to get really rich. Ah, uh, I love it. Uh, you know all those minis you're just showing us in the stream? Yes. Well, all the new cryptocurrency should be minis. Uh, <laughs> I'm, staying away, I'm staying away from crypto at the FTX, man. Oh my. worth billions. Oh my god, and then lose it all in the three days. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. That, oh, that's a fun, that's funny, Ed. A roller coaster, right? Yeah. yeah. Then, then they all got they all got on a plane to Argentina or something. Yep. <laughs> Did they? I thought they were already in the Bahamas living. Yeah, from the Bahamas to Argentina or Bolivia. They're not sure yet. $500 million disappeared overnight. That's, we don't talk about that now. We're in reality now. We're in d d reality instead. Hell yeah. 500 million gold pieces? Yeah, no, <laughs> real coins. I'll be right back. Um, and just for a warning, I have flexed on several of my friends um, who play d d that I am playing with you tonight, so. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I was very I excited. Hey, I'm Same. just a guy. I'm a guy who would not go away. Uh, oh, I, I am older than dirt. I was born in the 50s. Oh, that's not that old. I, yeah, I work in the uh, I know some real old people. Um, okay. But I, I end up using this opportunity to go to the local game shop that does sell the Seven Sisters uh, to try and get a discount, so... <laughs> ah, that was a fun book. I was really excited when I saw it. I was looking at their first edition stuff and their like old school D and D stuff, and I was like, "Oh, I know somebody who wrote that." <laughs> As the best spell in it, Turtle Soup. Turtle Soup. What a good spell. <laughs> Turtles all the way down. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> there, there's a no. I mustn't share that. <clears throat> uh oh. You have to go to a con to, to talk to him about it. I was I was doing it right at uh, Game Hall, man. He was came into uh, you know, where the after party lounge thing was with uh, his crew. They threw down some. What was the game you guys were playing with? Cat and uh, Andrew and uh, the guy from NT or RPG Bot. All thingy. All. Thingy. Yeah, yeah, that looked pretty. That looked. It got a little tense over there. So yeah. That, uh, Throwing of bottles or something. Viking parliaments are all things. So Ooh. the plural is all thingy. <laughs> which is sort of like American elections. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. But <laughs> can we also maybe start talking about religion since you know No <laughs> Let's go <laughs> I do you guys want to talk about the religion that I'm starting? I'm God in it, so Oh good. <laughs> okay. I can't hear you for it, uh, Tony. It's uh, fine. Is, I must muted myself because I do that, and then I is, it, and then I talk. Is there Lou? Is there um, rituals? This religion? I fucking hope so. That would be so cool. Nice. What kind of religion do you have without ritual? Himself. None can surpass the Grand Majesty. You are. Uh, oh boy. One of the <laughs> oldest. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in for we it. We don't tonight. talk about that, Mary. We don't talk about that, honey. Remember, we, we went over that last week. All right. I am in for it tonight. No human sacrifice at all. No, I said none of that. Only on Tuesdays. Game hole. I felt bad pestering you. Who me? No, Ed. 
Yeah. Because yeah. everybody's always like all around, and I was like, yeah, hey, yeah, that's fine. With yeah, there were. There, I, I was talking for one second. Tony. 140 and then, and then heroes. <laughs> And then someone drops to his knees in front of Ed. I'm like, oh, warriors. And they're <laughs> always <laughs> guys. Yeah. <laughs> it introduces the basics of China. Oh, well, they, they, okay. All the people you don't want doing that. And the many legendary well, yeah. You know, I, I watch them go to their knees, and I think, oh, it's going to be a long way up. And I extend my hand so they can climb up me to get up right again. And they give me this weird look. And so then they try and get up Chinese right. Fantasy styles, like it's, Uchi, um, and more. That's the <laughs> price of legendary <laughs> status, Ed. And that people I know. Are to sacrifice their knees and not realize their age, perhaps, when they're... Yes. In worship. Researched and written by Brian that, Young. That is the, that is the price you pay. The, the delightful the thing about world. being an elder gaming god. Gods and <laughs> it's, like being, <laughs> it's like being the and downhill the ski champion of the Sahara Desert. The of <laughs> <laughs> to the stories. You mean, step outside and nobody knows who you are. You know? Oh, yeah. codex You're in the convention and center and everything's good. You take. step outside and someone says, Hey, and buddy, you today. got a quarter? <laughs> yeah. You're like, no, I work in gaming. Oh, Lord, yes. yes. Do you like that? Exactly. As, as my daughter says, you're nerd famous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nerd famous is good. Tony, how old's your daughter? 16. Oh, okay. That's not there yet. Yeah. No, she's, she thinks I'm just basically out of school, so. <laughs> it, as Tony, any 16 year old should. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a stage. You know, when she needs the car and money, she'll change her tune. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, no. Nice. She gets really mad if her friends say that I pulled off. Like, no, <laughs> wow. Gaming stuff? That's so awesome. And she's like, no, she's not. She's not cool. <laughs> she's like, no. She, she turns human again around 21. You'll be fine. She okay. Four years. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> next convention that Tony goes to, that her daughter's standing near, we all have to go to our knees. Yeah. <laughs> around Tony and watch her daughter freak. She would totally lose her mind. <laughs> She'd be like, what is going on? This is weird. And bring her to, to your uh, make her feel bad for uh, I sent a message to uh, Ed, Eric. We'll make sure when you go to pick up your badge, uh, the, the staff will freak out. Tim threatening? Uh oh. Yeah, like I've been here. Uh oh. Like I'd be a regular person. Every mysterious is already at it. All right, one more. Oh, okay. New Kickstarter. I took oh, mine no. out too, Tony. Take, take him out, Tony. Take him out. Maybe a little bit. You don't have to see the screen. You can be like all the drivers on the highways of Michigan. Just drive. You don't have to look. Oh my God. Houston, there's no time limit, right? Jimmy, you guys don't have a game over at Jimmy's, right? No, I am. I am free all Awesome. Day. Yes. My love. Not awesome for Jimmy. Not awesome. Okay, I'm, I'm prepped. Let's see what we got. Yeah, the music just got really heavy. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, well, that's a um, new Kickstarter coming out. Here comes out. We have that. Uh, um, Bill, Bill already did it up. We have one of those uh, those lighthouses. We're really excited about it. That's a new, new Kickstarter from Gamescape. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's hit this button here. Get things rolling up here. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Eric. He, he hit the button. Oh, I hit no. the... Big red shiny button. Hmm. That was easy. Look at that, Eric. We're ready to roll. I'm here, just barely in time. So. That's okay. Uh, I... Eric! <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Not to give away inside information, but that suggestion I made, are you going to do that? Yes, I, I will send it to you shortly. Okay, uh, yeah, because it 
It's either going to be one of two that you have. All right. Just then. Yeah. Good. Awesome. Welcome, everyone. Let's get started here. A first time ever merging of two existing adventuring groups. Well, for tonight. Never done that before? Not like this, no. Never, never. You know, I've done it with uh, my guys, but you know, they're playing now. They all know each other, so. <laughs> a map and a vision. I apologize for what's gonna happen in the first 10 minutes, by the way. Uh, I have some, I have two, I have two characters that I named when I was an adolescent, so that's my, well, actually, Tim named them. Uh, you'll see. But they're, they're a big part of the story, so. Oh, thanks, Bones. My hand slipped. <laughs> you say that shit every time. I got really slippery hands. What a fingers. No I hear my palms are all sweaty. Straight onto the resume. I have really slippery hands. <laughs> I also just got paid, so we're That's following That's Connie. Thank you. Tim, you're always being blamed for something. It's, yeah, you'll see, Tim. You'll know in a second. Oh, well, within for 10 minutes, you'll know. I'll, 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 give you, I'll say three words to you. Wizard of Id. Can we temporarily time out, Tim? Yeah, uh, can we do that, please? Can we, we ban Tim? Can we, can, we, can we ban Tim for tonight? No, we can't ban him. They have a mysterious? It can't be. It can't be. It's for funsies. <laughs> this yeah, is for science. Fun. It's for science. I'm an intellectual woman, a woman of academia, if you will. Yeah, I want to see how much less of a hard time we have if Tim is banned for the night. Yeah. I want to know how hard of a time we'd have if Tim was banned for the night and Rob is here all, the whole time. Right. Day. No, it wasn't yeah. Tim. It wasn't Tim as much as it was Cannibal. It was Troy that did, that did all those idea, cheers like, against yeah, you. Yeah, I was waiting time. to point that one out. Troy was the uh, Troy was the killer last time. So. Uh, Good evening, everyone. I'm J.K. Lord Gazumba, and this is our first time we're doing this. I'm really excited. We've been talking about this for like nine months to uh, take a uh, merge together some groups, have a crossover event. So we have, if you if you know from watching, we have uh, two drink minimum. We have three members of two drink minimum and five members mm. of the Slav Squad Squad mm. together. Well, maybe together. We'll see what happens. Hopefully that does occur. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let me do something real quick so everyone can start hitting uh, their sign-ups. Uh, no problem, Andy. I see your, your response there, uh, and I'll show you all those. And then we're going to do. A, we're going to um, have everyone introduce their character while I'm doing this. So, Ed, start it all for us, please. If you don't mind, talk about your character, and if you want to talk about your back, you a little bit. If people don't know who you are, me, you, you never know. Oh, okay, so I am playing Rad Lantar, who uh, was a protege of Otenlu, but Otenlu, sadly, thanks to Rary, is no longer with us. So I now follow Jawal, but I am the Great Hawk Mage of the School of Oakaluk, and um, I am Ed Greenwood, and I created the Forgotten Realms 50, 60, yeah, 58 years ago. Ugh. Yes, noting that Ed's campaign is longer than mine, continuously running, <laughs> as Ed noted that once in a uh, Twitter post, which was hysterical. Yes! Darn it! <laughs> Get off my lawn! <laughs> <laughs> but Ed was kind enough to say to me. Um, you can have the U.S. record. I, I, I'll take Canada, which was which was kind of kind there. So, all right. So Ed, Tony, Eric, all have specials already. Look at that. Oh, you gave it to the other team. That's smart. Ed, Tony, Eric, and thank Be you. Be welcoming to cool? our to Tony, Ed, and. and I'll was, remember this, Josh. Well, we do have we do have one for the. Wait, wait, we, yeah. we do have one for the group already. We do have one general group uh, for the group. So uh, we go across that, uh, darling. Please introduce your character and yourself. Hello, I am Darling Creepshow, just your resident creep on Twitch. I play TTRPGs like D&D, &D, and I also paint D&D &D miniatures. And tonight I'm playing everyone's favorite cheese-eating halfling thief, Rosemary or Rosie Applebottom. Yes, a great character. And notice uh, what uh, this, what's this mini I have right here? Oh, is that my Charlie dog? Yes. 
Yeah, it's my little Charlie dog. Yes. We love him. We kiss yeah. him on the lips. You have your dog from the last adventure. So <laughs> Don't touch me, Ed. I see your face. <laughs> <laughs> so most of these characters, the great thing is that this group is all the same level. So Revelator, seventh level graph mage, and Rosie is a seventh level halfling thief. And uh, next, and thank you for coming on there, uh, darling. Next, uh, Tony. Uh, my name is Tony Winslow Britt. I do various writings and editing for role playing games, all kinds of stuff, fun like that. Um, I have just all kinds of stuff going on. It's fun. Busy, you, right? It keeps, it, keeps, it keeps me busy. Yeah, so absolutely. A little bit this week. Who are you, pl who are you playing? I am playing Exolia of House Gestural, uh, half elf uh, fighter mage, uh, kind of grumpy, kind of a uh, little bossy. So, yeah, she's gonna fit in perfectly me. with the slobs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, so, um, and also House, house Just Ruled. So, uh, Exeli and uh, and Devin, another half elf from Celine. There you go. Yeah. She, she's a half elf from Celine. And uh, so, uh, Tony, welcome and uh, thanks for coming on tonight for this. Uh, okay. Man Mandy, what's going on, Mandy? Hey everybody, I'm Mandy, or the Mandy, as you see me all over the internet. I'm a professional dungeon master, D&D player, and all around weird person. Feel free to follow me on Twitch. Uh, and tonight I am playing uh, Exceli of House Pendrel, the uh, half gray elf uh, shadow mage bounty hunter. Yes, shadow mage bounty hunter. And uh, you'll see, uh, once we get started, that will uh, play a little, both those classes are going to play into this adventure tonight, which is really cool. So uh, looking forward to it, and uh, thanks for coming on, Mandy, on this uh, fun. And thanks this, for having me again. This was mostly your idea, by the way. You were the one. It that was my idea. Yes, it was. This but it was really like a, a like a hope and a prayer and Twitch chat, and you answered it. So that's pretty dope. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Well, let's say that you know, two drink minimum answered it, and I imagine there's going to be a lot of drinking, whether it's fake or real tonight. So that's a good thing. <laughs> Definitely, as we get rolling here, uh, Bones, welcome. Hi, it's me, uh, LittleBones309. I'm your favorite indie gamer on Twitch.tv with the smallest bones on the internet. You can't prove otherwise. Uh, and I am playing <laughs> your favorite bandit, Devin, who does nothing but collect teeth um, oh and gosh. has started eating hair now. Um, that's got, super fun. She's got some uh, <laughs> Level and she, 7, what? And you shoot into melee combat, too. I do shoot, shoot into uh, melee combat, more than I probably should. I should remember by now. I've been playing one e for long enough. Uh, but I am uh, your half elf uh, uh, from Celine. Mm -hmm. um, very good, very powerful, um, and super interesting and super cool. So with 68, 68 hit points. Sixty eight hit points. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she took okay. tough, she took toughness as well, um, along yes. with someone else who will. Um, you'll see in a second on hit points of, of a character coming up in this discussion here. Uh, Myriad, what's going on there? Hello. Hi, guys. I'm Myriad or Pearson. Whatever you want to call me is fine. I am an artist and a streamer, and sometimes I stream art. Wow, crazy. Uh, <laughs> you can find me at Myriad underscore X uh, here on Twitch. Um, and I am playing Kazara Kalir. She is a half work fighter. Kind of aloof. Kind of really doesn't give a shit. Just kind of does whatever Excelly wants her to do. So... But she's a good fighter. She's a um, she fights with I great, hard. great I mace, hard. half orc female, great or with great mace. So uh, I'm wondering to see what happens with interaction with someone else in the party. If we'll see that in a second too. Oh and, no! And next, <laughs> oh yeah, and next, mind games. Josh. Hi, Josh. Um, yeah, Eric. What's your character's class again? Who's gonna talk? Mine is a cleric. Do you get into the front lines much there a lot? All the time. I apologize in advance. <laughs> like, uh, what's that always to, run? <laughs> for shooting. <laughs> Tony, are you up there too? Usually up yeah. in the front? Okay, I apologize in advance. He's prepping spells. Sweet. It's just that it's what Carl does. I'm playing Carl Spackler Leaf. He's Carl Spackler from Caddyshack. <laughs> uh, he's kind of a slob. Oh, no. Kind of a doofus. <laughs> uh, but he's good with a bow, and uh, he's also a druid as well. A druid ranger. Yeah. Um, and gets along, I guess, with Rosie in the slob regard. I guess, you know, if we're going to do slobs versus snobs, then it's it's Rosie and, and Carl there. We're just dirt bags together eating our pocket cheese. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's, but, you know. Carl's um, a silver elf. And, uh, I mean, outside of here, I, I guess I, I run I run cons. Uh, <laughs> I, 
I hope Brian Gary can. Um, it's been a, a total wonderful uh, experience. Got involved during the pandemic doing virtual stuff because I, I I know things uh, tech wise, and um, uh, now we're doing the physicals. So you uh, drink and you know things. Yeah, he knows things. Uh, yeah, you, you picked it up. Uh, <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, so yeah, this whole um, like the Fantasy Island Love Boat crossover episode here is, is, is rad. <laughs> That's they, awesome. They doing That's it. a great analogy, dude. Oh my gosh. That's Friday great. nights or whatever it was. You, we need uh, Chris. Uh, all, <laughs> all we need now is back to back. All we need now is Christy McNichol to show up. I, I thought, where's my wig? I was going to wear yes, the, that his wig. multicolored wig. That could have been like that. You do have that. So, well, Josh, thanks. Thank and uh, Josh is, uh, hey, you know, uh, not all members of both groups are here. So just note that, okay? Not all members from both groups are here. Thanks, Kit. Um, and we'll talk about that in a second. And lastly, Eric, the legendary Eric Boyd. Eric, welcome. Thank you. Glad to be here. Nice to meet you all. I am playing Telegor Stunk Nord. Known the most as the eternally optimistic, also as the sponge. Um, he is a half ogre from Keeland who has decided to embrace the faith of Heronius. And he is going to die soon and come back as a revenant in Jay's next campaign. But <laughs> until that time, he is seeking glory in the halls of Heronius by dying a valorous death. And he will charge right into it at a moment's notice. Um, he will also try to convince the rest of you that to get right with Heronius, you do need to, uh, you know, charge into battle and show your bravery at a moment's notice. So, yes, he uh, he will die during this adventure. It's it's kind of a given. Jay's given me enough of a length, but uh, I'm going to drag <laughs> it out as long as I can because uh, I probably have the most hit points in the party now. Um, if yeah. you flip those last two digits, that would be me. <laughs> yes, and you have what eighty six hit points. Eighty six. Eighty six. Yes. But he remember he. He uh he uh took toughness as well when he got to seven, so he got a whole eight hit points because of his extra hit die. So uh, as a half ogre, so nasty. So here's the people not here. <clears throat> we don't have MJ here, so we don't have Dellen, your um, the clerk mage thief for the Slav Squad squad. And so you the Slavs, you're not sure where she is. She's probably off at the Magic Users Guild or something. Um, Nira is not here. Anna 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 gracefully said, you know, hey. Let everyone else play. So Anna, Anna uh, is sitting this one out, probably watching. Thanks, Anna. She has Nira, her archer thief, and then uh, Eric Boy, um, Eric Mengi, Eric Mengi, his ha um, halfling um, is out searching for the hair lord, like he always does all the time. Um, so he is not here either, and that's the group we have. And uh, so uh, we're going to get things started here. Please note at least two giveaways. You saw them. We got our. Someone's going to win both decks. You got these bones, right? Oh, yeah, baby. The Dexter. I really want that. Wow. Dexter. Apparently, get with a huge one. Four for the Thank table. Thank you. Five, the oh. table, three for the house. Hey. Thank Whoa. you so very much. Whoa. I'll go over that in a second, by the way, because I've already been tabulating. Yes. So, um, and, then, and then at least. They're uh, so nice. We got our, we got our colors here. Uh, Calliope, because I can pronounce it right. Pink, Nick's black, and the Aquas green. So we get, we're at least doing two giveaways tonight. We're going to really bump that up as we go. Um. So, uh, and note, it should be exclamation point drawing. That should already be set up. So everyone's eligible to, to, to It's do working. That. Great. I just tested it. Awesome. So, um, all right. So that's five for the group here. So all player characters have at least one. Let me see which, um, which of the three of you now have two specials. Um, Rosie has two. Nixolia has two. And Exeli has two. Everyone else has one, okay? Everyone has one regular, one special right now. Yeah, I know you gave a thousand caveats, Tim, but no one's going to listen to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Tim. That, Tim. Suck it, Tim. That's what you get for threatening me, Tim. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Suck it, nerd. Here's the storyline to date. You both have a habit of actually, and I have this set up as if we get to a point, what's going to be happening here. You all, you both share the same table in the same bar, but not at the same time. And that is in the Salty Dog in the Free City of Altamira, which will all, any, most of the stuff we're going to uh, have tonight is going to appear in the box set, by the way. This is a big, a big adventure night for, uh, for Troll Lord Games, too. 
Um, here's the free city of Altamira, and that's where we're starting. On the border of the Principality of Ulick, the County of Ulick, and the Sus Forest, or the Twilight Wood in, uh, in uh, World of Arab, where it'll be uh, relocated when we... Uh, when that happens, so who are you looking for? Oh, there you go. Tim's upset now. That's it, Tim. Give it to me, man. Or <laughs> I got it. Oh, I changed. No back. Oh, no back. Oh, Stop oh, enabling oh, this behavior, oh, Jay. Sounds sounds just like Amanda have a temper tantrum. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like Tim took Jay's bait. Right. Of course he, of course he <laughs> did. Of course he did. Both of you, <laughs> both of you are, are are coming off ex very successful adventures, but. Both of you have other goals. So, Raul Anter, you're still searching for, for lost magical knowledge because that's your, you know, what your charge is from uh, Greyhawk City, being a Greyhawk mage. And you have you are, have arranged a meeting with two notorious slash well-known members of the Altamir Bounty Hunters Guild who are supposed to be bringing you something, bringing you a map or, or some kind of knowledge of a location uh, in the source of a lost tower, Okay. So that, that's number one. Yes, you have arranged that. So, but you haven't met them yet. I got, and you'll see that'll be coming up very shortly. In the meantime, the Slavs had a very harrowing adventure recently with an over the Overgord and the and a witch, the you know uh, um, who was uh, you know feeding, getting her young youth from the Overgord's kills. So that that um, that was the last adventure you all did. You're all back in. Oh, there's Jimmy for the GM. I got your back to. Oh, Duff, Duff, you're gonna get all. Oh, Duff. Oh, Duff, I know where God. you live. Duff. Duff, I know where you live, bro. <laughs> that is awesome, Jimmy. I got Jimmy five. Duffy, the uh, head of, well, the co-head of streaming for Gary Khan. Yes. Raiders and, Re <laughs> Raiders yes. And, Jacks and Raiders and Riffs. Uh, all right. Thank you, Jimmy. For that. I, thank you very much, Jimmy. Hmm. And uh, I, I can't discuss a lot, but I will be uh, helping doing a lot with Jimmy at Gary Con coming up. We're really excited about it. For the Carl Spacker Leaf Reforestation uh. and Anti Diabetes <laughs> Fund. Oh, so Troy has switched sides tonight as opposed to the other. Night's not over. Don't give him that credit. You're just he's pushing Troy to start feeding him. That's what he's doing. I so. hear you, Jay. <laughs> Don't Say take the bait. You. <laughs> so uh, the following people got the, uh, the following people jumped up to two, Kazara, uh, um, Kazara Rose. Um, I'm sorry, uh, Kazara Rosie and Devin all uh, jumped up to two. Rosie already had two. Everyone has two, uh, but Ravalant or Telegord, they have one right now. Okay, just randomizing it. So thanks a lot, Troy, for doing that. Here's what's going on with the Slavs. You guys have come back recently, Exeli. When you have, when you got back. You start, um, my gosh. <laughs> it's, it's, that, it's going today. Uh, I, like uh, I, I, I will put them on after the, the, uh, the initial uh, start up here. Six more specials. Thanks, yes. Sorry, you just keep going with those. Oh, my gosh. Xelly, you're having trouble sleeping at night. <laughs> tell me something Tell me something new, Jay. You're waking up in some cold sweats. <laughs> and as, as each night goes by, it gets more vivid. And I'm going uh, to describe. Sound of trauma in the morning. <laughs> I'm going to describe what you see. Ooh, okay. Kind of starts out this way. You see, uh, you see what you believe is you're. You know how when you have a dream, you're floating above normally. You're like you can oversee everything in your own dream sometimes. Astral yeah. projection. Yeah, yes. Yeah. You see. You ever have one of those dreams where you're standing there and sun god rose? <laughs> hey, Real Rocky. genius movie with Al Kilmer. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's a great movie. You see the free city of Altamira in all its glory, but you notice you are you are drawn to this black tower, which is uh, in the western part of the city. There are no windows, no doors to this tower. The tower is roughly 80 feet tall. No one knows much about it, but you're drawn to that tower for some reason. You don't know if it's made of obsidian, obsidian or basalt, because I haven't decided yet which would make more sense. Ah, probably <laughs> obsidian. So, uh, but it is black. And... When you when you concentrate on that, um, it's almost like you're getting instructions from it, and that which really kind of and this is in the dream. You're being told right. to do things. When that happens, you see another image. You see an image of a, the exact same tower in a swamp, but it's ruined. Okay. Ah. Uh. Okay. All right. 
it's in ruins. Something tells you, something you seek and covet, and you don't even realize you covet it, is there. Also, okay. on the top of that tower are two large mugs of ale. Okay. <laughs> I'm in. And then as you... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Charlie's definitely a drinker, so you get and you and then you go. Somehow you float to the top of the tower and you go to grab a mug or both mugs, and all of a sudden, you know, you just turn. There is a majestic, the lar large, huge tiger, tiger head, and the mouth is huge. The the fangs are large, and it just comes down to chomp on your head, and then you wake up. Oh, okay. You have that multiple nights in a row. It gets more and more vivid. Can I can I ask for a number, Jay? Yes. What number of how what? many nights? Oh, let's say five. Okay. You just go, Gabriel. Thank you. So that's what you see. Okay. Uh, make, give me an intelligence roll on a die twenty. Subtract two, please. You got it. Uh, that was probably not great. Uh, Lowers, eight minus two, six, six total. Lowers better. You gotta, you gotta six, beat your six intelligence. Six turtle. Six, yes. <laughs> Got me. Turtles in chat. Got me. Turtles in chat. Let's go. Turtles in chat, please. And uh, I haven't hit one button tonight yet. The one thing you wean from that, and you don't know why. Two drinks. There's a group in event, adventure group called Two Drink Minimum in, in Altamira now. Yes, and I'm sure I'm aware of them because yes. it's me. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And you know they're higher rated than you on the Adventure Guild Hall ranks. Ah. Uh, by one or two slots. So. Son of a biscuit. Yes. Competition. So you uh, can decide if you want to <laughs> uh, get, I'm assuming you want to get, oh, thanks. Thanks, we, so, sorry, uh, we, we had we had an earlier hype train or else we'd have a level seven or eight. Getting close to our record of level nine. Which is, which, uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you so very much. All right, we're going to do three giveaways tonight now, all right? We're going to do two sets of dice and the, uh, and, and the two, and the decks come together, all right? So we got, we got these, we got three, three giveaways going. Thanks. You guys are all, you guys and gals are all very generous. So, um, we'll, we'll fast forward for time's sake on a one shot there. Mandy, you can decide what you want to do. You can't find Dellen, but you can find the rest of your group, okay? So okay. uh, you want if you want to talk to them about what you'd like to do, that's fine. Or you know, I um I definitely go to Kazara first. Like we okay. we've traveled together a long time, wandering vagabonds as we were prior to the Sloth Squad Squad. Sure. Uh, so I definitely I definitely go find her first. Okay. Hello. S and you, you can see Sally looking the way she normally does, uh, but she's uh, she looks really tired. Like, mm -hmm. like you can tell. And normally she's very stone faced. You can't tell if something's bothering her or not. Stone face. Very stone face. Uh, Kazara's gonna just like get her like a little up and down and be like, "You need to sleep more." Yeah, that's kind of what I want to talk to you about. <laughs> Has something happened? Well, and I described the dream. And I uh, described the tower that is here in Altamira. <clears throat> and that I think it's some kind of prophecy related to my shadow magic, which you know, I'm still, I'm learning kind of on my own. I yep. don't have any special books. I don't have a mentor or a teacher or a tutor. I never had anything like that. You know this about me. The rest you don't of the party need doesn't. those snaps. You're fine just the way <laughs> the rest you are. The rest of the party, the rest of the party doesn't know this, but they've, they've realized at this point that the kind of magic I wield is not common uh -oh. uh, at all. Wait, are those for me? Ooh, so, no. Yes. Uh, so I, I described the dream and yeah. Fire's gonna give a little 
hat on uh, Excelli's head because she, she is so much taller than Excelli. She tries really hard not to recoil from that because you know how she is. Pizarro's hand follows you as you recoil. <laughs> we will figure it out. It's fine. I got nine. We should specials. tell the others though. Yeah. I wanted to talk to you about it first, but you're right. It's not just us anymore. I have to get used to that. <laughs> More people is not always so bad. Jay, don't go. Rosie's fun. <laughs> yeah, stop, stop dad cackling in the corner. Yeah, it's what awkward. the fuck? <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> I'm trying to be in character, Jay. I know, you're, you're doing very immersion. well. You're doing immersion, very... Jay. Immersion, Jay. You're doing very well. <laughs> I'm going to yeah. say, Rosie's fun. She always has pocket cheese. Devin keeps uh, hitting me in the armpit with arrows, though. I need to talk to her about that. It really hurts. Yeah. No. I need to... Thankfully, I'm difficult to hit, but you aren't necessarily. It's fine. It's mostly a beast. It's like a bee sting, but... I'm starting to get sores. <laughs> I, I I wish I could heal sometimes. I mean, I like the magic that I use, but I think it would be helpful if I could heal too. Maybe you could ask Carl. He knows how to heal. Kind of. <laughs> mm, kind of knows how to do a lot now of I'll pass. Yeah, Fair. Carl will be kind. He's kind of <laughs> sketchy sometimes. He really is, but he... Follow yeah. us through when he comes with us. So, thanks for being an observer tonight, Anne. I really appreciate it. As we got a f- eight is a, is a good number. You know, really appreciate it. So, uh, what are you going to do? You're going to try and put your group together, and then oh uh, yeah, okay, we're going to seek out the rest of the girls. So somehow Rosie knows, because Rosie's nosy, <laughs> uh, and loves the cheese that and the salty. <laughs> there's a huge. There's a half ogre in the salty dog. Um, and she's like, uh, when you tell them about the other group, you sh- if you did, uh, she's like, well, there's that big, that big half ogre in there who eats and drinks a lot. Is he for hire? Is know? he for hire, Jay? Do we, do well, I, I do know? don't know. You don't know because, uh, but you, you know, he's in the, he's in the bar right now and you're, and you're at, on, at your table. Oh. Remember, you guys share the same table. Just the different adventure times, right? Yeah. So. Uh, oh, so you're so saying you, we're gathered now and we're all at the same table? You, you, no, you're, you aren't even there yet. You're not in yet. Uh, okay. well, I haven't put you in yet. I'll tell you what when that point comes. So you, you're trying to get the group together. And you just, but she knows because she's nosy rosy, right? She knows everything. She knows, especially when it comes to food. Yeah, well, when you're like two foot high, people don't realize you're there. So you get to hear everything fine. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Exeli, did you tell us about your dreams? Um, I think this is like what I'm getting ready to gather you guys for. Okay. I don't know. Or or can I say, or can, yeah. Yeah. Jay, can I say that I've told them already? Yeah, let's do that because, yeah, absolutely. You've told them. So they're and, they're and aware. The, the, the Slav Squad Squad is aware. You, yeah, you may have left out some of some of the details, like, you know, oh, but, yeah, I never give anybody all the details. Right, but you've told them about the two mugs at ill, so. Yeah, I, I did mention the, that yeah. symbol, yes. Okay. Awesome. Are you, are you sure it's not the pocket cheese? You know, I told you not to eat too much. Some weird things can happen to your brain if you start eating too much cheese. I read that in a book once. The mold. You see, usually... When you try to offer me pocket cheese, I tend to pass it off a little bit. I do eat it sometimes, but not every time. So I don't think it's that. We're still friends though, right? Oh, of course. Cool. Do you see my dog? I got the dog. Look at my dog. And she's just like pulling cheese from her pocket and feeding it to the dog. (laughs) The dog that survived the last adventure. Can have such Uh, sticky parts. She makes a bit of a face, but she will (laughs) hesitantly pet the dog. There's an aroma of dog farts overtaking the room. Yes, slowly. beautiful. <laughs> uh, we really need to get him on a on maybe a better diet. I he really mm-hmm. loves all the stuff I feed him. We're practically best friends. Oh, I, I mean, was talking you guys are to best him friends, yesterday. But... Yeah, so I was talking to him, and he said the cheese is that it's natural, and the the stink that you smelled that's also natural, and that's good good for you. The dog mm-hmm. said. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Did the dog uh, say that, Carl? Yeah. Did, did he say that himself? Well, yeah, I, I can't uh, speak with the animals. Yeah, I can't yeah, chat with them. Carl can talk to my dog. It's super cool. Insight check. <laughs> Rosie <laughs> just naturally <laughs> believes <laughs> anything yeah, that Carl yes, says to speaking dog. to the dog. <laughs> so... You, as you guys are talking about this, about the dog, it goes off on the dog, to the salty dog itself, where Rattle Antar in walks two individuals you've heard about but never seen before because your eyes don't believe it. Now, maybe, uh, maybe Telegram believes it. You see, Anna, I know you're watching. Your two favorite characters are coming in the campaign. You see a goblin. <laughs> you see a goblin. Oh no. And you see a bugbear. Walking Two in. Two goblinoids. A goblin and a bugbear with the symbols Walking of the Altamira bar. Guild of Bounty Hunters on. Hmm? Tomb. Walking in to. Look, and, the, and the, the goblin. I apologize, everyone. Uh, uh, the goblin walks up to. Ravalantar, you see Ravalantar, Nixolia, and Telegord are in there. The other two members are off doing whatever they're doing. The goblin walks up. You, Ravalantar, yes? Yes, yes, I am. You seek knowledge, Mac, yes? Yes, yes. Me, Poo Poo, this caca. And then they Aha. Get, And then. And, <laughs> And then oh, the big, do you speak the, goblin? The, bu the bugbear goes, Arr. he only speak bugbear, the goblin says. Ah, much poo poo and caca, right? <laughs> I'm so actually, Tim, may, yeah, you can blame Tim. These are original Tim names, so uh, and they're uh, he's still my beating. There's, <laughs> there's no surprise whatsoever coming from the table, right? Now, exactly, exactly. Yeah, the naming things, though, is traditional D D. Maybe we say before Ed started coming in with all his cool names, like you know, Volo, which couldn't at all be taken <laughs> to Volo Bog on Route 12. And the these characters are, the are almost 40 years old, they're older than most of you that are playing, right? Except for except, except, Kafka except, had named it God. Not all of us, Jay. No, I know. I know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so uh, he says, have map into sus. Oh. 500 gold. Now that, and that's a bargain for you. Yeah, it is a bargain. Yes. Two drinks, too. We need two drinks. Yes. Let's do it. He, he, he says something. He says something in Goblin, and the uh, bartender understands it. Drake, and he uh, comes out and he throws out these big mugs of ale for. Uh, so there's there's actually ten across the table. Yep. For all five, all five of you. So, uh, do you pay him five hundred gold for this map? I do. Okay. I do. I'll take off two gems worth two fifty. Okay. All right. There you go. I gotta say. You all buy an awful lot of maps just randomly, I feel like. <laughs> I mean, could I draw a map and be like, hey, 1,000 gold, I promise it'll take you to the best treasure ever. And uh, and if you did that, I would buy it. As the handshake Noted. is made, uh, do you shake both their hands? You shake the goblin and the bugbear's hands there, Rebel Antar. They, I, I do. Okay. Yes, the bugbear has a very strong handshake. They seem to be, you know... No one seems to have see them out of place in Altamira, so they are they are going about freely, and uh, I guess they've earned their place in the uh, hierarchy of the Bounty Hunters Guild. The other, as that happens, the five of you, uh, and uh, as you come in, the, uh, the bartender says, "I'm sorry, sorry, Rosie, no dogs allowed inside." But he, but he's my best friend. Okay, well he can, uh, he can stay outside. But. No he's place. basically a person because he's my best friend. Yes, uh, I, I can't make an exception. Well, what if he gets lost or scared or lonely? And like her eyes start welling up and she's like <laughs> clinging onto the uh, dog's neck. Well, he's my baby. What do we do now? The, the DM warned you. Can we, um, 
I'm just, Devin's gonna threaten we this can... person with their with her scimitar. That's where we get dead. <laughs> I'm not there, right? <laughs> yes. I'm not, so I'm right, not there, right? Am no, I? your your group has just come in. Your group has come in and decided yeah. to go to go here uh, because of the half ogre. And was, I see, and I see. You see a human, a mm-hmm. half elf, and a half ogre at your table, talking and conversing with a bo- a, gov- a goblin and a bugbear, uh, and they seem to be exchanging something. And I see Rosie crying over the dog. Yeah, because you know you can't have dogs in here. It's just uh, uh, it's uh, called uh, the salty dog. He's a service yeah. animal. That's her emotional support dog. Yeah. <laughs> I will so. slip the bartender a goal to shut the hell up about the dog. Uh, how's uh, how's five? Especially if it's fine. Okay, there you go. This is yeah, yeah. One those, time fee. Th- those farts are worth five. <laughs> <laughs> Do we do? No. They let, they let Carl in. Come on now. Oh. <laughs> oh. Carl in to here. be fair, that's good. They let Carl in here for free. Carl looks up <laughs> like. <"Hmm?" laughs> Some of- I like clinging to my dog, and I look up at Excelly. Thank you. I ruffle her. Bouncy oh. little curls. Oh, oh. oh. So, uh, <laughs> as you, as uh, um, as you, business is kind of finishing up with the two humanoids there, Ravalantar. Uh, he uh, he says to you, questions. No, good, good. Enjoy. Dangerous. Is- <laughs> Is there anything you want us to ask? No. (laughs) Okay. What'd you buy this time, (laughs) Rasalanta? A map! I never buy maps! So, uh... That sounds like a lie. As they're starting to go out the bar, the the goblin stops and looks at Exeli and says, See you soon. You bet. Do I recognize him? Yeah. He's part of your guild of bounty hunters. Okay. It's poo poo or caca, right? Yes, both of them. Oh, no, whatever. Yes, and they. Uh, they she, just... she gives them. She gives them the look down, look up at the face, the the sizing you up, and like, yeah, whatever. They both depart. Okay. Ah, bitches. So who are those, uh, who are those people sitting at our table there? What's uh? Yes. Yeah, I don't know how I feel. They about look fancy. This. I don't know. Oh, I'm going to just go sit at the table like they're not even there. <laughs> uh, yeah. there's, some, there's someone bigger than you there. Uh, that doesn't intimidate me. Yes. That doesn't intimidate me either. The half, yeah. uh, half work sits right that, next down to the half ogre. I'm going to squat next to the table. I will also squat in solidarity. Oh my gosh. I'm going to kind of look at a, the ogre and be like, We have a squat off. Take a, take Is a the, sip of my ale. Um, is Kazara also squatting? No, because our city. Thanks, Kit. Okay, Zara. Carl comes to squat. I just look confused. I'm like, Carl <laughs> falls. Rosie okay. squats and yes, her dog bows yes, down. Yes, sir. Uh, tell the yeah. Question. Yes. Um, when these people sit down, I kind of look at them, shrug my shoulders, look over to the bartender, and order another round for everybody. There you go. Um, um, that's what we like to see. Devin. This man is a friend. Devin's going to <laughs> kind of like, so She's gonna look up to him and, and say, um, uh, I think you're at our table. <laughs> well, I'm at this table. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there are chairs. You are welcome to sit here, but this is our table. Uh, Should we describe our characters at this point? I don't know. Well, if here's the thing. Really there's, looks like. there's a venture group rivalry. Remember, there's a there's a listing. We've seen them around the guild hall. Yeah, there's a listing this of. Is, we know who they are. They know this is our table, yes. though. Yes. So, Jay, is this that? Is this that? Has my name on it. Claiming that there, it's their table. Is it? Yeah. The it was the half orc and the half elf. Half orc and half elf. Not there. the halfling. No, I'm the halfling. No, yeah. I'm the half elf. Yes. Okay. There's well, two the halfling did not. The, the halfling did not. The halfling did not. I'm Brian, and my wife is too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And Jay, I put my hands out like this yes. to get on the screen and say, "Well, you guys can sit here. There's plenty of room." Okay. Okay. Well, I just need you to know that I left a tooth under here last week, and if it's gone, I'm gonna be really mad about it. Bizarre. I was just gonna pull out the seat next to her and like grab Devin by the shoulder and. 
guide her into the seat. <laughs> awesome. So, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna look underneath the table for the tooth I left. Yeah, well, <laughs> they cleaned up. I'm gonna be real mad about that. You do. They you did know, this uh, to you last week, you know. Yes. How did you forget already? Yes. Not enough. Uh, you guys are you guys here your two drink minimum, aren't you? Hey, we we went up a level. We're at like three or four now. Four <laughs> drink minimum. It's, it's like one. He gets lost after three. Uh, you guys got something going on? I know that you guys I are pay, above us in the ratings. I paid to have that door made bigger, so yeah, I'm pretty special <laughs> around here. <laughs> you're saying you're kind Ooh. of a big deal. Watch out, yeah. get that over here. Really? Because you're so large, you can't fit through the normal door? I paid for them to expand the door and raise the height, yes. He That's is a lot of money too. seven foot seven, <laughs> seven foot seven, three fifty. Damn. With plate now. I take them. Rosie is just like <laughs> standing at your side, like marveling up at you. She's so small. <laughs> Petting her dog as she does so. Yes, there you I go. I like the dog. <laughs> there you go. So you're all together. For some fate has had it, has brought you together. And, uh, so uh, Carl said you were a two drink minimum, and I guess you guys all said you are. So have at it from this point. <laughs> you, Mandy, you want to reveal your your dream then? Uh, no, you know already. We established. Oh. Oh, we talked about it. Yes, we established that. Not to them. Hey, uh, hey, they're, they're uh, Alexi. Uh, Alexi. Maybe, who's that? Maybe who's Alexi? Head. I'm sorry. I'm he, sorry. Who's Alexi? He's, 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 I, I, I'm, I was trying to keep up with the the uh, half ogre over here. Uh, sorry, <laughs> uh, the, uh, didn't you say something about having a dream about them and you woke up all sweaty? <laughs> um, <laughs> this guy, were you dreaming year. about this guy? <laughs> Jay, you didn't tell me this was this sort of thing. <laughs> yes, wasn't very I wasn't large. dreaming about sense. that was any awesome. people. That was awesome. I wasn't what? dreaming about any people. Oh. Do you never listen to anything anyone ever says to you? Ever? No, he, yes. he doesn't. <laughs> no. Uh, I can we you around again? I it's just, the I herbs. I can it's heal. Herbs. Yeah, I guess you have some manner of use. No, the dream was <clears throat> included symbology from your your group's you icon. Go. Your Erroneous? You saw the shield of Erroneous? <laughs> I saw the the two ale mug mm. symbol. Oh. Oh. So it Wait. must mean that we are supposed to be together. Robert Hartley with a hundred person raid. I would imagine so. Robert! Rob! Hey, Rob! Robert, hey, that's Rob. awesome. Please, everyone, sit back, watch, relax, have... I think I got um I should, I should have two drinks shout-outs. minimum. Two drink yeah, minimum there two, for have everyone. Two minimum. Call the squat, have two drinks. Minimum. <laughs> Robert, that's really, really kind of you. Too. Thank you. Three giveaways tonight, everyone. And uh and please uh feel free to sit back and relax. And, and, and Raiders, enjoy. if you wanna if you wanna slob squat in solidarity with us, please do. Yes, this is a crossover event with Ed's group, two drink minimum, and the slob squat squad. This is a first time ever, so welcome. And thank you all for uh, coming and hanging. Um, so there you go. The vision of this has happened. Uh, Excel, are you gonna are you gonna talk a little any, at all about what you saw, like tower wise, or anything anything else that you saw in your vision? I mean, I suppose I can. I'll I'll talk to these new people about it since they seem to be connected because of my dream. So I'll describe the dream. The the Black Tower here in Altamira, another one in uh, the swamp, and the symbol. So, a matter of fact, Ravel Antar has a scroll tube and is fiddling around with it because he's excited about what he just got. There's a tower on this scroll. In the yeah. sense. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Funny how that happened. And it, and it, says, mean... it says Obsidian slash Basalt Tower. Because I saw it. Versus slash, because that exists, right? Well, I just don't know yet which one I'm making it, so it's probably in the Thanks, Longshot. Indecisive. Yes. So indecisive. 
<laughs> wait, wait, I, I'm confused. Are we hiring you or are you hiring us? Wait, did we get a way, second drink? I don't even know what's we going need on. To buy Yes, you got, you, you're on your third, <laughs> you're on your third, Mixolia, because Poo Poo and Kaka gave you two already. Well, we've been here for a little while, so it's probably more than that, which is why I'm asking that question. Keep on downing them. <laughs> Rosie sees the, the concern for drinks, and she's going to jump onto the table and lift her mug of ale and say, another round for new friends! Oh, boy. She's going to buy everybody a round of drinks. There you go. That's awesome. Nice. Oh. See you guys are all going to nice. be completely plastered, which is fantastic. Um, so. I feel like I feel like it might be a little hard to get Rosie pretty drunk. She's always drinking. Yes, well, true, 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 true on that. I'm just gonna so that anyone can see. Ooh, a ruined tower in the in the sus in the swamp area of the sus. So, a rebel Antar, when you're looking at this map, yes, shows and you. And so it says just, treasure here, right? But right. you see, you see across where the shield is, you see this really <laughs> marshy area on the shield of Altamira out there. To, yep. the, to the east of that uh, is the note, notation of where this location is. This is a really boggy area and dangerous, right? And it's on the other side of the Jewel River. So it's not far, but it's a long travel just because that area is so marshy. But that's where it is. And it's not on any other maps that you know of, Rantor. Only on the map that you were given. Oh. Mm -hmm. So this is an exclusive. <laughs> yes. No long rest, uh, Mike. No long rest. They're taking a, they're taking a uh, hangover rest. How's that sound? So, uh, yes. Now, what do, you, what, the two, what do the two groups want to do with this drinking standoff? Um, after squatting exactly and now. then sitting because of Kazara, um, Devin's <laughs> gonna sort of lead forward at this other group and say, um, I think it'd be in our best interest, regardless of who pays who, that we work together. Uh, we've got a couple different pieces of a puzzle. Those are a lot of details. I think you bought us one round and we bought you one round. So if yeah. we buy each other a round, then, then I'm good. Absolutely. <laughs> Tell the girls easy. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Not arguing. I think we should just team up and let's get 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 out there and uh, see yeah. what uh, these uh, these these uh, sweaty dreams that Excel is having about. <laughs> <laughs> That is awesome. I didn't even hear about the sweaty As Nelly <laughs> slams the blade of her dagger into the table directly next to his hand. Shut <laughs> up about that. <laughs> to smooth things you. over, I buy another round. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Bones, don't, 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 don't instigate Mike Disney in chat. Come on. <laughs> I have an, oh, you just, you, have, you forgot to put it on my sheet, Jay, that I have a cloak of movie. Yes, movie. I did. Yeah, yes, I did. It was like, oh, you didn't realize that I could have had 69 hit points. Yes, you could have. Uh, <laughs> oh, gosh, I'm not going to live that down. So, uh, the, Never, ever. You'll never live it down. Carl, <laughs> Carl has proposed a joint operation because, if you don't know, Greyhawk mages are from you know, Greyhawk City. They all work under Circle of Eight members, um, and uh, their, their goal is to find lost knowledge and bring it back. So uh, that is why Ravalanta are always is searching for these maps. So uh, he's excited about this. And Excelli, mm -hmm. you get a feeling that either this is foretold somehow or someone is leading you by the nose here. <laughs> right? Hey, I wonder who that could be, Jay. Well, it's not me. <laughs> it isn't me. It's. I wonder if it'll lead us to a pair today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, another story. <laughs> yes. So uh, that's what you brought it up this time. I didn't say shit. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so that, much uh, deep lore. So no much deep lore in, the, in these groups. Yeah, each of your groups have run like eight or nine adventures. So you're, you, guys are, <laughs> you guys are deep into the adventuring uh, together. So really cool. All right. What do you want to do? You're all drinking heavily, eating a lot, and uh, I. I would like to go visit the tower here in Altamira first. The Tower of No Entrances. Yes. You can do that. Who I mean, wants... we don't have to like go as a group, but I do want to. Um, I want to go see that. 
before we set off on anything, can we yeah. maybe have a shopping montage? Um, <laughs> I love a shopping montage. No. I only have, uh, apparently I only have one plus one arrow, unless that is a mistake. That is correct. You used them all against the Overgord. Yep, I would, I, how much would I be <laughs> for like a, an amount? <laughs> you have all these plus twos, the plus one, plus three that opposed you have too. I know, but I like to rely on my more customers. arrows, Jay. Come on. Yeah, she, you, you're almost And, and we can go all night, so we have time to shop. Yeah, so... Uh, right. <laughs> but we don't have to, like, role-play shop. But... No, but shopping montage. I will give you... Here's the deal. It's non-negotiable. Oh, my God. Non-negotiable. Oh, right. That's my sort of I'm shopping. Already, I'm already <laughs> unimpressed. Oh, no. What's the deal, Jay? Tell me. Because you use them so much, and I'm not, I'm not offering this to anyone else. And you ask first. Five plus one arrows, all right? But I'm all taking, right. I'm taking two gems times a hundred. Oh. I'll give you yeah, six turtle. You. I'll give you a half dozen. Turtle. Turtle. Yeah. I said it. I freaking said it. There you go. I said, I said, I said turtle. Yes. yes. You gonna do that? You gonna make that deal? Yeah, I'll make that. All right. So you go, you, you go to the Fletcher. You go to, you go to. So, pick. so how many arrows have to be traded in for a hit point? <laughs> right, right, yeah. Well, yeah. okay. So I have that bracelet that's worth a hundred gold, Jay. Um, how much of a hit point is that worth? You know? Can we just say she has sixty nine hit points and just be done with it? No, Jay? It's fine. no it's more fun. Yeah, I, it's if, right. if I was it's smart, I do. If I was smart, I'd do that. No. Exactly. Yeah. Remember that one time we had that really big omelet and it was just so fucking <laughs> oh, delicious. It was so, oh, it was so good. I still think about it. I'm going oh, to start eating you guys my are tea. Terrible. I'm honestly, going to do it. Honestly, Rosie, I think that is my favorite moment of our entire friendship. Was sharing well, an omelet with sharing you. Sharing an omelet. It was great. It was, it was a great thing to do with you guys. Uh... <laughs> sharing is caring. Yeah. Oh, thank you. We'll have, have to, we'll I, find I, another I, egg like that so we can make one for the whole party. Here's yeah, the, I'm Devin, could you something. go find another egg for us? Here's the hit point that's total. It, that's it. That's it. You've done it now. You brought it up first. You opened this can of worms, Bones. You hit did this. Point so, total. so bad story is that someone wants to raise a parrot and, and the guy he has disappeared. Me. It could have been my son. It was my boy, my beautiful baby boy. And I'm once again, your heart and fucking kill you. I and Jay let's do it. I had nothing for the to good do of everybody. It. I had nothing to do with that. But either. it would have imprinted on me. It would have been bird bird law. He had nothing to do with well, everybody knows about bird law. Yeah, bird law. Uh, bird. He, had nothing, he had nothing to do with it. Nothing at all. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, Dad. Uh, I'm being sarcastic uh, yeah. for all the folks at here's home. A, here's, a, here's the total on hit points. Uh, hero points. <laughs> 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 you tried and you still failed. That was rough. <laughs> Ra ra we uh, love you, Dad. You all have one, re all have one regular right love, now. No other regulars. Love you, Dad. Nope. Okay. Thanks, Dad. Ravalantar, two specials. Uh, Nexolia, three specials. Telegord, two. Xeli, two. Kazara, three. Devin, Hell three. Yeah. Rosie, three. Carl, two. DM, ten. Holy shit, snacks. Yeah, so I just got one from Painter League Get as well. Wait, so or I have one regular, two. It's one regular, two specials? Yes, yes. Everyone's okay. got one. We're all gonna die! <laughs> <laughs> we just gotta race him. It's fine. Listen, we if I keep fire. If I if I just keep firing into combat, then yeah, we're all gonna die. Yeah, oh jeez, sure. here she goes. Jersey just Jen, you I like that. take my egg. I fire into combat. I'm just saying. So, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna blame Jay for that. Ravalantar, you assume that uh, where that is is a is probably a week of 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 mucking it through the sus just to get there. It's gonna be tough. Yes, yes. I normally never assume anything, but in this case, yes, I assume that. So I think we shouldn't go on this adventure. I think we should stay. <laughs> That's it. Let's that go shopping, fun. you guys. Yeah, yeah. let's go shopping. Drink <laughs> more. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Jay. I'm South Jersey. <laughs> let's, start a joust. let's start a joust right now in the street. Let's go. The only uh, problem with that is, is that Excelli's having these nightmares or these visions. So we buy her some no dos. How much? Can I <laughs> <laughs> uh, just, just send me, just send me to the best therapist in Altamira. I'll be fine. You can't. Oh, so, Excel, are you going to go to the tower? Yes, I would like to. Who's going to take with you? 
Anyone? Whoever wants to, whoever I'm going. wants to go with that isn't going to be a dick about it. I'm going. I won't be a dick about <laughs> it. Carl can go. <laughs> All right, so you, you so uh, I just wanted to disqualify Carl, really. Rebel Anton, uh, <laughs> as you're about to leave, what are you going to do as, with your group? Are you going? You guys going to decide? <laughs> you guys going to decide there, your part in the morning? There is no way we would let another group go with the map that we just got and not see what was going on there. And there are new friends. We we've, we've drunk together. We yeah, have absolutely to see all this. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Your friends are like awesome. our maps. They're very easy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> we long. We long, y'all. Long. The minute the minute Rebel Anto shows up to your Exeli, you get you get something in your head like, I have to go there. I have to. I have to. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely leading the charge on this this stroll across town because okay. it's kind of, it's probably a decent walk away from yes. Salty Dog. Yeah, okay. Yes, absolutely. Salty dogs in the uh, uh, shitty area of town, and uh, this uh, towers favorite. this towers up near the estates. My favorite because it's not near all the nobles where people Ex might know me. Uh, so cool. We go to the tower in okay. The, the two of you go there, and this tower is straight cylindrical up eighty feet, and it is pitch black. You see no, no doors, windows, no, no windows. doors. Probably the width of it. We're gonna say it's uh, I'm just. Uh, 50 to 60 wide. So you don't know how many floors it has. Nothing. You know. Do I feel like I know this is I know this is a thing for my dream. I know yeah. I feel the urge to come over to it. Uh do I feel any kind of instinct towards like an inkling of what to do now that I am here? Do I feel you, you get like you get a twinge of a feeling that um uh it, this is um, very important to you in the future. That's what I'll say. Oh, oh! This is very important. I want to. Can I like manifest some like shadow energy in my hands? Yeah, sure. And I want to touch the tower. Can I? Does it do anything? Do I feel anything? Uh, oh, you do that. And you kind of get some kind of, whether it's ESP or something, mm -hmm. uh, no need to impress anyone. Your, your path is set. So I need to go to the other tower. <laughs> Obviously. And please note, once again, this has been going on for 25, 30 years of my campaign already with this tower. So it's not new. This has always been here in Altamira. Right. We talked about it offline. Yes. Um, okay. Well, now that I'm standing in front of it, I just... You're pretty impressed by it, but you are amazed by yeah. it. But you're also a little scared and a little intrigued at the same time. Because you have no idea. But it sounds like someone is talking in your head. Well, what are they saying exactly, Jay? I gave it to you. I gave exactly what they said. There's no is need... That, to... Is that the the path is set, but... Your path is I set. Need to, I need to follow that map. Right? Yeah. Okay. So I tell I tell the party this that this is just a piece of the puzzle and okay. that I can't do anything with it right now. There you go. And you guys see me wielding shadow magic in I don't know is it the middle of the day is it the evening what time? Of we'll day say it's it? early evening and you're all pretty intoxicated anyway. So yeah. Like, so <laughs> I'm, I, I'm I'm half I'm half drunk off my ass and I'm just trying to shadow magic at this weird ass tower and I'm like it's not working. I'm like bipping and bobbing trying yep. not to get hit by the shadow magic. Just so I feel like I'm probably next to you and you're drunk and you're like, Ooh. yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm like, like I'm like half manifesting my shroud, but I'm, I'm, I'm making it form in my hands instead of over my body. And I'm just like, it's not, I thought it would do something, but it's not. It didn't. It's bullshit. It's we not. have to go to that other tower. There's something there. Something. I All need. right. All right. I'm in. Let's nice. go. So. You go back and Ravel Antar, uh, do you, anything you want to uh, say to uh, Exeli and the rest of the uh, Slob Squad squad or, or Dixolia or Telegord in this discussion? There's only three of you and there's five of them. You're right. I, I, I think we have to see this through. This sounds very, very strange to me. And if 
something very strange happens and we're not there to see it, then we won't know how to react when the uh, fecal matter hits the whirling metal object. Does it say <laughs> certain death on your map? <laughs> no. Uh, no, but it, I'm sure it will be. That's I'm sure. It's no. fine. It's fine. It's literally, um, listen, uh, it's fine. Did you ever hear the thing about curiosity and cats? Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, but this, one. This, the second Cat part one. of that, yeah, the second part of that's pretty good. So, so I'll say this, Rosie. If you find out where this is, and number, you're going to have trouble even traversing this swamp yourself. Yeah. You don't think your dog will survive? I'm just. Do I know you, this as Rosie? You're making it. Yeah. Can you're I? Making, yeah. Like a boarding can facility I, around here for dogs. I was going to say, can I pay like one of my people to watch absolutely, the dog? absolutely. Great. I would what like to. I, I will. I will have a nice little chat with Rosie and let her know that. I'm going to pay someone I trust to take care of the dog so that we don't have to worry about protecting him when we're out in the wild. We'll look after your little dog! <laughs> your little dog, too! Well, he's coming with us now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like someone would definitely have to, like, have the conversation with Rosie. Like, he can't come, honey. Uh... <laughs> but you also note that, well, you'll see. You'll see. Go. Yeah. Um, it's, yeah. So, yeah. Rosie, I don't know if you know this, but there's there's usually um, pretty terrible things in swamps, and the water's going to be deep, and you are going to have a hard enough time walking through it. Imagine how much harder it would be for the dog. Someone here in the group has no problem walking on swamp, through swamp. Who's that? Yes! <laughs> what do you have there, Kazara? I have a ring of light foot. Yes, which uh, allows her to walk on swamp quicksand or mud on top of it. Yep. Nice. Eight foot. That sounds cool. Yeah, yeah I feel like uh, after uh, much pouting, Rosie concedes to uh, leaving the dog behind for his safety and greater good, but not without like full on Kelso dog piling with Charlie and like rolling around on the floor and wrestling and there's a lot of like cheese farting happening. Oh, yeah. Of course there is. <laughs> oh my god. I, I will tell I will mom? tell my can we assume this is like one of one of the family like valets or something like that? Sure. I I will discreetly inform them to give the dog some real food. That's not cheese or Got cheese it. Jason. Cheese adjacent. Cheese adjacent. He gets bread and beer too. He's fine. Cheese adjacent is a man name. You can't tell me otherwise. That poor dog is gonna fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> this is not no. chocolate. It just I sounds share like every a... meal with him. <laughs> it, oh my god! It's another weekend in Wisconsin. Yeah. Cheese adjacent. <laughs> Cheese adjacent. Yeah. This is. This sounds like the dog from Strange Brew. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? it? Is. Yeah. Fucking yeah. hoser, yes. Yeah, hoser. <laughs> Hoser's the best. Yeah. So anyway, I will make sure I will make sure the doggo is well taken care of, nice and safe in Altamira, not in the fucking swamp. Yep. Got it. Uh Carl. How much, how much is this costing me, Jay? One gold piece, that's it. Alright, I'm cool with that. I can yeah. live with that. Yeah. Uh Carl, yeah. I'm assuming you're gonna precast protection from fire and lightning so you can get back a third and a fourth in the travel. Got it? Yep. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to precast Goodberry and dump out my spell load the night before. Yep, got it. And then share them with everyone. Even the dog, because it's going to be fun to see what a Goodberry <laughs> does to him. Uh, I think he would enjoy it. it. Probably actually food, so. Yeah, you got Probably six, the best thing he's had in him, yeah. Six Goodberries in the party, uh, if needed. Hey, Rose well. is pretty thick. She's thick with two Cs, and yeah, she, she shares all of her meals with Charlie, so oh, I think he's quite healthy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about healthy if all you do is feed him cheese, beer, and bread, poor thing. There's meat what do you mean, in there. Mike, people what throw scraps my way, I share. Smoked meats? <laughs> Sorry, Milk Mike, meat. I understand the hair point. Yeah. Milk and a pancake? I got them all spread out. <laughs> all player characters have at least two, most have three, and I have 12. Jeez. Uh, or he's, uh, or hey, chat. hey, chat, you, you want to send us some treats, maybe? <laughs> I would like a little. Oh, treat. I didn't realize, I Tony, like I didn't realize Tony was yeah. frozen. My bad. Yeah, to Tony's gonna probably be asking to get back in in a second because uh, her Zoom crashed. Oh. Uh oh. I thought she was just being cute. There you go. We got you. <laughs> hey. Oh, hey. 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 Hey.
All right, so any uh, other things? Uh, you, you got five arrows. You got you, you got a view of the tower. Your group has decided to work together. I'm assuming equal. equal everyone's going to get an equal share of treasure. Is that it? Everyone's well, equal? No, 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 no. We got to split it between the parties. Right. <laughs> yeah. Channel points can't be spent, Chuck. So, so how much time do we have, Jay? One week of travel, you believe? No, no, no. I mean, before we leave, I would, I would say you're, you and Excelli both want to leave the very next morning because you're like you are excited about lost knowledge, and Excelli doesn't want to have these nightmares anymore. Okay, so I, so I'm gonna quickly copy the map. Got it. And I'm gonna take the copy with me and the original. We're going to leave at the guild. With, of Ma the magic users. Yeah. Guild? Okay. Yeah. Got it. Make an intelligence roll to die twenty to make sure you got it. Uh, Roll uh, your intelligence or less. So don't roll a 19 or 20 to make sure you copied it well enough so that you know where you're going. I rolled a three. Okay, you're good. That wizard dude's a smart, smart guy. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Absolutely. Jay, what's going on with your regular channel points? People say they can't spend them. I notice I can't spend mine. Really? Yeah. I don't know. Yes, people can't buy regular points right now. I don't now. know what's oh, going on. It must on. be crypto. It's yeah, I, yeah I, I, know. Know. Okay, I got 30 channel points I was going to spend that not the, not the crypto. Not the crypto. Let's it says know. out of stock. That is weird. Hold on. Yeah, I don't know how. what the heck happened there. Give me a second. See if I can. If I can uh, I, that's what, uh, my bed. I don't know. This, they do all sorts of strange. Well, like, well, you figure that out. Ed, how do you pronounce your character's name again? I'm sorry. Ravalantar. Ravalantar. Okay. Uh, I Xemi will actually approach uh, Avalantar during all oh. this and and all right. basically ask, um, have you seen magic like mine before? Try it now, community. Try it now. I have seen at, here in the in you know in in the in the free city of Greyhawk. Mike, give no, it a shot no. now. But no, uh, up close and personal, never. Huh. I did not realize it was rare, but I'm realizing that it is. Now. Yes, I, I would, um, how do I say this politely? Keep your light under a bushel because you will surprise more people. I'm trying to figure this out. What the heck happened to this? Huh. Stupid. Hey, uh, there, Teligor. Hey, Teligor, yes. you're, uh, Tell me your eminence, uh, your excellence there. Uh, who do you get your healing power from? Heronius, the Valorous. Let me tell you about it. Oh, First you off. got him started. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, Let me tell you about my lord and savior. <laughs> First off, he expects you to die of Valorous death. That means when you see a foe, you need to charge towards them. And if you don't see a foe, draw your weapon anyway and charge in a direction, because you might die that way. It works That's well. Very well righteous. That's very righteous. It is. And, you know, we won't be coming back. That, that's a given. You know, I mean, obviously, <laughs> we're going to the Tower of Certain Death. But, um, and I get to name it because apparently it doesn't have a name. So, but yes, uh, it, you know, we should enjoy the ride while we're on our way. Well, stand next to me because I got nice, resistance yeah. to lightning, which could do you there, uh, oh. your eminence. You Actually, <laughs> I was going to talk about that. Uh, do you guys, whoever likes to charge into the fray and really embrace Aronius, um, he has <laughs> blessed me with a uh, a new power that uh, allows us to fight in harmony. Um, mm -hmm. If we start within uh, at least uh, up to three of you within a few feet of me, and then we spread out, you'll still get the, the benefit of his protection as we fight in unison together. Well, I'm going to keep close to you at the beginning. <laughs> I don't know yeah. what's up with the regulars, so this is what I'm going to do. All right, we um, you, just uh, Scottish, you just gave uh, uh, Darling two more specials there. Uh, so Rosie, you yeah. got five. I'm giving Please everyone. Set. I'm giving everyone th three regulars totals. Okay, to offset it. I just don't know what's going on with this stupid thing. That's uh, a lot of turtles. Yes. All right. So you all have three regulars added to your specials. All right. That'll that'll offset. Sorry about that, uh, people. Turtle soup. Turtle soup, <laughs> and that's a spell I created. I created the turtle soup spell. Yeah. All right. So there you go. You all have three regulars now. That'll offset for it. 
and then specials can keep on going at least fortunately okay so any other any other things for prep purposes i know we have some spell change outs by the by the druid as always i um, wanted some magic arrows too can i just 200 gold call it a day uh, you have none right that's why i want some I'll give you six, and I'll take two gems from you as well. All right, six. Got it? Two gems worth of hunter there. Okay. Thanks, guys, Jeff. Thank you all for understanding. I don't know. It, once, it's always something. Remember, that's a, that's a Twitch redeem thing. That's not uh, that's not Streamlabs. That's right within Twitch. It <laughs> does it to me sometimes say. with my dog treat rewards on my channel. Okay. Do you, do you set, like, a... Set a number on them. You, and... you mm -hmm. can, yeah. you can set a number, but you don't have. But no to one's redeemed any yet. No one's redeemed any at all yet. So something weirds up. So I got. I ran... set like a number and a timer on mine, so my dogs don't get too fat. Yeah. <laughs> we probably need to reset the timer. Or no, 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 no. I haven't streamed since Thursday, so when, uh, I've had them day to day. It's something strange is going on. I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I'll just. I'll, like That's said, important. I'll, I'll make the offset for now and give everyone three, and we're good. All right, so you you all have a week to get to know each other for the most part because uh, Rob Lantor thinks it's going to take a week to get out there. Uh, Rosie, you're going to sink half the time. I'm going to give you some options. You can walk, go on someone's shoulders for a lot of it. She can well, go on my shoulders. Okay. I, I was going to ask Telegor because I was amazed by his uh, size, but if Kazara is going to offer Well, if you're on my shoulders, then you'll be face-to-face -face with him. Wow. <laughs> okay. <size does> <laughs> I like this. Mm -hmm. Okay like master blaster except <laughs> yes like that is blaster. not what i thought you were about to say <laughs> I'm blaster. Straight up with you. if we're gonna have to walk through the swamp jay can i buy a uh, special backpack uh what, do, what would you like you to do the special backpack i'd like to have a board that someone could stand on like a platform <laughs> <laughs> a shooting deck a, a like shooting a, deck basically yeah uh... <laughs> I'm confused. That's, that's dope. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> how big is that? Hmm? How big I don't is know. that? What, like five feet wide, three feet deep, just a board that goes straight out my back. Someone can stand on it. I can fight. They can shoot. I feel like we could make something that's, like that. That sounds awfully Warhammerish to me. Right? So you no, like no, it, right? It's totally... I, <laughs> it, in that I one, don't know. Um, that sounds pretty simple. I, I yeah, would that, say I love the idea... But someone's going to have to re research that engineering-wise, right? Someone's going to have to come up. That's a good idea, but... It's a uh, board. What? It's a board. With some rope. Yeah. We're <laughs> no, no. I will, I will no. draw you a diagram no. right now. <laughs> I like the idea, but I didn't think... No. Let's, uh, that's... Uh, yeah. Uh, so wait, so that would be sticking that's out. That's a that's a board too far. That would be sticking out your back and up here or something like that, right? And they'd be on top of it? Is that what I'm hearing? Like Just a like a backpack? The, like a backpack. Yeah, a, board a, board a, board on. a board on the back. A board on the backpack. I mean no 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 no. Okay, Jay, listen. I, okay, I, you take a board, it's a you put ropes on it, you strap more ropes onto those ropes so that it's like shoulder hangs like a backpack and it's just a board that somebody can stand on so and it drops behind him and you stand on it like a platform yep, yep. yeah theoretically it could be done if you're big enough and he is i would say what the Rule hell of cool. what the hell Rule all right of cool. who's putting that together <laughs> who's putting that together tell the word you're doing it yourself <coughs> Put it I'll start working on it, but right. I probably need some help. Yeah, you would. It means Devin can stand up there and shoot people. So that would be that would be badass. Rule of cool. Rule, roll me a twenty. Rule of cool. <laughs> Tell me, roll me a twenty sided die. Your intelligence is eight. Roll me. You gotta be. Yeah. Roll me an eight. Yeah. Who's rolling at me? Tell me. Oh, that's perfect. He's too stupid to know it can't be done. So <laughs> uh, that makes him smart. He just got three specials for that idea. So there you go. <laughs> Yes. Can I spend my specials on this? Uh, after the die roll, if you fail. <laughs> All Man, right. if Josh can donate points to give us things. Maybe I should do that. I rolled a two. Okay, well, uh, it's uh, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty uh, successful. Yeah. Oh, good. All right. The board of death. There you go. 
So you got basically your six of you. I'm assuming you're not going to be up there all the time, right? <laughs> I'm not bored of death. I'm excited. <laughs> you're only going to walk in combat. You're not going to walk with her up there all the time, 24 seven, correct? I don't know if the wa I was doing it because the water was deep, so she wouldn't be sinking. You well, could call it the board. It's only the halfling. It's only the halfling that would be sinking, right? The rest of you, the rest of you, it's up to your, you know, it's up to your above your knees or whatever, right? Except for Kazara, who's who's Gross. walking, who's walking on it, because Kazara has that item. She has the ring. Where, where do I get an item like that? What the hell? It was in Party Treasure like six <laughs> adventures ago. Oh. All right. So I, I, I feel like I, I kind of like I it. I get the leftover treasures because I'm never here when we divvy up the treasure. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but we always pick good for you. You do. We you do. Care. We do. No one wants like. Those. Here's the rule. Here's the rule. Here's the rule tonight. Here's the rule tonight. Movement rates in the swamp are three less, with the exception of Kizara and Telegor, because he's too big anyway. It doesn't matter. So the rest of you are all at nine inch movement rate, except for Devin is at six in the swamp, which is anywhere on the table that looks swampy. Okay, got it. Got it. Yeah. Oh, is my is my magic missile wand recharged? Yeah, I did. I, I you should have charges okay. on there. I, I I took off. You were up to ten. You had, yeah. Okay. Yep, I did that. It says fourteen. It says ten here. It says fourteen on my sheet that you sent me. Yeah, I know. I messed up. You got fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> See, I can't. I update everything, but I don't. Sometimes I miss stuff. So, um. Anything happen within the seven days, encounter wise, normal natural creatures only. No humanoids, no babblers, no crazy, nothing like that. Just. I think we got to practice the board of death thing a little bit. Okay. Yes. So I'm going to make, whenever she hops on there, I'm going to make her make a dex roll to stay up there. And then if you move, if you move, I'm going to make her make a dex roll every three rounds, okay, as well. Because you're, it's just like, it's not. There are ropes. There are lots of ropes. Got it. Got it. But I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking realistically, you're not, you know. Like, you have one set up as like. You got to remember, ball. I'm going to show you like, what. I'm going to show you why. Uh, uh, here's Telegram sw swinging. And he comes down like this, and she's on the back. <laughs> right? Melee combat. This I'm could just, very well turn into a trebuchet. He's got eight, he's got eight <laughs> intelligence. Yeah. We're hoping. Yes. Launching, so. He just holds on to your head Rosie. for your stability. I love oh, it. Oh, we could do that too. We could have a we could have the board of death be a launcher too. That would be cool. I'm very small. <laughs> I'm very cannonball shaped already. Yeah. 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 Round. A seat belt. Yeah. Yeah. With the, with this the is gonna go so bad. Right <laughs> so bad. Hey, yes. hey, it's an arms race. Yes. Uh, I, I, I can. <laughs> hey, but that's it. The good thing is you guys are coming up with some neat ideas. So let's run with them. Why not? Exactly. So, except for the 69 hit points. Hey, no, hey so CJ, too soon. The, 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 uh, the, the uh, group, the eight of you, travel the seven days into this, and it is miserable, right? It's very, very miserable. Oh, I gotta, I'm gotta. i going to move uh, move the cameras around. I complain the entire time. You do? <laughs> no, I just... I'll just play gross. with you. It smells. It's disgusting. Why are we doing this from not some enough. shady ass map you found in a corner? <laughs> there is awesome. not nearly enough teeth in this swamp. Carl <laughs> is happy as a clam. Bizarre. So yeah. <laughs> Charlie sparks that she does. The, the smell doesn't even register to her. Rosie's been <laughs> singing ninety nine bottles of ale on the shelf the whole time. Oh my goodness. God. But she can't count so well, so... <laughs> We're at like both 47 and 67 at the same time. <laughs> yeah. That was oh fine. God. Dang. <laughs> Rosie and Carson. I warned you guys. I warned you right about the... You know, <laughs> this is going to be... So hey, good. Everyone's enjoying themselves. <laughs> so day seven, uh, you finally think you get to your objective, which is... I'm going to show you what you see. Uh, the tower is... Uh, Please uh, give me a little leeway on uh, identicalness. But the tower is identical, we're supposed to be, identical to the tower in Altamira, with the exception it's in ruins. Do okay. you notice that right off the bat, Xelly? 
It so is... I should. Uh, so basically, just for mental visualization purposes, we should assume that that is all smooth black stone. Yeah, yeah. as well as that. Okay. Yes, exactly. I, I just want. I, obviously, minis can't always match the image in our heads. Right? Yes. So, oh, okay. so yeah. that's number one. Uh, number two, there is something, and you see that the the ground is breaking up and all, and it, it's not on that sec secure of ground anymore. It's so like very it's, eroded. Yes, very eroded, as you can see. Uh, it appears that there is some kind of gray uh, tombstones over there or, you know, headstones. Don't like that. But what you also see, which really is strange, is that. Um, you can only see it in the distance. Is that a wagon? It, yeah. Are those dead bodies on the ground? I was say, it's a you can't coffin. see the distance. Okay, that was like a coffin. It's a, yeah, it's it's a like board a of death. You can't. Yeah, that is a board of you death. can't see from this death. distance. <laughs> you can't see from this distance. I'm just noting it. You're all the way over here. I just wanted to tell you that it's there. All right, but you you can see something. You're like, what is that? It looks like some kind of cart uh, uh, um, uh, in the distance on the other side of the hill. Uh, and you are okay. So you are here, note, and it is on the other side. All right, just telling you where you are right now. So, and you are exactly where you are <laughs> where on the map. Where am I right now? I'm on top of the tower already. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, uh, as the group uh, moves forward, uh, tracking is not necessary at this point because you were just following the map. You weren't following any tracks. You didn't find any tracks. Most of the tracks you saw were natural animals from the bounty hunter and the ranger who were doing tracking. Um, and that's what, you know, that's what you see. All right, what do you do? Um... So, okay, just to clarify, yes, you are showing us the cart on screen, but our characters don't see that. You do. You see it. You see something over on the other side of it. Like it looks. Is it in motion? No. Do I hear and or smell horses? Because that would make it obvious. You don't. You don't. You don't. So we see the cart before the horse. You do. Ah. Yes. Ah. So ah. I'm going to. Ah. 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 I, I didn't want to give I didn't want to give away in the preview prelude pictures, so let me just update this. All right, there. All right. Oh, there aren't horses. Well, there are. Oh. Are they skelly horses? I, you can't see from here. You can't see from where you are. Jay, so, you have to give me something. So look, look, look at your look at the main screen, and that's what you see. See the top of it. See it? Yeah. That's okay. what you see from here. Can we approach? Yeah, like sure. The tower. Yeah, absolutely. Get a better vantage point. Absolutely. Do I feel any kind of urge or draw to ignore that and go straight to the tower? No, not at this point. You're using your okay. common sense here. You are drawn to the tower, but I you're wasn't like, sure like how much control I have. You have control. That. You have control. Okay. 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 You're being. It's nudges. It's not. It's not mind control. Okay. It's nudges. Okay. Here. That's huh? good to know. Thank you. Yeah, um, you're welcome. Yeah. Let's check it out. All right. I'm uh, going to move everyone the I'm, movement rate. Of, I would yeah. like to stealth up. Uh, I'm not sure. going to use any of my magic yet. All right, so you just get, you're gonna you're gonna move your six inch stealth, right? Yep. I'm not gonna make you reduce your movement rate for stealth on that because remember you're moving nine and it would be half. I'm not gonna be that cheap. You better yet. not. I'm right. I'm living. Because uh, Zara, you can move you can move your full twelve because you have magical bandit on. Uh, I'm gonna stay close to Telegor because he said to stay close to him. There you go. At, until we spread out. Carl Ravalantor Nixolia. Oh boy. I'm gonna get to some ground so uh and, and knock an arrow. Um this feels like a trap like in uh what was it Serenity or whatever where they were dressed up as the whatevers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I will yeah. move forward as well. You move yep. forward nine as well and Arvalin. Reluctantly. Yep, yep. Okay. I'm I'm moving with Nick Solia. You got uh, when you get to this point, of course, uh you see stuff coming out of the muck. In, in, uh, in multiple spots. Let me uh, let me just throw out some things here. Of course, it wasn't uh, that simple. Why would there? It would why be would there be? Wait, you see cre creatures emerging from the muck, Jay? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so cast a spell. Okay. Uh, I cast defense of harmony, and I think there's three people. So it's gonna me. it's gonna get you, Rosie, Kazara, and and on top of you, uh, um, and uh, and Devin, and it's one round plus two to four rounds, and it, all four of your armor classes are lowered three spots for the duration of the spell. Nice. Okay, so he casts his fourth level spell. 
So, to name you now, Jay. <laughs> Devin, All right, Jay, I want to ask a question. Please, go for it. What is minor globe of invulnerability? Minor globe of invulnerability? No, no, not globe. Glove. Is that what it says on there? <laughs> that's what it says. Oh, my there. gosh. Oh, oh. oh that's a Jay. typo. That's the X-rated adventure. Yes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. That's the after hours game. Yeah, could be useful in this kind of a position. I don't even know. Tony. <laughs> Please note that that's oh, in your Tony, book. Tony. You can't cast that yet. Anyway, it's a fourth level spell. You're not seventh. You got your spell book though. That's a fourth no, level. No, I know, but yeah. it's, it's it says glow. Uh, uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. Oh no. It happens. <laughs> I, but I still had to give you a hard time. Yeah, right? I appreciate that. See how much fun we're gonna have at GaryCon. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. If I can make it, so you're Wisconsin, gonna make it happen. Wisconsin state laws. Never all right. So in this round, you see <laughs> they come out all over the place. They're popping up. Uh, can you see them? Here. Mud. They look nice. Plus. Mud men. What? No, 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 no. They smell really bad, too. Uh, are they, like, drowned? Drowned zombies? They're not. They're, uh, no. are, are they poop demons? <laughs> of course. <laughs> yes. I, I, have a, I have a crap fetish with poop on caca, right? Uh, um, Apparently. Yeah. You said it, not us. <laughs> yeah, Dude, <we> smell <laughs> worse than me and Carl combined. So, they do. They smell really bad. So, so I'll give you a hint. So bad. Did I smell earthy? Oh, uh, yeah, Troy! I have 15 specials now. Oh, oh my day. gosh. Oh, Amazing. Troy. I feel like at some point you should choose to give us some of those points instead of continuing to amass them for yourself. Do you know what? There's a lot of, there's some, there's some serious gender inequality here. You, you, oh. you, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Oh. So, oh, yeah. so, oh, yeah. so you know what? Yeah. I have, I have, I, I have thought about it and You've you've convinced me to put five no just no's in chat. <laughs> gotcha. You so, for my lawyer. They what? smell really bad, so bad that when they get within melee combat, you'll have to make a save versus poison. Does that help? Gross. Telling on you. I'm gonna tell your wife how mean you are to uh, us. She'll go, yeah. She, yeah, she'll just say, I'll be mean to him. For two weeks, you know. I feel like me and Carl re really need to step up our games so people have to start making poison games around us. You stay game to save us. Uh, the right? cheese. I think <laughs> Rob I think Rob is not it's Carl cheese. <laughs> I don't know if Rob's feeling well or not. So um Someone went to text. I don't know if he's on or not, but I don't know if Rob was feeling that well. He he canceled his game last night, so I'm not oh, sure. No. Yeah, it is uh, on, on Boom Rock. So, Romy and Nick, uh, remember you can add one special to the roll before if you declare it. So, Romy's excited to die. All right. Uh, I'm not bur burning a special yet. Roll six. No pressure. No well, pressure. I got a, I got a five. You I specifically said a six. But you won. Doc, who are they for? Just let me know. For, for a little bit. <laughs> you won. Uh, so, for, Excel, you're the furthest out, and you see three of them near you here. I'm trying to get okay. angles so you can see. Yeah, thanks, Doc. There are Doc. Thanks, Doc. Thanks, Doc. There are at least... Doc, Doc. Uh, there's more coming out. I haven't put them out yet, but there's more coming out of the the graveyard area too. They're just they're too far away for me to reach, so they'll be coming across. Don't worry, there's plenty coming. It's fine. I'm sure everything's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I told you, a game here, everyone. Yeah, well, you know, Jay. <laughs> yeah, no. We don't have time for your fucking mind game. Today. <laughs> you do, yes, right? you do. You have all night. <laughs> I'm a busy woman. I ain't got time for this bullshit. <laughs> this was your idea. Hey. Will you look at the time? This was not well, my idea. Gotta go. Oh, <laughs> crossover was my idea. All right, so <laughs> we uh, saw, we've, we've seen the tower. We can go now. Telegord, you're first. What do you do? <laughs> wow. Um, I am going to try to turn the ones directly in front of us. Okay. And then charge forward. All right, so I'm gonna let you move forward ten and do that. Uh, um, um, all right. So roll me, roll me, uh, roll me a twenty sided die. Remember, you have three regulars. You can use them beforehand. Um, you're not automatically I'll use. I use one of the regulars. Okay, go roll me. In, roll me that uh, twenty-sided die and add one. Tell me what you get. 
18. All right, roll me 12 sided die. 12 sided die. Coming up. Eight. All right, so from the angle you can get of these, you're going to get, you see these go. Uh, back to the nice abyss with you. Uh, you turn. Oh, I get that glove. <laughs> you turn. You turn. Looks like four of them are running. The four you got in that arc, and that's you know you've turned four away uh, uh, in that direction. All right, what do we got here? Bones knocked it up. Meaning, did that put us over? Not then. Okay, so good, awesome. Uh, Xle, you saw uh, them all take off. You saw four of them get turned and take off. Okay. You're here. Um, none of you. I can real tell. I can tell that that. They've been like turn undead. Yeah, and they, yeah, absolutely. Okay. There, and so technically, none of you have any. The only person who really has anything within sight would be uh, would be Carl in the distance, way back, you know, because right. it's something he has. But the rest of you can act. All the rest of you can act if Great. you so choose. There are more coming. Get, get to the. I get to the get to the high ground before they get to us. I I will I will heed that advice and and head to higher ground. All right, so you want to get to the, the dry surface here? As, that... as far as I can move, yes. Yeah, okay. All right, keep Kazara, you still have Rosie with you. I am going to follow after um, Excelli with Rosie, um, not giving Rosie a choice. Yeah. Okay. I'm into it. I trust you. Nixolia. They're coming out all over. We can't even. Oh, yeah, them. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. So, not, yes. All right, then I'm going to hop up there with them. Okay. Oh, no, this reminds me of a moment of R.A. Salvatore's of all the trolls. <laughs> Rebel Antar and Carl. Thank I you. have one question. Yes, sir. How quickly are these things moving? Mm, pretty fast, like nine inches, nine inch movement rate. Oh, okay. So they're not like shambling slow undead. And are they all together or in a group still? or? Uh, they're all over the place. They're spread out. They're spread out, but they, they will be condensing, obviously, from you getting in one position. You know, so if you take a look, take a look at it, see you got them all over the place. Right? Yeah. yeah. But as they get closer, they may, uh, um, you know. They got may. it. Okay. So, yeah. I've the four closest have been taken care of by Telegram with one turn. So, which is good. That, uh, that really lowers your your liability currently, which is nice. Which is okay. nice. All right. Uh, as an insurance guy, I like to lower liabilities so uh yeah i will climb up to okay that leaves carl uh i'm gonna uh the closest one on the way can i pop him with a couple arrows yeah so i'm gonna let you move forward over here as this one's coming and at the end of the round it'll be that it'll be to about there so you can shoot that one all right yeah so you, know, you only move 10. I'll do the Although I kind of, you know, with the with the pod right here, I kind of want to fire up uh, Call Lightning. You can do that. If you want to do that, 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 that's what I thought you'd do. But you only get one. They're all spread out all over the place. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's fire up Call Lightning. Yeah, you know what? Let's see if I can get two of them together later uh, next round. So you're going to wait. You're waiting to call Lightning. You're just going to shoot. I'm going to shoot. I'm class four. All right, we got a twelve on the die and a two on the die. <laughs> twelve, one action, one hits easily. So give me a, give me a, and using normal hours, right? Yeah, normal. Yeah, I. Uh, so add one. Six points of damage. Got it. As soon as I see an opportunity where there's two of them together, I'll. I'll got it. They're coming out. Light they're coming out from over here. Uh, Jay, I have a question. When Please. we are up on the high ground, is that still considered no. swamp? No, as you can see, there's swamp in the middle. So uh, if you you can like jump over across if you wanted. There, there's a, there's a, um, one right here, with, almost within t ten foot of Kazar and you for next round. But so, this is this is see that that's all walkable. The other spots you probably sink, but you can jump across. Okay. Okay, could I use my my movement then uh, to kind of like tap Kazara on the shoulder and whisper in her ear like, "Let me down. I want to get snaky," and then just kind of climb off her back and hide by that tree. Yeah, sure. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you can use your hiding shadows. You gonna hide? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna hide. Got it. Okay. All right. 
I've already moved everything. Round's over. Give me a minute. Next round. Go ahead, Ed. You won. Right. Here we go. Tiddly palm. I'm going to roll another die, Jay. A different one. Here we go. And five. You got it. Kazara, this was close enough. You want to step forward and swing? You can do that. I sure do. All right. Make, uh, make, give me a poison save first. Uh, six. Uh, you are. Uh, you are. You need a. You need an eight. You missed by three. The, um, it's uh, your. Uh, it's gas, gas stench. So you minus two to hit. Okay. That's fine. I'll take the minus two. All right. One swing this round. Next round, your two attacks around. Somebody. Natural 20. Well, oh, nice. Uh, roll, roll blunt crit, crit, please. You know what? No, 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 no. I have 15 specials. I'm undoing it. I will redo it. Okay, use your specials, Jay. That's use, a, yeah, use them all, Jay. <laughs> I'm down to 14. I won't. I've made her burn uh, one there, Kazara. So there you go. You know what? Kazara, I'm going to give you the DM's stupidity roll and niceness for you. <laughs> You have you you have massive um, you have the special crit a nineteen that still crits yeah so you don't need to do anything woo yep there I'll you take go. it roll a crit okay so that's because uh, some people have keen weapons like uh, like um, Mixolia and you have your improved critical eighty one what? what's that eighty one eighty one blunt as we get rolling here triple oh gosh okay. man size eighty eight oh. yeah that's uh. Yep, three die, eight plus 11. So 17 plus 11. 28. Because Carl hit that with an arrow, it goes down. Noise. It counts as mine. <laughs> uh, uh, we'll go next. Get it all the way, Carl. Telegord, yeah. you, see other, you see one coming around the corner this way? And remember, these are the same ones. You can't return. It's the same type. Got it? I'm trying to get a better angle here so we can see everything. Um, if I see some coming around, I'm going to make sure to uh, guard that flank and charge forward and attack. All right, so you're going to move your you're going to move your movement rate. Um, Dex roll for Devin, please. <laughs> Stay on top because Devin, you can shoot at that one coming. I need less than my Dex. Right? Yes, your Dex. Oh, are good. Less. I rolled an eight. All right, uh, you can roll your two shots, Devin. All right, outstanding. I'm going to be, uh, hold on a second. Let me tell you what I'm using. Because it'll be there at the end of the round. It can't swing at you. Can't. It's, I'm, it's... I'm going to be using regular arrows for this. Got it. Uh, First one. Oh, I can't see what that is. Uh, First one is an 11 on the die. 11, yeah, but remember, this is point blank for you. So that's a 15. That hits. You're All also 7th right, level. You're in a 7th level fire table now. Outstanding. Uh, the second one's a four on the die. I don't think that hits at all. Yeah, it's going to be close, believe it or not. What? Well, how close is close? You need their armor class four. You need a ten. You roll a four on the die. Mm -hmm. That's an eight. You missed by two. Can I use two specials? You want to use two specials to hit normally? No, no, no. I don't. Yeah, no. come on, do it. No. All right, roll, roll down. Die six plus die six plus two. Uh, it's a four on the die total. Okay, six points. Or, no, six points total, sorry. Yep, okay. So, tell the words there. I won't move them until my actions during the end of the round. Exceli, Mixolia, Carl, Ravalanta, you're all clear. There's one coming here. One over here you can see. There's a whole slew of them in the back moving. And those whole slew in the back moving? How mm -hmm. far away are they? Oh, gosh. It looks like 200 feet. They're like two, three rounds away. Where's Death Giver? Um, can I ask a question, Jay? Please. Is the height of that high ground there accurate? It's like 20 feet high. Two rounds okay. of climb. It was, yeah, 20 feet high. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I thought maybe I could have Devin hop up if she, if she wanted. Yeah, no. Nah, nah, she could climb yeah. up. She, 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 she could if she wanted to. Um, can she, okay. she already shot, though, this round. Well, yeah. Yeah. So, leaves these four. Um, Exeli, Nixolia, Revelantar, and Carl. There's one within sight coming, one within sight coming over here. The rest are way off. Uh, uh, the closest, there's one that's 180, Revelantar, one that's 110, uh, another one, this one you, you can't see, but Carl can. So there you go. The closest one used at 110 to you and Exeli and, and Nixolia. Eight. 
Any, I'm just saying that there's there's stuff only at range right now. Yeah, there's one at 110. Okay. So I'm doing next. Carl's gonna let it. I mean, there's no there's no pairs yet, right? No. All right. Can Carl shoot some arrows right now? Yeah, you want to do that? Yeah. Roll, roll two shots, please. Natural twenty and a night nineteen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> nice. Roll a crit, please. You're not gonna you're not gonna uh, buy my points away. No. Okay. All right. No, oh, yet. you need um, critical up, please. Uh, uh, D ten, D ten. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Clearly, right. these guys are just cannon fodder. <laughs> Fifty two. Triple. So give me four die six and add two. Twelve. <clears throat> I rolled two ones. Nixolia and Ravalantar and Nixeli. You got the one visible here, and the, you you all can't see that because of the blocking here. And you see one at one eighty. That's what you see. So see, one at one eighty. One at one hundred eighty and one at one ten. Mm. Yeah. What's the range of my magic missile? One hundred plus ten per level. By the end of the round, they have moved within range. You can shoot either one of them with a magic missile if you so choose. I will do so. Long, the the furthest one away, I'm assuming. Correct. Yeah. I'll move them. I'll move them to where they'll be at the end of the round so you know. Give me three that four plus three. Ooh. You guys got some magic user and shadow mage firepower here. I mean, really a Eleven. lot. He's trying to get you guys to use all your big spells now in the trash. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Eleven. Got it. Uh, that leaves Excel and Ravalantar. Mm hmm. I'm looking behind me. Wow. You see something. What do, what do see, I see? You, oh. the, the gas disappearing and something. I can't. I, hey, ha, it's not like I telep telepathy do that. That's pretty amazing. So right yeah. here, right here. Yes. Oh, dear. Oh, it's a big poop monster. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So how far away from me is Big Poop Monster? 150. I want to name him. 140. 140. <laughs> Can I name him? Sure. I'm going to name him. Lemon Square. Let's call it Lemon Square. There you go. <laughs> Shut up, creepy night. 140 like there, and that leaves Excelli as, as you got I feel like he's kind of a Chet. But... <laughs> yeah, he looks oh. like Chet. Chet okay. Lemon Square. How many, how many things are you going to name Lemon Squares? I don't know. Why <laughs> are we coming up with a new name? It's so, Ask so, Don't Square. ask me about her naming. <laughs> so what was what was that range again? 140. Okay. Darn. Okay. Right. <clears throat> I'm going to observe this round. Okay. And that leaves, <laughs> that leaves Exeli. Okay. Um... Uh, I have no, I have no I attacks whatsoever. I don't think I have anything that could reach. Well, I'm showing you where they are at the end of the round. So you got them. One will be like 20 feet away, and the other one will be like 70 over here. So I'm having uh, a very hard time seeing what is going there on. There you go. I'm sorry. I, I know okay. we got a lot of um, angles out there. You're here. These two I've advanced. Just showing you where they'll be at the end of the round, just so you can get an idea. See, you're here. Okay. One's gonna be uh, here. One's gonna be there. And then, oh, we got Rosie, too. And then you got the one back here that Ravalanta had turned on. I can reach the one that's closest to me. Yeah. Okay, I would like to do that. Okay. You're just going to go and engage it? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flank him, yeah. There's, right. I, have an, I have an ally on the other side of him, do I not? You do, but you got it well. All right, give me a poison save as you go into its uh, gas stench range. Oh, I didn't realize they're okay. <laughs> Hold on, go, go, let's let's rewind a little bit. Back to where I was. Und they got turned. Und they got turned, right? Uh, yeah, no. Put me, put me back. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I don't remember. I somehow missed the detail about gas. But well, the most gas of the monsters you throw at us stink anyway. I so thought the gas stench was oh, the giveaway. Uh, I'm gonna. Oh. I'm going to use my magic missile wand on the closest one. All right, the one that's going to be on the uh, Kazarak at the end of the round. Roll me two die four plus two. Uh, okay. as, uh, Nixolia also damaged that one with the magic missiles as well. So, no, she did the further one away. My bad. My bad. She did the further uh, one away. That was not. <laughs> okay. Uh, How much? They're both twos. 
All right, so, so six two. points. Yep, yep, yep. That leaves Rosie. If you want to sneak uh, on this, you got to and get over here. And there's a second one coming. You got to jump right away. Oh, yeah. So that would take me out of sneaking. I couldn't get a backstab on him then, right? Right. Well, it's also a, a guess. So is a, what's a backstab going to do to it? I don't fucking know. <laughs> My very best, yes. Dad. Oh, okay. God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See? Jeez, Dad. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. Who, who's fight? Is that uh, Kazar over there? Yeah, it's right running now? toward her. It's not swinging this round. I'm just putting him where they are at the end of the round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go over there and, and help out uh, my buddy. Okay. I'm just putting out. I'm starting to put out everything that's coming, just so I can you get the sense of dread. Yeah, I feel like you're baiting me. It's I fine. I know. I am. <laughs> I am. It won't be the first time. It won't be the last time. All right, so you're, you're gonna you're gonna go over here. Yeah, why not, Jay? Okay, I just need you to make a poison save. Yeah. Easy. Cake, really. Uh, ten. You made it. See? All right, and this thing is not moving as fast as the guests. Uh... Chet? Yes, Chet. There's another <laughs> Chet over here, too. There's two Chets? His name is Lemon Square. One of them's Chet. <laughs> I am done. We have an engage here. But I need a poison save for both uh, Telgord and Devin, because for gas stench, okay? And then um, that's it. Everything else is good. We got one engage here, Rosie, and on um, this guest right here. Three. Uh, uh, you are you are bleh, you are puking on top of Telgord's head. I'm uh, so sorry. Bleh. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Telgord, what do you need? What's that? Poison save from the gas uh, stench. You need special yeah. sauce for that. No. Yeah. You need a six. I I lick my lips and say, hmm, cheese. Oh. <laughs> uh, nine. Ah. And then it's, uh, you made it. You made it easily. You made it yeah, easily. Yeah, do they get a do they get like a bonus to their saving throws for hanging out with Rosie and me? Yeah. Um, you you guys don't stink that bad. You just I get... beg the differ, sir. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know why I feel insulted right now. Her. Please, <laughs> please note. You have a lot of these guests coming, and and the, whatever that thing is over here, a lot more coming here. You have none coming this direction because they were turned. Just so you are aware, uh, Telegord, please tell the party about what happens with guest paralyzation to scare them. Um, no, it freezes you. Yes, but what's the difference between ghoul paralyzation and gas paralyzation? Oh, now you're testing my one <laughs> knowledge. <laughs> well, because I think that difference went away in 3E. Right. Um, I think it reduces strength too. Is that no, right? No, gas paralyzation is permanent. Oh, oh, that's right. Yes. Really? Yes. Yeah. I should have remembered that. Sorry. I'm yeah, gonna, don't get hit by the gas. I'm, so I'm going to give it to a kid. I'm going to give it to Excelli, who only has two to get her up to three. Okay. There you go. She got a special repair to get there, Excelli. All right. So Thank you. round is over. Thanks, Bailey. Ch Chet is Chet is here, um, and then uh, Bozo Bones or whoever you want to name him is here, and all the rest of the guests are moving forward. <laughs> is this fucking one square? Oh. I Bozo Bones. Lemon Square Bozo Lemon Bones. Lemon Square. <laughs> Same difference. Same Ed, difference. Roll for, Ed roll for this. It's oh, not. Man. It's different. Well, well, Antar, initiative. Yes. Third round. Yeah, here we go. I'm a rolling. And it is the ever six. I rolled a one. Ice. I rolled a one. Voice. Those so, dice are on fire. We'll start, we'll start with melee combat, <laughs> and we'll start with Kazara. You're only plus two to hit because you're still retching. You'll be retching for a turn to so roll. <laughs> One attack. It's a new target. Uh, 13 on the die? Yes. Give me a die eight and add nine. Max damage. Oh, 17. 17. Wow. Disgusting. Nice. Uh, Rosie, roll your attacks. They're straight yeah. up. You're not retching, so you are plus two primary, plus two secondary. You have a plus two short sword primary and a plus three dagger secondary hand now. All right, eight for my first roll. And, uh, oh, wow. Uh, a crit for uh -oh. my second roll. Roll the critical hit, please. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now remember this. You're you're that is a special weapon. Ninety seven. Ninety seven thrusting. Uh it's a plus three dagger of carving. It yep. does triple damage against golems. Yep. Alright. But uh, 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 uh missile thrust. Also, all this retching talk, and we got Chet coming up on us. I just keep hearing, if he pukes, you die in my head. Yes, he pukes, you die. <laughs> Get it, it's great. How about a nice greasy pork sandwich served on a dirty ashtray? Uh, yeah. Yes! <laughs> can, can Chet roll up and just start calling all of us dickweeds for no reason? Well, <laughs> give, me, give me a dime. When he rolls up, he's exploding. Die like four exploding. plus three, Rosie. Right. Die four plus three. Die four plus three. Yep. All right. Uh, seven. Down. Yay. Telegord, you have one arrow yes. stuck in it from uh, the person puking on your head. Uh, <laughs> so there you go. Telegord, you're still one attack per round at eighth level. You become three every two. Yeah, I think I wrote it the other way, Jay. I told you that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Use that power. Use track. it. I am trying to. Uh, 15. Give me a die 8 and add 4. Alright. 4 can... plus 4, you said? Yep. 8 points. Now, you, you, if you shoot into that, it's melee combat, this one here, okay? So, you got others coming, you can see, behind. There'll be, uh, in fact, at the end of the round, there could be two more on you. So, that is Devin. Right here. Hi, that's me. Yeah. I'm Devin. Do you want to shoot um, at the others coming, or do you want to shoot into melee combat on the one that he's fighting? Uh, no, I'm going to do or, the girl. I'm not going to shoot into melee combat. Should I? But that's the best move you could do. No one's going to. I haven't damaged anyone yet. Yes. Yeah, so I'm going to do that. Yeah, you got this is a good d20. I'm going to fire in melee combat. Go for it. Yes. 19 on the die, baby. Roll your second shot. Ooh. 13 on the die. They both hit. You want to make that one a critical? I absolutely fucking do. It's not going to make it. What? You have, you're down to three. I'm down to 13. <laughs> wow. He's, he's, he's a... Uh... Jay, He's why would you do that to me? That's yeah. so mean. I am mean. Two dice six plus four. You still okay. do a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's my fucking d six? Not right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, Ed's laughing. That's, that's, <laughs> I, 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 I'm thinking sixty eight hit points, baby. Sixty eight. It's five, five total. It's that one. one, a two and a three. Plus and four. Plus four. You do the math. Yeah, nine points. Oh, it's still up. Oh. Still up. Yeah, I bet it's still up. It'll be fucking only crit. All right, so uh, Excel, you're up. Okay. My, uh, wife, my wife's down in the basement. Say hi, wife. She sounded, <laughs> she, uh, she sounded <laughs> happy. You just need to drill? Okay. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. She's working on a, a, a stencil in the, on a wall right now. No. Mom, that's being real mean to us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Mom. Excel, you have a Carl and uh, Nixelia, but we'll go Excelia first. You got this. You got Chet coming. Okay. You got a guest that's going to be uh, engaged again at the end of the round. Another one's going to be further off, and then multiples coming toward Telegord, just so everyone knows, positioning wise. Do I got a multiple strike option yet? You can get, yes, you can. These two back here. You want to do that? You want to call lightning these two? Yeah. All right. Give me, uh, give me eight die eight. Eight die eight? Yes. Because it's two, it's two die eight plus die eight per level. I'm keeping track of the rounds. Ten more rounds, you can do it again if you're still in combat. Let's hope not. So, wait, is it my turn to roll the d six? Uh, no, no. Uh, you guys. Still oh, sorry, I had to step away for a second. I have really That's okay. problematic neighbors. I'm sorry. How much yeah. damage? Uh, what am I? No, I'm... He, it's Carl. He's doing eight die eight on two guests. Oh, I heard you say my name, so nice I thought point. it was... 40 Call lightning! <clears throat> 40, 40 points even. All right, one one just disintegrates into pieces. Uh, one that made it save is still moving forward. And the first one, you killed. Huh? 
Now, Excel, you're up. You have a gas coming from this direction, check coming from this direction, multiple mm -hmm. gas coming that won't be there this round. So, uh, so the one that I just attacked is down already. Yes. Okay, great. I uh, will magic missile at the next closest one. Chet or the guest? Uh, which one looks bigger? Chet. Which one is closer? They're equal distant. Okay, I'll go for the big guy. Chet, roll. Two and a four plus two. Get him, Exeli. I heard him call two. you a dickweed. <laughs> what? Uh, it's a two and a four, so six plus two, eight. Okay. Uh, Rob Lanter, you're up. Right, and I need to know how far away um, the ones that are still up are from me. Okay, and this one, check eight, eight inches, 80 feet. The other guest, 80 feet. A third guest, you can see 140. 80, 80, 140. And the two that are 80, how close together are they? Uh, they're not. They're uh, equidistant in different directions. Chet's by yep. himself. Here, right? The guest oh, right. is here and coming toward the, the half orc fighter. Toward, and, toward and, and how far away is the big the big meaty guy? He's 80 feet the... away from you. Oh good. Okay. Odaluke's reign of boiling oil. Oh, fourth level spell. Nice. Oh. And this is a spell created by Alan. Uh, this is a um, this is a uh, describe it real quick. Oh, boy, the caster creates a cloud uh, that rains down boiling oil. Everyone in the area effect takes damage, and it, it blisters their flesh so that their second and third rounds of damage um, are at reduced saves because they're already, you know, and cold-based creatures <laughs> really get um, really get hammered. What's yes. Your, what's your area effect? It's, a, it's your only fourth-level spell. What's, yep. your, what's your area effect? Uh... 50 foot cube. So it's 25 on either side. So it's like just the boiling oil rains down. Now I'm going to give you an option because you're in range. If you put it here, you can get two guests. So it's your choice. You can get two guests or you can get checked. Let's get checked. Okay. How much? Was, what's the damage? Uh, we start with uh, 76. Seven 74. 74. Seven right, right. 74. Yeah. I, I, I think I get a save for half. Yes, you do. But it'll stay on him when he's in the area effect if he's not, yeah, keeps moving. So you can roll that damage, please. Uh, yeah. Now, the question is, should I blow my Odalukes once a day? No, as... don't. Don't. Don't do it. Oh, okay. Don't okay. Do it. Thank you. Don't do Thank it. Thank you. You're Alrighty. welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> All righty. You'll, you'll see why in a second. Yeah. Got it. Fair enough. Okay. So Axeli did eight on him. Yep. Seven die four this round. Yes. Fourth level spell. Boom. Twenty two. Twenty two. That's thirty. That's thirty on it because it failed at save. With that, you did over the minimum damage to so that it automatically goes off early instead of when the monster wants. It's an exploding corpse, and it explodes in a massive fireball right here. What? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, yes. And, and you're like, oh, my God, and you feel the heat of it. Yeah. You're like, uh. That's why I wanted it down now. Yeah, you can you do. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, a little fun, uh, yes. Anyone remember the game Myth? Yes. yes. And remember the exploding corpses in it? Yes. Oh, well, there you go. Jay ripped off another game. So. Had a boy. Uh, yes. Okay, and that leaves Nixolia. Uh. Okay. So who's left there? Like... Guest coming forward. Guest on Telegord. Guest in the distance. You can see this. Uh, no, you can't see them. You can see both of these guests coming. And they're but they're pretty far apart still. Yeah, they they are. They're You're 50 feet apart, awesome. so if he centered that, he could have gotten two of them, but yeah. So. <laughs> You're killing me. Every every minute here, I have to change what I'm doing. I know. All right. Uh, I will... Uh, how far is the closest stuff. one that's right up on Telegory there? Yeah, there's one right on Telegory. So if you imagine Missile did something like that, it wouldn't hit him. Okay. 
Yeah, I'll just magic missile then. You're within range. Give me Instead a... Instead of burning hands, because Telegram's in the way. Three to four plus three. Mm -hmm. plus burning hands comes right out of your hands anyway. It's a fan right up on you. you want I know, something? and I don't yeah. want to do that to yeah. him. So. So give me three to four plus... I'm, I'm, not, I'm not worried, so just yeah, do it yeah, to me. No, no, I'll magic <laughs> missile. Yeah, because you his, his soul is prepared. Yes. His soul, his yeah, soul is prepared. Burn the spell. Burn the spell. <laughs> burn the spell. And, and oh. him, cleanse him with fire. I and give him a moment. I'll have the barbecue sauce and ready before you. So <laughs> points of damage. So that was actually um, a, a smart move on your part because um, yeah. it had exactly that boom. Nice. And you took it down. So I have no melee attacks at all again this round. See, this is what a game's coming. Gas engages the two here. This gas doesn't make it, and now the more more are coming. I know this guest. Uh, I'm gonna say this one engages, uh, and a, a new Chet is coming this way, All right? But then, right after you're showing that way, you see someone, something appear, which it scares you a little bit. Behind the exploding corpse is uh, almost uh, a guest, or that is actually clothed and looks like it's doing something. It, like, it's not, like, stupid. You know what I'm saying? It's, like, got some intelligence to it. So, is it standing inside my rain of boiling no, oil? No, uh, no, uh, it's, no. It's not smart enough. It's not dumb enough to do that. Yeah, no. Oh, it's, out, okay. it's out the area yeah. effect of the spell. It's outside the area effect of the spell. But it's on the other side. It's on the other side. And it, it, and this stays. It's one round per level that stays? Yeah. Yeah. You may have yeah. to turn around. That's uh, a, let's see. Yeah, it'll be it'll be three rounds. It's three rounds. All right. Well, I may have to range you from there. Then give me a. I'm done. Give me a knit. Ed's won every knit so far. Okay. Here hey, we go. Guys are Back me. again. Killing me. Da, 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 da. And this time I only roll a four. Six. Uh -huh. Yay! So this uh, this one here uh, 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 says something in some kind of language you don't understand. Oh, oh darn! Shitty uh, darn! And it hits. We'll start back there. Magic missile on Revelantor. The first damage on the party. Oh, you hear the drill? That's my. She's drilling something. Yeah, we can actually. I very, yeah. Very vaguely, yeah. <laughs> Jay, remember I told you about drilling up? Yeah. <laughs> I th I think she's getting a march on you. <laughs> my wife, my wife, <laughs> I buy I bought my white power tools for Christmas. There you go. So yeah. She, wow. Well, she's there's a definition of a stable marriage. It, it is. That's absolutely. fucking hot. It is hot. <laughs> it is hot. She's smart. Are they pink? Oh. Are they regular. They're, they're, uh, uh, unfortunately, yeah. there are no pink uh, power tools. There yeah. Are, well, you could be if you got some paint. Yeah, no, no, there, there, so there are pink power tools. So, there. first time I actually get a melee attack. Here we go on Kazara. Claw Claw Bite. Kazara's armor class. Now, this is round three of the Defensive Harmony. Okay? Uh, round you got nine more rounds for the, another Call Lightning, by the way. So, this is round three of the Defensive Harmony. So, uh, Kazara, you were in it. You're negative one armor class now. Here we go. Claw. Mm -hmm. Nine miss. Claw. <laughs> Ten miss. <laughs> Sorry, Eric. It's kind of a chat. <laughs> oh, four miss. Oops. Oh, my gosh. Uh, all missed. On Telegord, his armor class is negative five now because of the defensive harmony. Ooh. Uh, four miss. Seven miss. Nineteen. I'm going to make that a critical hit. Can I use a special to undo that? Sure, you can. You're down to four. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to redo it again. I have 12 left. You have four left. You want to do it? I'll do another one. All right. You're down to three. <laughs> um, I will I will just make it a normal hit. That was the bite. Uh, Saber, this is permanent. Um, oh, man. If he does it, that's bad. Uh, four points, Telegord. So you're down to 82. Paralyzation yep. save of. It's really good. You need a six base. You have three regulars. Can I use one of them? Yeah, sure. Now you need a, you need a, you need a five. All right. Here we go. Fourteen. Made it. Nothing happens. All right. Let me let me finish up my movements at the end of the round because I want to knit. Uh, he stays. Engages on Rosie. This guest. 
Okay. Start now. I'm starting to get overrun here. Guest. Uh, where is he? Oh, let me get the dead ones out of the way. That's <laughs> what happens. You have too many figures out. You just throwing me around? No, no, that was the guest I threw. It was plastic. It was plastic. I'm just a baby. <laughs> Second guest, <laughs> Kazar. You have two guests on you now. All right. Over here. Uh, I'm a gas. Chet is Chet is within. I got gas. Chet, Chet, no, Chet number two. <laughs> Chet number two is within forty feet of Telegord, and a second gas is going. And but this one is attempting to get on on uh, on Devin, who's up top, so it can still engage her. That's really oh rude. God. That's a really rude thing for you to do. I today. am. I'm a rude guy. Yeah, uh, well, you, yeah, you're a rude dude. Let me tell you what. And, and then appearing back here is this. I don't know. I would guess that. Right. appears back here and uh, throws um, it's in range and uh, with his, he does magic missile on Xelly and you get hit rude I know I'm awfully rude very rude 12 total you're down 23 Roll oh enter. Jesus yeah. Christ what well, if, it, if it's a if it's a 4 by 4 plus 4 12 is on both of us no just on Xelly Oh, I thought you were... Oh, no, imagine this is for I only have 35 total hit points. Well, dude, <laughs> not my problem. Not my problem. You're the one who made the sheet. It is your problem. <laughs> no. It is your problem. <laughs> you guys are all doing... You're doing what? very, you're what? Doing very well. So, we it have... Uh, yes, you have. <laughs> you have one... You have, the, you have one guest here that both uh, Kazara and Rosie can attack because the others are ga uh, in, engaging. Remember, so these two guests are being... You all can range them. Uh, um, coming and then uh, Telegord, you can swing on um, the one that attacked you, but then you also have the check coming. So we're gonna start with Telegord. So what do you do, Telegord? That one got hit by that one got hit. The other one that's on you got hit by the call lightning and took damage. I'm gonna take it out. Roll one attack. Uh, an eleven plus. That hits. Is it plus three? Okay. Yeah, uh, for you, Telegord, you're plus three, plus four. That hits. So uh, just so you're aware, um, uh, you need Wait, natural. Wait, my sheet says plus three plus five. Let me check something. I could, I may have written it down wrong in my haste to uh, put in my uh, log. Does it? No, no, no. That's two handed. One handed, two handed. You have a shield out. That's oh, okay. that's a two handed. That's a two handed thing for a two handed weapon. Yeah. So you're plus three. Your grand total is plus four for the plus of the weapon and your strength bonus. Yep. Die eight plus four. Okay. Yep. Oops, sorry, I dropped it. It's okay. Five plus four is nine. Okay. Can I take them out? Nope. Can I hit them harder? You want to use specials or regulars? Do I go um, yeah, I'll use a, I'll use a regular to add one. You I add one to the damage. I'll leave you a one regular. Um, it's still alive. Oh well, I felt close. <laughs> you got real close, Devin. You have this gas running towards you. You have the one in melee uh -huh. combat you can shoot at, and you have Chet number two. You mean Lemon Square? Lemon Square. That's it. Lemon Square. Wait, can I change his name? Can it be Gilgamesh, the Agent of Chaos? Sure. Oh. Okay. Oh, great. Geez. Outstanding. Um, I'm why not? Why not Lemon Square, the agent of chaos? Yes, because Lemon Square is like a nice name. Uh, <laughs> oh. What about? What about? And hear me out. Okay, Chet number two. No. <laughs> That's all. Awesome. Next thing I'm gonna creep is gonna be Hambone, and the other oh, thing I forgot to be fucking Get out of here. So, <laughs> so go ahead. What are you gonna shoot at? You have three I'm targets. Shoot, I'm shooting back into melee combat again. Roll. He's missed Nothing beats 15. shooting in second attack. <laughs> oh. I don't want to talk about my second roll. Fumble? No. Fumble. No. Yeah. You fumbled? Yeah. Do you want to do it with a, with a special? No. No? You're going to take it? Stop it. Stop it. Let me think. You have two special. do it. I got pressure. Yeah, I got to undo it. Just, just do it. Yeah. Okay. You're down to one. Right. You're down to one special hero point. But I, I want you to fumble. So you're going to do it. I'm going to use my last special hero point. Yeah. And I, I, I'm down to ten. So I'm going to, I'm going to do it again. I'll make you fumble. What? I had ten. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. Roll the fumble. 
I am going to start eating rocks. Now, first of all, wait, 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 first thing. But roll a fumble what? first. Roll a fumble first. Roll a fumble first. Fumble first. And, and then give her that 69th <laughs> point. 78. Uh, this is fun. Um, hey, fumble first, Jay. <laughs> Roll the fumble first, Jay. Uh, um. Tim is just over here salt in the wound. Salt in it. Tim, I'm going to throw rocks at your head. So, I want to this show this. This is how this. we solve problems. I want to show this because I want the visual. 78. Fall. Break secondary arm. No use to till cured. So your platform, you go, ah, ah, and you hear a snapping noise as your arm breaks. Wait, does this mean she can't use her bow? Can you shoot a bow with one arm? Yep. Oh, boy. Uh, yes, she uses her yes, feet. Yes, yes well, she can. Is, That's is, right. Is, is now, now I want you to roll a 20-sided die because that arrow may, uh, uh, rear armor class on, on Telegord as well because you may shoot him because you shot in the melee combat. So, good. You can indeed use a bow one-handed. You you lie down and use your feet. What if I use my teeth? Roll I mean, hit. You could hit anyone in that. Damn it! Roll me a twenty. You're fucking animal. Roll me a twenty. Any of them in that. Area. It's a fifteen on the die. Yeah, you hit him. Give me a die. Give me a die six and add two. <clears throat> ah, you shot him in the shoulder. Nope. <clears throat> I rolled max max damage. <laughs> Eight points down to seventy four. And here's the here's the good thing. Your first arrow <laughs> yeah. took yeah. it out. At least took it out. <laughs> Great. But you, Great. So tell her, you're like, uh, and she falls, oh, and that, that gas is like, ah, that gas sees her down. It's like, ah. Love that. <laughs> I'm just glad I'm not the one that got hit. Is it, is it my turn? No, you went You you went first already. Remember, you we just started the, the, uh, the round, actually. You were the first. There were only the first two actions. But you but I didn't it. move yet, right? You attacked. You attacked. You attacked and did the damage, and you added a point. Remember that was the, that was the first action. She just went. You two are both done. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Yeah. We go over to Kazara. Kazara and Rosie have one gas. You can both attack. The gas has some magic missile damage on it. I'm a swing. Roll. Thirteen on the die. Yep. Hit. Give me a die eight and die nine. Uh, fourteen damage. Give me uh, Rosie. Give me your two attacks, please. Yes, you guys are doing well. Yes. You guys are doing really well. Seriously. Uh, really 10. Well? What's that? 10. 10 plus 2, 12. Second one. And a 13. 13 plus 2, 15. You hit once. Give me a die 4 and add 3. 4. That's what it had. Yeah. All right. So we got at the end of the round, you have guest, guest. All right. Carl? I have to go call that. Carl, what are you doing? Do you think I could uh, uh, lock uh, check number two down with an entangle, or do you? I think that will you want you want to try and do it? Yeah, you you want to do an entangle from here back, do right? It, do it. Do want... yeah. Do I think it's gonna uh, uh, work? Yeah. I don't know. If I think it's gonna work. Then uh, I'm gonna pop. I'm that. gonna make a saving throw and roll it out front here. I feel like if you sling like a really aggressive insult at him while you cast, you're you have advantage on it. <laughs> It may, but here's the good uh, thing. You slowed it. You slowed it. it. It moves very slow through the entangle, which probably gives them a round, a, a, a round to get out of there. So Fall back. Bring her to me. That's action. Oh, Next. Next, Ole, you're up. These, these, all three of these gas are moving forward. This gas that casts a spell back here. You can see everything now. Chet, gas, 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 spellcaster. So uh, can... okay, so are they? Is there a way that I can fireball them and not get my party? Yes, I'm gonna let you fireball the two that are running forward. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Okay. Mark off that third level spell. Marked off. Give me six die six. Boom. Yeah. Actually, the area affects thirty. You're gonna get three of them. You get three. Right. Three saves. My nice job. Game. Failed. Made. Eight. Okay. It's good. Boom, 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 boom. Six points. 25 points. 25. One takes a full 25, the other two made their save. Look at, and I used my cool new dice. They're my gemstone dice. Nice. Fancy. Phil nice. made me. Okay, got it. Uh, XL, you're up. So you have Spellcaster. Yeah. Get gas. Two gas moving forward, a fireball going off, and they're running through it. Another gas. Chet. Gas. Spellcaster. Gas. Okay. 
I'm already attacking the big guy. Yeah, that one blew up over here. There's one coming over here. Okay. Um second one. Can you tell me again what the what the big one is that's coming from the other side? Well you pointed to something on the other side. Yeah, it's over it's over here in your uh, um telegord. Oh, I meant the other It blew up. Oh, it blew up. Okay. Ravalanter did that boiling oil, which is still going okay. on. It blew up. I just saw I just saw that there was a mini over there. So Yeah, that's I... a new guy that's behind behind the boy. It's a skull cast. I... Can yeah. I not see that, or can I? Yeah, you can see him clearly. Okay. A, uh, the boiling oils right here. The, you're really, I'm sorry. You're really screwing me up with the camera angles, Jay. I'm, I'm having sorry. a little hard I'm doing time. my best. Okay. I'm doing my best with the white. I, can, I know, I know. Uh, I can see I can see him. Yeah, can I, I get to him and attack? Uh, you got to go through the boiling oil. Oh, it, nope. Don't want to do you that. You got to wait a couple rounds. It would last three rounds. You got to wait. Unless you climb okay, up here no. and climb over. You go over here, climb up, and go over. Well, no, no. Okay. We can let that run its course for now. Okay, okay. I'm going to turn the other direction. Uh, who can I get to and attack? Oh, three gas, or you can help Rosie. I will help Rosie. Okay. You and Rosie will be fighting this one, um, and that leaves Ravalantar. Right, Wait, and how Wait, far I thought, away? I thought you said I could get to one and attack. Oh, no, no. You can get to one for next round. No. Okay, fine. You move, yeah, you're 30 feet away. Revelanter? Yeah. Uh, how far away is that spellcaster? 120. Ah, yeah. What spell were you going to do? I, uh, I was going to do Steel Dance, but no. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's close. Uh, out of range. Uh, how, how far is my magic missile range? 100 plus temper level. You're well within range. Good. Let's do that. First level magic missile. Give me 4 die 4 plus 4 because you're 7th level. Okay. Ugh. That's that's nice. Seven and then ten plus four. Fourteen. Nice. Fourteen points on the gas lord. Alright, I want to knit. Round is over. So let me just tell you where we are. We have we have Devin in the muck uh, who fell with a gas on her. Now you can swing at that till we're within ten. You have Chet, which is hit it, which is stuck. Basically, he can only move like 10 feet. Gassed on Kazara, gassed on um, Rosie with Excelli helping, another gas that'll be there at the end of the round, and a, another gas lord spellcaster back there. First loss of the init round, so we go to Bones. Roll me a six out of die, please. I'm currently not talking to you right now, but fine. <laughs> I'll roll that's, a three on the die. That's why I let you do it. Yeah, okay. I got, a t I got a two. That's why I, you know, mm -hmm. that's why I, I, I did you next, because I felt bad. Uh, okay. So well, you can get up and parry this round. Yeah, I'm going to. Oh, my arm. So you can't, yeah, it was your secondary, so you have no shield uh, defense. Uh, you don't use a shield anyway, so it doesn't matter. I don't use a shield. You get a teleport, you're up. You have a ghast here. Um, yeah, can I... Um... Can I like lift her up and heal her while doing so? Um, she, she's getting up on her own. Do you have a repair injury? Um, You'd be really bitching if you did. Uh, I, no, I have ignore light wounds. Which no, is this is a this is a broken. This is a snapped arm. So, yeah, you need a lesser okay. restoration Cure. potion or a and repair injury a spell. Wound. Currently, I I want a visual. Is my arm just like flopping around? It, it, you know, it's almost to the point where there's a little bit of a bone sticking out. Just the It's fine. Walk it off. <laughs> you don't need an arm, right? Who needs an arm? Fine. A nice fumble. Um, all right. I will cast um, strength on her. Okay. Um, and try to interpose between her and the nearest gas. That is that is the so fighter we, strength too, right? That's the hardcore. Wow. Yeah. Right, that's great, and that lasts a long time. Uh, so let me just double check something here. Strength once per day. All right. Um, you're gonna become a melee machine now, Devin. All right. So I rolled a seven, and that goes from thirteen to eighteen, eighteen oh one, eighteen fifty one. So you go from no bonus modifier to plus two, plus three, Devin. So when you fight, that doubles your hits and damage or your scimitar starting next round. You're plus four to hit, plus six damage. 
outstanding. That lasts an hour uh, plus a turn per level. So that lasts almost two, well over two hours. Okay. Nice. So the strength of Aronius is with you. Yes. Nicely done. And uh, that uh, you do have a, a, a gas attacking her, nothing attacking you. So next, as, as, as we start um, that win on a round, we go to Kazara. You have an un... You do... Oh, it's damage from the fireball. You have, and it failed at save. So go ahead, Kazara. One swing. The mages are really softening uh, up these things. Crit. Oh, my gosh. Roll the crit. Roll the... Roll. I'm not going to undo it. 16, uh, 69. 69 blunt. Nice. You guys are doing uh, blunt, blunt, blunt. Uh, massive nice. crit. Oh my god, massive critical. Roll three times. Give me three crits. Ooh. Massive Four, critical. 12, Roll three times. Uh, 16. Six, 16 on the percentile dice? Oh no, I, I, I rolled a 69. Roll me three I, critical oh, roll hit. Three critical <laughs> hits. Oh. It's a massive critical. Roll me three critical 59. hits. 59. All right, roll again. 80. Roll again. 58. Seems a little overkill. Seven die eight plus 16. <laughs> yeah, uh, um, um, it's dead. <laughs> Massive critical. You just, you break it in half, basically. And you hear a snapping noise as the- 33. It, the, the, you just snap it, you know, it just- <laughs> Goes like this, the body is the, the spine snaps. Yes, with that massive, massive critical. Nice job. Uh, dead. Outright kill with that massive critical. Go ahead there, Rosie. You have a guest on you. Oh my god. Okay. Uh oh, a 19. Make it a crit. Uh and a two. One uh, miss and a hit. Give me a die, uh, short story. Give me a die six and add two. Uh, six total. Okay. Uh, Excel, this is your first time with a melee combat of a gas. You need to make a poison save from the gas stench. Okay. Uh, you, I... need, you need an 11. I'm rolling a d20. Mm hmm. Okay. You do have regulars if you want to use them. Uh, that's a 12. You made it. So, no, no effect by the gas stench. So uh, you can roll your two attacks if you so choose, or do something else. You're engaging. Oh yeah, no, I'm attacking him. Broadsword hand axe roll. Okie dokie. Oh, to hit on the first one. No, brand, brand, broadsword head horseman. That's an eight on the die. Uh, so I don't think that's gonna hit. That's a plus ten. Whatever roll, my plus is. Yeah, plus two. Roll me your second one, please. Okay. Yeah, broadsword horseman. Uh, oh, that's an guy. eighteen on the die. Give me a die six and add one. You got it. Horseman's mace. Uh, five points total. All right, total. That one's still up. Did Do I one... sound quiet? Oh no! Now my sound went. Oh. Mm -hmm. you... No, but it's, it's Tony. For a second, I thought somebody said I sounded quiet, and I was like, "Do I?" Because Mike is right in front of my face. Uh, uh, Carl, you're up. You see this thing trying to move, but it's it's moving at half rate. Um. Does anyone around me need immediate healing? No, no, no one's barely damaged. Don't, you, know, you had to, you had a catastrophic broken arm, but that's it. But right, can you heal a broken arm like with magic? Really with the spell repair injury. Heal a broken heart. The spell, the spell repair. <laughs> oh, really, really. Repair <laughs> injury is third level. It's a third level spell. Oh, disarming. What, what about cure, cure serious wounds? Would that, that cut it? Like, can we yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll allow arm. the cure serious. You won't heal hit points, but you'll heal. I will allow that. It'll burn your. Uh, that's a super high level spell for you. So, yeah. But, I but, mean, I'm not going to wreck. Yeah. Hold on to that until I actually need my bow. Let's uh, let's let's sunscorch this guy, uh, Chet 2. All right, you're going to sunscorch Chet 2. All right, yeah. you, I think you got to move forward 10, though, to do that. No big deal. Roll me a. a um, yeah, it automatically hits. Let me make a save. It's undead. So it's sun scorching. It's undead. It's die six plus two points per level instead of die six plus one. So um, I failed. So roll me a die six and add 12. Three and die. So 15. 15. Uh, uh, it automatically, you automatically set Chet off and it explodes and they are. And it, it hits the gas in both them, and <sighs> so Chet explodes into nothingness. But they are within the area effect of the spell, right on the edge. It's okay. Sorry. 
hey, it's more if they got closer. If he got it within, if he gets within melee combat and explodes, it's way worse. It's way, way worse. So let me do the exploding corpse damage, and then I'll tell you, um, I'll tell you what saving throws you need to make. So, uh, Devin, you need to make a saving throw versus spells. You need a twelve. If you make your save, it's half damage. If you take, it's full. Jay, you gotta let uh, Dice me back in. Oh, I'm sorry. I got a fifteen on the die. Okay, it's half damage. I did not know that Tony dropped. He's just having some audio fun. Audio fun for Tony. It's okay. I'm a cat. That's it. It's all right, Tony. No biggie. Hey, man. Uh, uh, Telgord, save versus spells for half damage. You need an eleven. Again. <laughs> Seventeen. You both take twelve points instead of twenty-four. You're down Ooh. to sixty-two. Devin, you have four off from the fall. You're just, so you're at fifty-two now. Okay. From the exploding corpse, the gas there takes the damage too. I rolled a two. That failed, so that gas took full twenty-four points of damage on the explosion. Nice. Okay. So nice. Carl, Carl blows up chip number two. Boom. That leaves. Nixolia left and Revelant are left. Nixolia, you have clear a gas here, the spellcaster gas back here, and spellcaster gas back here. Uh, the one is close though. Uh, the, the regular they, one or no? The, the, there's no, so there's a gas at seventy. There's a, there's a gas in melee combat with Rosie and, and Excelli. Uh, the gas lord at at, at one twenty and the gas lord at one twenty for you both. All right, I'll go over to help Rosie. All right, you gonna yeah. go. Oh, you're going to go over melee with Rosie? Yeah. All right, she got three on that one. That's cool. And then uh, that leaves Revelanter. Right. And how far are the gas lords from uh, me? I think this one that we said is 110. 110. And this one I think is a little further. That one's 130. Yeah. Okay, so it's magic missile time again. Is that what you're going to do? Okay. Magic. Yeah, yeah, same, yeah. On the yeah. same one? Go ahead. <clears throat> boom, boom, boom. Burn no spells. I'm just kidding. Four die four plus four. Mm -hmm. You've done 14 on it so far. Yeah, and this time I only do 11 on it. You Okay, you rolled seven on the dice plus yeah. four. Okay, all right. Yeah. Okay. Round, uh, your actions is over. Uh, you won, so let me do the guest on Devin. Now, at least you got up and won a knit, so that's a good thing. You do get... Um, um, a, a minus two parry because you, you, your arm's broken, so I'm not giving you a full minus four. Armor class zero, three attacks from the guest. Here we go. Remember if, you, um, well, let's see. 19. Mm, you have no specials. I'm going to make that a critical hit. I'm That's sorry. a bit rude, isn't it? It is rude. Claw. Claw. <laughs> he says going right ahead. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. It's terrible. Um, so triple damage, but uh, gas claws are one die, one die four. So four, three die four. You took five points from that hit. Now this is the more important thing. You've done a forty-seven. Make a save versus paralyzation, Devin. You need a nine. You need a nine. This is permanent. I rolled a two. Oh, oh, you see her go rigid. Oh, oh, oh. Now you do have a get out of jail free card because I already, I already. So don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. Oh, yes, we are. Uh, we prepared for this. So uh, um, you do get two specials back from Troy. It's three. Yeah, he says for whoever uh, needs it, the lowest. I'm doing the lowest. So, oh, yeah, she gets all three because she's out. Yep, and everyone else uh, has three. so kind. Yeah, it is kind. But you are paralyzed permanently for the time being. So You just uh, me. <laughs> three attacks on Rosie from the guest. Uh, four miss. 17 hit, two miss. Hit you once from a guest. One point of damage, Rosie. You need, you're down to 40. Make a save versus paralyzation, or you're permanently paralyzed. Uh, I, that's terrible, actually. <laughs> I don't think this is good. I rolled a 20. <laughs> you did. It's real good. You made it, so. Oh, okay. All right. For Eddie. For Ed. Ed. Uh, Ed. Ed Rebel really Antar. Dex rolls or in rolls or something like that. Yeah. It's, it's, oh, okay. It's all right. Yeah. For some reason. Thank reason, you for that prime song. Thank you, for that oh, thank you very much. Um, War 101. I think you're new to the stream. Thank you. All right. So, um. 
This guest engages Kazara. I got, and that leaves me the two guest lords here. I'm just going to slide that one forward a little bit. This one has to stay one more round here because of the uh, boiling, which lasts one more round. But he uh, he zaps Ravalanta one more time with an, uh, um, another magic missile. Uh, I know. We're magic missile each other to death, isn't it? Yeah. Ravalanta are 12. You're down to 17. And in return, the other one hits Mixolia. The other one hits Great. Mixolia four. Nine. Ten. I'm sorry, ten. So, Nick Solia, you take you ten. You add any more, cheater? <laughs> that was awesome, Tony. <laughs> cheater, I'm a cheater. I suck. All right. So, round ends. Pa paralyzed Devin. Broken arm Devin. Still one here. Uh, check number two blew up. Guest. Three people fighting this guest. One fighting this guest. That one's undamaged. No, they all have fireball damage. One, two, three, yep. Spellcaster, two ghoul lords. All right? Gas lords, I'm sorry. And that's it. You guys are doing well. So um, go ahead, Devin. Roll this. Roll the uh, roll the net, please. So that's all you can do right now. What'd you roll? A one. Four. Come on, this is fun. I need new... I, no, I need new dice. I'm getting... <laughs> That gas attacks Telegord instead. So this is, by the way, the groups got this round and next round and the defensive harmony left, by the way. Telegord, three misses. Negative five armor class, almost impossible for me to hit. All right. Oh my gosh, Patrick. Six specials for the party. Yeah, Patrick. Oh, oh. Yeah, thank you. What a chance. Troy, Troy I w just want to know who the hell decided to follow this map in a vision. <laughs> but you got to understand, uh, Ravalantar wants, wants this magic he thinks here, and Excelli is is drawn here, uh, um, and it's it's a long-term campaign plot arc. So. Excelli had a sweaty dream. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> no one, no I one, love this lore so much. No one knows about the Shadow Mages. The, the Shadow Mages are it's a super long-term plot arc. So um, and she's part of it. Let me do all the attacks here. Kazar, three attacks on you. Miss, three misses. Uh, that one's random. We're going to randomize it. One Nixolia, because there's three people fighting it. One Nixolia. Two rosy, three Excelli. Let's see which one is going to get attacked. Rosie again. Miss, hit, fumble. Fumble. Oh, All right, damage, damage did three. You need to make another paralyzation save. All right. And then I'm going to roll a fumble. Wow, 19 on that. All right, so you're not paralyzed. Let me see what happened on the fumble as it fell. And you, um, by the way, so we got six specials coming into the group. I'll divvy them up in a second here. Fumble, 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 fumble. All right, your best fighter there is, um, your best fighter there is Nixolia. Nixolia, um, I got uh, what is an, a distracted roll under hit die, die 12, where opponent gets an attack, extra attack. So you're going to get two attacks on it this round because you're the best fighter out of the three. So you, it, we'll give it to the Hell best. Oh, yeah. Fighter. So you get two. All right, let me do the let me do the finals. Um, so we've done everything here. So missed, uh, hit once and fumbled. Distracted as it's looking over at you, so she gets an open area attack. This one here is attacking Telgord, and then the two spellcasters magic missile. I'm done. Telgord, you're up first. You see uh, Devin just just broken, really pathetically broken arm and just sinking into the muck. But she she's okay. I mean, as far Th as thanks, Jay. <laughs> do I I'm think she's gonna? Drown or not? No. Or is it not that deep? No, it's not. No. She's just really gross now. So, okay. All right. Every well, so am I. So, I will go. I guess I will attack. There's one right in front of me, right? If yep. I can see the picture, right? Yep, absolutely. So, everyone, Nixolia, you're up to four specials. Telegord, four specials. Excelli, four specials. Kazara, four specials. Devin, four specials. And uh, Ravalanta four specials from that from the uh, Canadian uh, Ancient Gamer uh, chair. What's your roll? Thank you. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's missed. not good. I rolled a five. You missed. Carl, yeah. you got one. You got one here. One guest. You got guest. Two guests. 
you can't see this one from where you are, the spellcaster and the spellcaster way back here. Actually, this camera should get you clearly. Yeah, it does. So I'm gonna keep this one on the scoop. Oh, Carl's not there, is he? No, he had to walk away for a minute. Right. I said just pop arrows. Because Aaron, you're up. You can swing. Thank you, Muse. I do need another one. Now I'm back to 11 specials. Uh, 17 on the back. Give me a die eight and add nine. Uh, 12. I can do math. Okay, um, it's up still. You, um, um, that It's still up. Go ahead, uh, Nixolia, roll your two attacks on that one because you get a bonus. Oh, attack. I'm fighting dirty too, by the way. Yeah, of course. You get an extra die four in every hit. Because uh, these are both primary attacks. Yes. These are two separate primary attacks, so you can do it uh, on both. Here, Ravis. I got a 16 and an 18. They both hit. You want to burn a special, you can make it because you have a keen weapon. Yes, I am totally going to burn a special. Totally. Got it. <laughs> roll, roll Those the, damn turtles. Roll the critical hit, please. All right. Uh, all right. So I get an extra. Roll percentile dice. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because I'm critting you. Yeah, you are. I got a 35. You cut its leg off. <laughs> Snap Sucker. it. Give me six die four, because Bardish is two to four each. Six die four plus, uh, plus six on, uh, for all the hits. All right, this is what I want, because it's uh, uh, as far as combat speed up. Excelli, roll your two attacks. Rosie, roll your two attacks. Just make sure you don't fumble. Okay. Okay. First attack is a 19 on the die. Yeah, don't don't waste a crit. Okay, more your second one. Second attack. Uh, it's just a three. You hit once. Uh, Rosie, roll on your two die. attacks. Roll your two attacks, please. Eight and 17. All uh, right, you hit once. So with Nixolia's hit, massive hit of all the damage she did, because only had eight hit points left. And then the hits you both did, you it cuts its leg off, and you guys cut it into three pieces, and that one falls. Oops. Okay. You slaughter that one. So that leaves that, that leaves Ravalentar. Mm -hmm. Still have two spellcasters. Right. Uh and how far away are those? 110 uh, and 130. No change. Oh, good. So Mel Sassadero, which is a 190 yard range. <laughs> <laughs> Wham. <laughs> Actually, if you if you move forward 10, you can hit with it. Because we made the range 90 feet. It's 90 foot range. You're looking at you're looking at the wrong edition. First edition, it's only sixty. We made it ninety feet. That's it. So really, uh, yes. You, you got to roll ahead with it. Mixing it up for you. Bloody hell! Then I will save it and magic <laughs> missile. <laughs> Are you sure? There's no, yeah, there's no point in blowing it if there if there's a chance of missing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Third magic missile. Um, ba -ba. Bum, bum, bum. Nine plus four is thirteen. All that damage, that one crumbles. Wah! Carl, you're you're up. You you uh. So Carl, this is what you have left. You have the guest here, the guest here, and then the guest lord over here. There's one guest uh, engaging because our guest. Has that guest lord been casting at all? Uh, yeah, he's hitting everyone with magic missiles. Oh, well, let's put arrows in that person. Let's move back yeah. 10. Give me, okay, let me check your range on this. 130. Is that medium? What's that? Medium range. Plus one hit. Two 15s on the die. Okay, give me two die six and add two. That's the first damage on that one. Uh, 10 points of damage total. Got it. Alright. Round's over. So you have left a guest, a guest lord, and a guest. That's it. Uh Devin lost a knit, so we go up to uh we go up there to Bone. I'm sorry, do we go up to Darling? Darling. Roll me six seven die, please. Yeah, I went okay. out of order. I went out of order because Bones was sad. Oh, except okay. yes. Uh, uh, what? A six! Uh, uh, I know, I know sorry. you're not I know you're not looking at chat. Uh when do we get a break? Before Probably we, at the end of combat here. Yeah, as soon as the combat's over. Does that sound good? Okay. We're close. Okay. Sound good? Cool.
God, don't yell at us, Dad. <laughs> yeah, Dad. Some of us have to pee, Dad. Jeez, Dad. What'd you roll? Hurry up, Dad. I roll a six. Oh, you got okay. It. <laughs> um, I have a pee bottle right here. <laughs> By the way, thank you, Ed, for that visual. Thank you. you no, see, <laughs> this one's running forward this round. I lost a net, but he's running forward. And you see some kind of green cloud around him as he's starting to run forward. I'm just telling you that this round, all right? Tell the Is he running and farting? Uh, <laughs> he's been eating cheese. Yes. So eating cheese. Start, How did he get in my pocket? Tell the we started, we started you, tell the Rude. Light him up. Um, okay, so there's still one right in front of me yes. here or not? Yes. Okay. I am going to try to be more successful this round and take it out. A 13. Give plus me damage. Three is. Easily. Die eight plus nine. No, that's wrong. Die plus four. I'm thinking of Kazar. I heard plus, I heard plus nine. Yes, you did. <laughs> four plus four is eight. It's what it had left is eight exactly. Down. Nice. You, you can, you can prop up, uh, um, Devin if you so choose. Go ahead, Kazara. You have a two attack round on this one. Yeehaw. Uh, nine on the die for the first swing. Second one. 19 crit. Yeah, that's a crit. Um, it had eight hit points left. You killed that one easily with a crit. Twice. All right, because even with your plus to hit. Now that leaves just this gas lord charging. So I'm gonna I'm running it forward, and that leaves Carl, Ravalantar, Nixolia. Rosie and Exeli on that thing that's barely damaged coming forward. So who wants to go first? It's got it's a it's an acid cloud forming around it. Well, even better. And and how far away is it? By the end of the round, we'll be engaged with those three, those four. Arrows. Are you sure I can't use minor glove of invulnerability here? <laughs> if you were seventh level, if you were, <laughs> my, yes, you, you can okay. use a minor glove and then just do a do a. Uh, okay. A curly slap on his head. <laughs> Od Odaluke's incendiary wave. On oh! Me. Go ahead, tell the audience what that does. Well, uh, <clears throat> there's this level. nice... Uh, whoa, 70, 76. Yes. 76 it does a wave, almost like a lava wave. Whoosh. Yeah! All right. Seven die six there, Revelantar. Mm-hmm. Burn yeah. yours. Yeah, Baby. So there's one of his thirds. Yep. Yes, yeah, so another spell Alan wrote for the class, by the way. So you use two of the spells that Alan and my group has, has made for you. I like it. Seven by six? Hey, hang on a sec. I'm, I'm still killing things here. <laughs> 21! Yeah, and it failed, so it took full damage. Because the wave just goes, you start it here and just runs along, and you see that thing light up. That leaves Nixolia. Carl, Exeli, and Rosie. Now, by rule, if any of you run forward, you're going to get hit in that wave. So you cannot move forward. Okay? None of you can move forward. It's coming to you, so... I, we I can see him in there? Yeah, yeah, you can see him. It's all simultaneous. You can see him clearly. I'm going to break out my little slingshot and hit him with a rock. Roll. Oh, yeah, that's not hitting nine. <laughs> no, well, um, Rosie, you're plus seven to hit. Oh, you're, you're well, I got a nine. Halfling plus three, dexterity, and a magic lance. That hits. A magic a sling. Give me a die. Give me a die. Uh, it's sling stone, right? Mm -hmm. Give me a die. Um, no, sling, sling bullet. Give me a die uh, six. No, I'm sorry. Die four and add two. Die four, add two. My bad. Ugh. Uh, five. Okay. Uh, that leaves Exeli, Carl, Nixolia. Um, I'm going to try to dispel his magic. I don't know if it's a natural effect or if it's uh, well, something okay. else. If you do that, him. if you do that, you can dispel the incendiary cloud as well. Incendiary wave. You're casting it right there. That. That's, that's our friend. Right. Yeah, you don't want to do it. It's a good idea if there wasn't a spell effect going on in the that's same true. time. That's fair. Fine. Um, then I will just magic miss you again. Please. All right. Wow. Okay, that's three firsts on Magic Missile. Remember, you have a recast, too, of a first-level spell. I know. I yeah. do. So. Three four plus three. Okay. See, look at that, Exeli. They're pushing it through so we can all take a piss real quick. Ten. Ten I was more. only saying something because other people in chat were saying things. I know you're not looking at. Oh, I really appreciate that, but I'm close to wanting to run upstairs, too, with all the coffee. <laughs> that leaves Exeli... And okay. at least just Excelli. Uh, it's still coming toward yeah. Yeah, okay. me. Uh, Carl. Carl you uh, can I get to anyone and attack them? Or 
it, it, you can use your want. Well, let Carl go first because if he uh, hits, if he hits twice, then it's over. Okay, okay, Carl. I Carl hit twice. First. Give me the damage. Two day four. Two day six plus two. Hell yeah. Hey, again. That's, uh, that's it, why we keep Carl around. Negative eight. So it, it gets real close, <laughs> and the area effect. Whoosh, you see, like the acid chewing away at a lot of the other guests. There, it's like right at your, almost like uh, you know, a napalm hitting and. Uh, and we were soldiers where you're just standing right on the edge and you don't get it. And you're like, oh, glad you didn't get hit by that. Um, mm -hmm. But it didn't. And the other one, so the boiling oil bath stopped the other one from running forward uh, at Revel Antar Excellent. over there. So, all right. Quickie, uh, we're at 125 people. Thank you, everyone. Three giveaways tonight. Ooh. Let's everyone take a quick bio and then we'll continue. Sound good? Quickie. All right. Oh, yes. quick, quick one. I have, to, I have to hit it up here. So Phrasing. Phrasing, Jay. Phrasing. Phrasing. Quick bio. We'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Quick, quick, uh, yeah. Coming back, you got me feeling my chest, yeah, like a gorilla. Don't know if you're ever coming back, you got me feeling my chest, like a gorilla, yeah. Don't know if you're ever coming back, but I'll be making my chest like a gorilla. I said, like a gorilla, yeah, yeah, like a gorilla. I need to run back. I need to run back upstairs. I need another drink. I'm uh, drinkless, so I'll be right back. Carl with the big pickup there. Bones, did you wind up moving to the south, or are you still uh, in uh, the hinterlands? No, I'm back in Virginia. That qualifies as the south for me. Yeah, yeah, it's the south. I'm just, um, I'm like 15 minutes over the North Carolina border. So we're like right at the start of the Bible Belt. So Genesis? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, but this is where I'm from, so I'm happy to be back. So, uh, Jay. Yes, sir. Uh, and, and I don't think anyone noticed, but like the uh, what the second pizza, um, so we uh, just pulled the whole garden in, right? Because there's it's it's going to be snowing here soon. And um, one of the things that we we raise uh, or grow are, are Carolina Reapers, and uh, those are the hottest. Oh my gosh! 
And so there's like a big pepper from the garden in there, but it was like a normal pepper, but they've also put, my, my son made this, it also put some little slices of Carolina Reaper in the, in the, on the pizza as well. So that's what I was struggling with. <laughs> so I was like, mm. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever had Carolina Reapers. No, but I take your word for it. They're, they're spicy. Okay. All righty. <sighs> the wave of gas and exploding corpses is done. So what do I got to do for heels right now? Can well, I a dump a cure? No. Serious? Um, <laughs> what's no. her face to get her arm working again? No. Um, well, let's hold off on that. She's paralyzed right now. She's permanently paralyzed. So Ravalantar, I'm sorry, uh, Telegord. Telegord, uh, you know, you can do up to four people with that spell. It's like hold, it's like a reverse hold person. It's third level. Uh, I, um, I think I agree. Uh, I, not Ed. I think, I think Len wrote that spell. It's called remove paralysis. Yep. So oh, mine. Yep. It's a. I'm. I'm oh, ready. Oh, it is you, Ed. Okay. As soon as, uh, as soon as we think we're ready. Yep. Well, we're good. We're good. Do you want to? Do you want to take that and cast it on Devin? So, so how many how many how many foes do we have left? Any or not? None. They're gone. Okay. They're, none out here. They, none you see. And uh, and, and I uh, am at seventeen. Yes, you're at seventeen. Exoli's at thirty five. Telegram sixty two. Exoli twenty three. Kazar is undamaged. So is Carl. Uh, Devin's at forty seven, and Rosie's at thirty seven. That that defensive harmony spell really saved a lot of damage, adding three to everyone's armor class. Yeah. So I have a question about the whole paralysis thing. Yeah. Does it mean you can't move or you can't be moved? Like, can we, you know, pose Nixolia like a mannequin? You, you mean, uh, you mean Devin? <laughs> yes, you can. You, Devin. Can, you can pose Devin, Devin however you want. You can pose her however you want. <laughs> yes, you can. Yes, but she. Uh, I will start chugging beers. I'll do it. This is a threat. <laughs> uh, no. If I'm good, too late. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get belligerent. No. So what? Uh, so uh, yeah. Um, I watch because you have less targets. You only have one target. Only one person got paralyzed. It's plus yep. three on the roll. If you had four people, it would be plus zero. If you did four at once on that spell, it's a it's a yep. third level I, spell. Yes. Absolutely, we'll cast. It. All right. So you cast. You cast. Uh, you cast. Um. Your um. Remove paralysis. That you you uh, lost one of your fourths and your th uh, one of your thirds. But yeah. Um. So. Uh, you get a new saving throw, Devin, at plus three from paralyzation. So right now you need a, a six. Do you want to use any of your regulars? You need a six. No, I'm okay. Are you sure? Okay. I'm positive. Okay. We're switching dice, actually. Roll me a 20-sided die. Oh, we're getting a new one. Hold on. We got to feel, feel for the right one, baby. Um, none of these are d20s. <laughs> oh my gosh, where's your none where's your Titan dice? Uh, those are in the other room. Oh, those ones I can't roll as well on this desk, so I oh yeah, because yeah. they're huge, and I, I use I'm gonna use them for my um home games for DMing. All right, cool. Uh, okay, we got you one of my dogs. favorite dice. Do I have what? You have dogs. Uh. No. Well, yeah, I have a dog. Dog? Maybe Puppy? dogs are off in the other room rolling the dice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Roll me a uh, 20. 14. You made it, so you're, you're unparalyzed. Now, your arm's Thank still... Thank God. Your second your arm's still broken, and the uh, telegram can help wrap it up. Um, it's up to it's up to Carl if he wants to burn his his um, uh, his only fourth-level spell, right? Oh, no. no. You no. said I can replace it. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. You want to cast it? Yeah. You want, you want, you want to use a cure series? I mean, do we want her arm working? It expect? seems important, but I, ideally, I, yes. I would, I have some pretty important arrows to fire off. Ones that can heal Rosie if need be. I should I say, I say, hey, Padre, this is how it's done. And, and, and whatever, I get all like nature y and tree huggy and call upon nature to heal her. Fuck. Don't need, you know, all that pretty stuff that those 
Sergeant Heroni and Church do. It's funny how weird the <laughs> uh, um, um, Eric. It's funny how weird the Druid table is. He's only a six level Druid, but he gets fourth level spells in the Druid table. So he gets, and they go up so much quicker than clerics do early on. So uh, yeah, he can cast Cure Serious already. So he cast Cure Serious wins. And I do it. Yeah, I think Ivy's uh, kind of that way with Druids too, isn't that weird? Yeah. No, no healing that on that. Just repair. It, it, it acts as a repair injury, so she gets no healing points okay. from it. Okay. Okay. So right. I just, I just have my arm. No, right. no. Let me rephrase that. You get the four back you took from breaking it. So you're, you're up to fifty one. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, so, um, Jay, mm-hmm. uh, I want to re- reward folks for their valor in battle. Okay. Who, uh, who needs the most rewarding? Uh, uh, the most off right now is Ravalantar. <laughs> All right. He's off twenty four. Nice. Along with tell, along with your, <laughs> along with yourself. All right. Well, I will. Uh, I will give him the old uh, pat on the back. Okay. Cure light. Wow. Fifty-five oh. strength. <laughs> Cure light. Yeah. Seven back. He's at twenty-four. Ah. Oh, thank you. Oh. Is okay. he still the worst off? Or no, you're the off? most off, but you're 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 highest in the party right now. Because I was at sixty-seven. You're at sixty-two. Uh, Excelli's at twenty-three from thirty-five. She probably needs it next. All right, there I go. Uh, I'll take some heals. You got eight back. You're at thirty-one. You're only off four hit points now. Okay. Lois still again is not Ravalantar. He's off seventeen. I'll throw a Ravalantar at your light. Cure light on Ravalantar. Yeah. Okay, he got back six. He's at thirty. Yeah, thank you. Most off now. Devin seventeen off. Should I use my other right. cure serious on somebody? Uh, you, you, well, probably if you're going to use it, I'd use it on Telegord. Do we have any healing potions? Yeah, but you always want to save consumables for last, right? What? Uh, what? Uh, how up is Telegord? He's off twenty four, but he's at sixty two. Oh. You know, I dropped the cure serious on him. Let's just clean that up. And then uh, we have those six good berries we could throw at somebody still. Yeah, that's six hit points uh, you can throw on everyone. All right, Telegord, you got back 14 from that. You're up to 76. All right. Sounds good. Most off is Devin, off 17. Rosie's off four. Nixoli's off 10. Uh, Revelanter's off for, 11. Uh, Telegord. got another cure light for the lowest. And then- lowest is Revelanter. He's still lowest. Okay. Well, Is there sunlight right now? Uh, yes. You're gonna, your light on, you're gonna uh, use you're gonna use your you're gonna use your uh, your tattoo. Yeah, because I feel like we're not gonna be outside very much longer. So you're a turtle. <laughs> you're a turtle. There. God damn you and your turtles. <laughs> Free right. the turtles, Jay. Revelanter's off four. Nixoli's off ten. Telegord's off ten. Exali's off four. Devin's off seventeen. <clears throat> Devin was the pin cushion. Um, I have one You're more. You're all welcome. I have one more cure for the medallion. Uh, Jay, I'll do that. Are right, you going to do that on Devin? Yep. Six back, Devin. You're 57. Outstanding. Thanks very much. Carl, do you have any left? You're welcome. Yeah, I got one. Throw it on Nixolia. Okay. Nixolia, you got back six back. You're up to 41. Woo. There you go. You guys are in pretty good shape there. All right. So. Put the group back together. You don't find did, anything did valuable. You, did you then dump the good berries out? No, I didn't. I didn't dump the good berries. Who's ever the lowest? The lowest? All right. Well, all right. So give Exelly four of them. That'll put her a turtle. And then give Ravalanter two. And that'll put him at 39. All right? All right. Thank you. There you go. All right. Yeah. So the initial... The initial um, I'll just say, probably the initial turning really helped uh, start, uh, stop that uh, wave from getting overrun in multiple directions. I think that's the good thing that happened there. So, uh, Devin, are you going to go back up top at this point? Um, um, where, what puts me in best range? Really? It, it, uh, I, I mean, mean it's, it, there's nothing there, right? There's nothing out there here now. Right. No. I'm just thinking of, like, if something were to pop up in front of us. No, I will not be going back on that thing again. Okay. Because you did you did slip and f- fall I, on it. It, I, I, I it wasn't problems. your fault, of course. It was the it was the plank's fault that you fell uh, off and broke your arm. I have trauma. So, um, anyway. Um, yeah, you broke your arm and paralyzed. That was pretty bad. Can, but what I'm trying to figure out is, is there any way that 
you might not let me do this, but I can't hop. Okay. What I'm trying to do is jump up to one of those like elevated areas and hop along. Well, no, no, no. It's okay. too far. That's what I'm. That's plus, what I'm asking. It's too far. Plus, um, uh, you have to climb up, and they're twenty feet high. So, um, yeah. I don't want to break my arm. No, nah, not necessary at this point. So it's all quiet outside. You don't even hear animals here, which is kind of weird. Nothing. No crickets. No, you know, no frogs or anything. So, but you see that this this thing's over here. And there's a set of natural steps going up, as you can see from that point, up to the tower. And then you, but you see that uh, thing lying there as well. So what do you do? If I are up to detect snares and pits. Okay. I'll tell you if you do any, if you detect anything for the next three turns. Okay. Right? What's your group want to do? Charge forward. Yes. So do we want to go to the cart or up the stairs? I don't want to know what's in that cart after all this. But yeah. I'm good with whatever. So the group want to go to the cart? I mean, you got people up here def watching down from down below, if you see, from this angle, right? Yeah, we should go Carl up. Carl goes the up the steps. All right. It you, takes up a. Uh, I got you. Protect the protective position. You're looking at the. So you're looking at the tower, and you're also looking down upon that. All right. Uh, Kazara can approach the, the wagon since she's got, since she can kind of walk on the muck. Okay. Who else wants to go over Kazara? Uh, I'll go. I, I do like one of these up at Kazara. Oh, yeah. You're, 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 you're... Take me. Yeah, uh, puppies. <laughs> Rosie's on your shoulder. I, I, I pick you up like a toddler. Yeah, I'm sorry. Who else, <laughs> said, they, who else said they wanted to go? I'm, I'm going to go with Kazara. Okay. I'm also going to. I'm going gonna... to. Yeah. No, sorry. You go first. I was gonna say I'm also I'm gonna stick with Zara. Okay. I I always do. You can pretty much always assume that I'm. Telgor, you're gonna go over there. Um, I'm worried about something coming out of the tower, so I was gonna go up the steps. Okay, you can go up the steps. Oops, I just killed Carl. I right, I'll put you at the top of the steps. That leaves Nixolia and uh and uh and Devin. Another raid. I'm going. Uh, I'm... I will. I'll go with Telgor so he doesn't go by himself. Another yeah, raiders. I'm I'm sticking with. I'm sticking with the babes. Mad Mike's miniatures. Thank you very much. I don't know if we know each other. Thank you. Come and hang. Really appreciate it. Got a lot of crafting stuff here. We do a lot of it, you know, sponsored by Reaper, uh, friends of Mike Disney, and a lot of other craft in the crafting community. Hopefully, uh, stick around, say hello, and we got some giveaways. I apologize. Uh, got the raid distracted me. And Nixolia, I'm sorry. Oh. I said I was going to go with Telegor so he doesn't go by himself. Uh, you know, if I hit this, if I hit this tower one more time on my arm, uh, and that and that leaves a uh, Devin, you're gonna stay low. I'm going with I'm going with because I'm staying with the squad with the okay. squad. one. So you get to this. This is by the way. I want to show this on camera. This is a custom crafted piece by Build a Master Crafter. Ooh. Nice. Okay. Man, I need some of those minis. They'd just be awesome to have. I need, one of those, I need one of those cages in real life. Right. <laughs> so, I need better I, I just want to I'm not going to ask why. <laughs> <this all. laughs> he, he knows Jones. a bad mardigan to hang in there. Okay. Very nice custom job by Bill. The, there are two long dead, long dead corpses of horses here. You don't know how long they've been there, you know. Uh, as you can see, two dead horses. Um, what do you do? The box on top, is that a coffin? Yes. Oh, yeah. It's a coffin. What's in the box? It, it's, What's in the box? There's, there's a coffin down below, too. There's two coffins. There's cages here. You can see some old desiccated skeletons in each cage. So this is someone's, so, uh, you know, someone's cart of some sort. Um, oh. Are there teeth? Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, <laughs> There's probably some teeth in the skeleton here, yeah. Can I? Is there any way that I can just like scurry back and like grab some real quick? You want some horse teeth? You can do whatever you. Um, the horse, horse teeth. Horse teeth. I like it would be a little too cumbersome, so we'll just stick with human teeth. There you go. You can take. You Variety can take a, is the spice yeah. of life, though. So as you're coming over here, Rosie notices there's a a a, a corpse over here in the crevice as well. A crevice corpse. Yeah. Yes. See that right there. Just threw it down there. See that there? Oh my God! You know what? I forgot Revelantor. I left him behind. 
<laughs> <Tell me. laughs> the story of my life. Oh, and Greenwood's character. I was like, where's, where's Robert Lantar? So um, oh, no. I, I want to note the following. Um, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get the right angle for this. There we go. There. Now you can see. So Robert Lantar and, and, and Excelia. Why don't you both to make intelligence rolls on the die okay. 20. Okie dokie. Uh, I rolled really high, so... Once again, thank you very much for that raid. Really and appreciate I, it. I rolled an 8. I rolled a 19. Thanks, Dave. Alright, so... XO, you, you're not... You don't um, see what Rattlantar sees. Rattlantar, you immediately note that 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 corpse has uh, doesn't have armor on. The, the, the You don't know how long it's been there. It has a scroll tube in one hand, and in the other hand it has a, and these are not rotted. The scroll tube's not rotted, and a light crossbow in the other hand. All right? They're not rotted. Uh, the, without, the rotted clothes are back loonish. Hmm. Hmm. Well, the fashion plate in me says that I should have those right away. Uh, no. Um, okay. And how far away is this uh, lovely it's, corpse? It, it's n right near you. It's right near uh, um, Excelli uh, and you and the whole group. It, it, so here's the here's the um, cart with all the, you know, looks like undead hunter, monster hunter stuff on it. And then there's the corpses over here, right? And you're here. So you guys all mm -hmm. can see that, all right? And it's the corpses. You don't know how long the the, the horses have been dead. It's been, it's been years, you think, right? It's not been like a week. It's been a long time, right? You know, so like the, there's, you know. Well, if I was sane, I wouldn't touch a corpse. <laughs> um, but I'm not sane. I'm an adventurer, so yeah. What do you do? Yeah, I'm gonna grab. It. Grab what? What are you gonna grab? The, the scroll tube. All right, you go grab the scroll tube. Uh, it's sealed, but not well. Um, and also, you notice as you do that that it had uh, the quivers rotted, but a bunch of col uh, uh, bolts are like come out from the other side that are not damaged at all and have really interesting, fle um, you know, um, fletchings on them. Um, and they appear back loonish too. Uh, and then there's a, 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 the light crossbow in his hand, in his other hand, which is not, and it was a male, uh, it was not damaged either, it being out in the weather all this time. All right, so you got the scroll tube. What do you do? I'm going to open it because it's an adventure. <laughs> I love it. You open it. Um, it's, in, it's written in common, but it's written badly. There's blood all over it. Okay. Lovely. Uh, okay. And, it, and the, the, the handwriting looks like someone who is probably on their death throes. Do you want to read it? Yeah, I do. This is, it, it's a note. It says the following. I have failed. My lifelong goal of slaying the monstrosity remains just out of reach. May Alatur forgive me. Is Alatar a name that... It's a Baklunish I... guide. A Baklun... oh, it's... A, it's a Baklunish okay. deity in Greyhawk that usually okay. paladins worship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By other names in, like, the Flint S? Like... Alatar is, Alatar is the guide name, uh, you know, that, uh, um, you know, the Geoff god people would know very well because they use Alatar as one of their main gods in the Living Greyhawk Geoff group. A L L I T U R. Any any sense that Alatur is like an alternate name for Heronius? Well, you get you know you know of of course you know of other lawful good deities and you when you hear the name Alatur you are like wow Alatur's on uh, alive with Heronius, absolutely. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> definitely, definitely Alatur is uh, joining us in the, the halls of valor. So it's no ma not nothing magical. It's, it appears to be a note that this person wrote and sealed it. Just like uh, some kind of witch hunter card or something. 
What's with the well, it kind of looks like something like that, doesn't it? I feel like. Sorry, go ahead. No, you got it. Go ahead, go ahead, Excelly. I was gonna say I feel like this is something that Excelly would be very familiar with, like this kind of setup. Well, this is, uh, it appears, I mean... Uh, like, this is the same kind of vein as bounty hunting. You know? Well, yeah, yeah, this is, but this... They, they, I would have had to have crossed paths with people like this before. Uh, you, this is either a, it's a monster to... hunter or an undead hunter Vampire or something. Hunters, yeah, like something like that, yeah. Okay, so I explained that to the party. Um, I've, seen, I've seen a lot of stuff like this out in the world, uh, even before yep. Zara and I teamed up. Yeah, absolutely. Where you get that thousand yard stare from? But so you don't. Yeah. <laughs> Full metal jacket, seven six. But the way, thank you everyone. We are the top D and D stream on Twitch right now. Really whoop, appreciate whoop, it. Whoop. Thank you very much. Normally we're number two on Thursdays behind Critical Role by forty thousand, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, Only you know. How many of us are actually watching Critical Role on Thursdays is already it? as it is? Raise your hand. I'm going to raise my hand. Sorry. It's all, right. <laughs> so. it's all good. So, uh, th yeah. So you search the, the cart. You find nothing of value on the cart. There's a lot of, you know, items that stakes and all. The two things that stand out to you is the light crossbow and the, um, the bolts, which are not rotted, not, you know, weather um, worn yeah i i notice these bolts because i noticed this corpse and i uh climb down the tree that is kazara mm -hmm. and kind of like waddle over and collect these bolts and i believe devin followed us or is closely behind yeah she's and i'm kind of like wading my tiny body through the swamp and just lift them up to devin and she says, "Well, uh, Devin says these are crossbow bolts, not not long, not sharpbow or longbow arrows." I'm just holding them. Mm -hmm. I'll take them regardless. Hey, Rob, hope you're doing okay. <laughs> hope you're feeling better, Rob. Rob, how can I? Rob's can here, I... finally. Thank God. Hey. Hey. So there the, are the one person in chat who loves us. I know, right? <laughs> there are six bolts. There are six of these bolts, and then there's a light crossbow. Who wants to hold it? Can Rob anyone one. use a light crossbow? No one's proficient yeah. with it, but someone can use it, of course. What can I... about me, though? Who? Uh, I don't have any distance. Non-magical attacks. I can give it to Excelli if she'll take it. Can I? Well, well, who would it benefit more? As is the real question. I have I have uh, ranged attacks, so. <laughs> yes. Okay. I think is this something I can? Too. Is this something I can actually use? You just have a non-proficiency penalty either way because you 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 you're not proficient with it. Totally. Uh, okay. So yeah, yeah, it'll be. A, you'll have to <laughs> also that. been drinking Miller High Life champagne. But, apparently, <laughs> but you know, it, Dad's getting it's, it's, wasted. There's no Dad one, is getting swifty. There's no one here who's proficient with like crossbow, so everyone's not proficient. So I, you're just just as good as anyone else. Can I just put the? Never mind. I'm not going to say that sentence. Mm. Nope, you gotta say it now. I saw illuminated pants walk by there, uh, darling. Green. Oh, oh yeah, that's cry <laughs> that's cryo daddy. Oh, okay. I'm I'm sorry, illuminated pants. Yeah, they look what? green. green. They look like bright green He's or something. Radioactive. He's got his Rick and Morty pants on. Oh, okay, there oh, you go. Yeah. Rick and Morty for <laughs> Rick and Morty. So, um I'm I'm just cryo gonna say that daddy. Was... Is that like a cryohydra? Oh, uh, well, it's yeah. like, it's creep lore. Uh, okay. the, I'm a vampire. I keep him on ice. He's my blood supply. It's my husband. That's <laughs> my awesome. Yeah, um, everyone calls him Cryo Daddy on my channel. Um, I was just going to say that Devin was going to put him in her mouth, the crossbow bolts. Oh, uh, why but why I'm not going to do that. Do that. Uh, <laughs> Once again, the fletchings on that look back loon of back loonish origin as well, just so you're aware. Hey, Marion, how much do I have to pay you to draw that? <laughs> what part? <laughs> That'd be awesome. Devin just... The, the crossbow bolts. Eating the crossbow bolts. By the way, yeah. the, by the way uh, everyone, if numb. you don't know, the Slav, the Slav Squad Squad pictures are all uh, either done by Myriad or Excelli uh, by the, uh, for, their, for their group. They custom artwork their characters. Okay. I think, ex so I think except for I think except for Creep's character. Yeah, mm -hmm. Rosie was done by Wolf. 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 Uh, yeah. Uh, there you go. Yep. So and that's Anna you... did our uh, 
our shield or her heraldry. Mm -hmm. yeah, heraldry. Yeah, Anna did the heraldry for both. So uh, uh, wow. that's what you find down here. Uh, it's an interesting setup, but you know you only find a couple things that really are of interest. The, the scroll tube, of course, with that story behind it. And uh, um, can you get a count? Yeah, here, here's where we are. Um, uh, Rabbi Enter 2 and 4, Nixolia 3 and 3, Telegrid 1 and 4, uh, Exali 3 and 4, Kazara 3 and 4, Devin 3 and 4, Rosie 3 and 6, Carl 3 and 3. And I have 11 specials still, Rob. <laughs> I have I have four more specials. What's that? I didn't realize I had four specials. Yeah, uh, uh, Patrick did a, a 3,000 cheer. Oh, oh my God. Patrick, Thank I you. Get to kiss I you right on your mouth. Yeah. I, that must have happened while I was away. Thank yeah. you, Chad. Yep. So, uh, what does the group want to do? Three of you up top, you see no movement at all from the tower at all? There's no movement going on right now. The three of you are here. You're still checking it out. It's, it looks abandoned. It looks destroyed. And the rest and, of um, One of these days, just one of these adventures, I'd like to say, okay, the sensible thing is to go home. Let's go home. Let's go home. <laughs> yeah. You both. You guys want to go back to the salty dog and get some more drinks? You're both. Yeah. You're both. So yeah. Let's go. Close. Back to the salty dog. You spent a week getting out here and you got through all the yeah. riffraff <laughs> to get to this. I, I already walked up the I steps. Mean... We can't turn around now. <laughs> it was just to get Jay going. <laughs> <laughs> we know. Yeah. So, uh, what would you, hey, is that you got any more uh, like uh, sharp, pointy objects down there? Throw them on up here. I'll take. Uh, I'll take a couple of steaks. Yeah, I mean, you can get steaks out of there, sure. Do you think that you're going to raise them? If they're vampires. Steak. If they're I would vampires, love some steak. There's a, oh, there's a here steak. we go. There's no, a half miss dozen, steak. Miss steak. There's a half dozen usable steaks there for vampires. Yeah, sure. Oh. I would like to take uh, at least, like, one of them. Sure. Sure. Let's I'll let everyone steak. have a steak. How's that sound? Obviously, Jay, there's I vampires. Why did, say, why did you say vampires, plural? Because I just want to, because this is Ravenloft. This is uh, the base one. Wait, what? 700 <laughs> what? <vampires. laughs> I've really? gotten the miss, but I'm going home. Yeah, <laughs> really? oh, uh, yeah I, I can hear my, my dog calling. I, I hate to uh, say I this. I need to go back and check on I him. To, it's much worse. Oh, I, gotta go. I gotta go. Sorry, I left my dishes. cell phone in the microwave. It's, it's much, it's, it's much, <laughs> it's much <laughs> worse. <laughs> I, so what do you do? So what? I'm, you know, I'm just, I'm just mind gaming you all. You, you, you've done so well. You've done hey, all uh, so hey, well hey so Padre, far. Uh, do you got like any kind of evil sense or anything like that? No, uh, nowhere to be found at all. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, there's no, no one detects evil in this party. Uh, this is, is, so you all see, say, well, and you picture in your mind that tower, if it was, in, in pieces and not mold, you know, uh, overgrown stuff. That would look just exactly like the tower in Altamira. That's weird. It, it, that's the weird thing. I it's, mean, I knew that that was going to be a thing, though. I knew ahead of time. Right. But it's for them, for them to see it and see the out tower out Altamira. You're like, that's who would, it's an identical tower, but this one's How do we get in it? That's just bizarre. Well, we could just climb into it because it's all broken down. It's all broken down. Holes in the side. So, it's not. Yeah. It's not. It's not. Ex it would be exactly like the one in Altamira yeah. is what he means. Yes. But it's there's an open. There's an opening in the back, uh, and see, look, there's an opening in the front here. Right, steps going up, and a, a, a quick synopsis because you still have your detect snares and pits on because you want you don't want to waste that, right? So mm. Carl goes up and ch and finds no traps whatsoever. Um, I say, but there's a hole in the back. Right, there's a hole in the back. Absolutely, there's a hole in the back because uh, you find <laughs> nothing. You find nothing up in the upper level, and you can see the upper levels. Uh, you guys well, want to go sneak in the back? Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm in. I'm in for some back door. Uh, I, I, I definitely. <laughs> so, so hold on. I hope she cleared your plate tonight. We... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. We... Look, Josh started it. Oh my god. <laughs> sorry, Mandy. Before we do that, really quick, so we find stakes, we find the note. Uh -huh. There's a crossbow. There's crossbow bolts. I'll read this one more time. Whoever wants that can have it. That's I don't I don't need it. I just I want to know who. Apparently, I can only use two weapons and not well. Well, well, um, yeah, that's one. Of the, yeah, uh, that's the drawback of being a thief class, right? Uh, so here's so the question is once again. I have failed. My lifelong goal is slaying the monstrosity rings just out of reach. May Alatur mm -hmm. forgive me. 
All right. And uh, oh, uh, uh, he also was wearing a pair of bracers too. So that's, that's part of treasure too. Bracers. I forgot that. Bracers. Light crossbow. Right. But I want to know who's carrying the light crossbow and the bolts. I'll. I, I will. Okay. All right. if, if, if that's cool with everybody else. There you go. If everybody yeah. else is yeah, like enjoy your curse. You have a, I mean, if I'm just going to have a penalty to hit anyway. I yeah, and your penalty's less much. there, Devin. You're only minus two because you're, yeah, you're, you're, you're a fighter class. Yeah, it would be way class. more for me. Yeah. Why do you say enjoy your curse? Oh, it's fine. I'm sure everything's fine. You never know. All right, so. Whoa, 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 whoa. The, group's come, uh, the group comes up here. Uh, this it's is late good. now. Yeah, this is just gonna send it straight through the back door. Let's go. So I, I won't move <laughs> yeah, figures. Go. I am. I would say I'm a back door cowboy. So. Uh, does it, uh, anyone have any other uh, defense uh, things that help? That does does uh, does uh, Telegram have a fine trap shot? You don't. You didn't well, take I'm... that. No, you didn't take that. Okay. All right. Just checking. So uh, the detect snares and pits did not detect any traps outside. Rosie, you go in through that that the crack in the back. And <laughs> I'm an expert at this. The back crack. Oh my god, I can't believe I <laughs> fell right into oh, that. Let me in. Oh, I'm crap, real little. I fell right into that. You, uh, you find an obvious trap door. Yeah. Now. You find an obvious <laughs> trap, <laughs> trap door in the ground. There's a there's a trap door in the ground in the base uh, of this tower. Obviously, you found that easily. It's right. not. It's con it was concealed. It wasn't. Go. It wasn't secret. It was concealed. Yeah, I would like to check it for traps. Because that is not a snare or a pit, so yes, you must do that. You do not find any traps. There is a okay. locked mechanism on it, but it's kind of locked from the other side. Now it's you can from the other. There's nothing I could try to pick. Well, you can. You there's a you know you gotta if you roll a, a, um, an open locks percent, you can find figure out a way to kind of you know finagle it so you can get this thing the latch to snap. I off. would love to do that. All right, I'm gonna roll the percentile for your open locks. Because you are set, you're going to be, if you survive this, you're going to be eighth. Let this. me in this hole. Let me see. 72% chance. Minus, no lube or anything. Minus 12. Oh, my gosh. We're all dogging. <laughs> well, it's just the tip, so. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I rolled a, tw <laughs> a 24. I rolled a 24. You, you do it, you, un you unlatch it. Yeah. It is probably uh, with Telegord. It's single file for him. Uh, Rosie could go double with someone else, but Telegord's got to go solo. <laughs> I know. Fall right into all the talk. Uh, Kazara, oh, would you love to 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 go double penetrate on this hole with me? Uh, I would love to. Let's get in there, girl. Only yeah, two friends double penetrate holes: the big one and the little oh, one. You know, I, know, I, I know. feel like if, if if it were any duo, it should be us. Yeah, yeah. I, I knew this so, did, would you like to go first with me as well? Oh my god! Um, I could I do like, the between like you your legs the checking in. traps. I feel like you should ease the way in. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'll just I'll just slip right in. Don't worry. Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> you guys are fabulous. Again, Jay, you fucking started this. Yeah, it's always my fault. It's always my fault. Always. I think I objectively said at some point that this is your problem. Yes. Yeah. That's yes, you yeah. did. Wait, wait, back in the tavern? The, the tunnel takes us back yeah. to the tavern? No, uh, yeah. yeah. Just sure. There. Okay. <laughs> He's like, no. Is my dog there? <laughs> I only have an eight foot by eight foot table, so. Oh, because oh, oh, size does matter. Size does matter. <laughs> Uh, I feel like so, it does when you're trying to slip into the back door, though. Oh my gosh! Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh! Why we got to reach you, Rosie? <laughs> Why am I picturing? Imagine, a imagine from this... it's always sunny. Josh, I want to be pure. Oh, no. Josh, imagine, Frank, imagine Frank this going big, on live at Gary. This discussion going on live at Gary yes. Con. Uh, with Throw me in the trash. I mean, What's that, Jay? Imagine this discussion man. going on live during the game at Gary Con with, in front of Luke. That would be like, Luke would be like, uh, uh, can we no. uh, turn this a little bit more? <laughs> it, would be, it would be different, Jay, because the conversation would be going like this with me holding my trophy in front of him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I oh. feel like Luke would know what to expect from us, though. Yeah, that's right. Cause I don't. Luke is I don't know if Luke can handle Luke, us in person yes. as well. Luke is like online with, is one thing. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. Luke has played with all of you. That's right. He's played in both groups. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. my gosh, yes. Uh, could, could he handle us all in person? The son of Mess question. has played with yeah. both groups here. I think we're traumatizing. 
Because I will get up on the table to slob squat. It's fine. <laughs> All right, that's it. I'm squatting. All right, so we will add security to ask you to get down before you hurt yourself there, man. Uh, come on. Kazara and, uh, and Rosie. If I don't see it or hear about it, then I don't care. Kazara and Rosie are first <laughs> going in. Yep. Oh. Who is, who's next? I'll go. Who's that, Devin? Yep. Devin. All right, so you start moving down the hall. Who's next? Uh, I guess me. I'm gonna guard Ed. Okay, so I'm gonna cast gonna be in the rear. Yeah, then go. You're gonna cast invisibility next hole. You can do that. Straight. <laughs> there you go. No. I pop. I pop my silly spells too. Which is what? Speed and Every time you say Nixolia, I think you're saying you're trying to say Excelly and yes. it's been me fucking me up too. Oh, so bad. Okay, it's not just me. Great. Yep. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna cast Wild Deer Speed and Oxen Strength. Is that what you? Yep. Yes. Yep. All right. Okay. It's it's the J banging on the table for me. Yeah, just, I'm sorry. It's J. I'm gonna, cast, them, cast, cast, I'm, I'm gonna wait to cast it until just before we roll initiative. Uh, no, because you got two spells. Which one's you gonna? Which one are you gonna cast first? Oxen strength is a longer duration. You're gonna cast that first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, got it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, so, um, oh gosh, I almost said who's gonna take it last up the. Uh, I stopped myself. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Carl, uh, Carl, you're gonna you're gonna um, you're gonna defend. Um, um, uh, Rebel Antar. Okay, so I got a disorder here. All right, so you come down. It is it is rough hewn. It's wet. It's pretty gross. There's uh, there's swamp seeping in everywhere. Kazara, you get to around the corner. You and Rosie and the rest of the group is following up, and you hear a female voice, very pleasant sounding. Is it familiar to me? No. Okay. She says, Welcome. I haven't had guests in a long time. Oh, here we go. Why again. does this woman sound like Jay? It's a little, a little awkward. <laughs> it's unnerving. <laughs> Welcome. I'm sorry, Jay. Yes, it's okay. We're just goblins. Why do you keep having us back? <laughs> Why do you keep inviting me back to this show? Because, because I want... It's good. So... Think about this. All right, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna blow you here for a second. This this is I love playing D and D this way, right? Where you're having fun, you're poking fun at each other, you're playing with your friends. That's what it's all about, right? Right? You just get yeah. messing with us, Jay. Jay, I literally will get drunk enough to start crying about how much I love you all. Well, so thank yeah. you, <laughs> thank you so very much for that. That was really nice to say. Oh no! Please really... don't make us I cry. Love you guys. Now fuck off. <laughs> Right. Thank I'll you for the follow. Uh, I don't know what to do when they cry. Yes. <laughs> we cry too. Just fucking ah, shut I down. All right. Back away I slowly. almost made a joke that was not appropriate for Twitch. Turtle. Really? Wait, we haven't been doing We're that already? Well, I'm going gonna, gonna to show this big, I'm gonna show this big entrance room. There's like five quick moderators in chat right now. I mean, it was, I no, it was, it was pretty, it was pretty foul. It was pretty, uh, it, so, it was going places. Chris, uh, you get to this point here, you and Rosie are the first two, and I'm going to explain what you see. And, uh, yeah, as the rest of the group is following behind uh, in the hall here. But you see, first off, Excelly, you immediately see a glowing purplish blackish hue in the room, and you're like, that is shadow magic ish stuff. You immediately, all right, so I'm putting it just, I'm gonna have some couple angles. All right, this thing is glowing a purplish bluish dark, you know, darkish hue. So there is only one individual in the room that you see, and this is Kazara and Rosie. Oh, she's very, look, she's, she's harmless. I can't see her. It's a Where? really, it's just a nice, attractive, Famous a oh, nice, bro. attractive, uh, blonde hair, human, oh, human no. female. She's just standing there. She's probably in her, she's probably 28 to 30. She's just standing here. You know, I did hear that blondes do like to have fun. Yes, so. and she just. Is stand, she hot though? Yes, Is she that's hot smoke, smoking hot. Oh, all right. Okay. Smoking hot. And uh, you two come in, and she's like, "Welcome." The Slav Squad Squad is like, "Is your name Miss Green?" <laughs> you, uh, you, that's it. You just you see her, and she's like, "Well, welcome." 
It has been a long time. Where is where is the where is the one that's going to challenge challenge me? She's that. Oh, okay. She's down the hall a little bit. All right. Let's let's start this. I hope you don't mind that we came in through the back door. She says. She says I don't mind at all. I think she. I think wow. She, I, 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 she plays she fast says, and loose. I like her already. No, she's she's a she's an ass fiend, y'all. She's like none, um, none of you are ever leaving here. So we're in a raspberry. Oh, TPK. Ever. TPK. Wait, are you talking about you talking about BJ? Am I the challenger? <laughs> yeah. Roll for it, please. Initiative. What was Am I still so on in it? It's it's I think it's Nixolia, isn't it? Okay. And Nixolia, okay. you roll in that, please. You can use a special ahead of time if you want. No. <laughs> I should have, however. Did you, did you roll one? Yes. Oh yeah, no. I, I won. I'm just shocked that this person is here and it's so it, it's radiating from me so it's making everyone shocked <laughs> she casts a spell this round uh, of course she does she does this round and so i'm gonna go kizara you're first what do you want to do that's the only one in here <laughs> like how hot is she uh, like hot enough where I would question trying to uh, no probably like face. probably like a comeliness of between eight uh, in old school between eighteen and twenty one. All right, um, I'm gonna like Giselle uh, in her prime. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna approach her, I guess. All right, so you gonna start coming in toward her? Yeah, I'm gonna get you halfway before something happens. Rosie, what do you do? Uh, well, I feel like this is yet again another game where I can't sneak up on anything. <laughs> Um, so that's cool, Jay. Uh, oh, this is gonna go so bad. Um, should try being a shadow mage sometimes. You snuck. I'll you, just, you know you, what? I'll just be over there you, fucking myself. You say, you say the party. You say the party against the overboard. So I don't want to hear that. You say the party against the overboard with your shadow ma- magic. That's, yeah. You, you um, I'm kind of gonna like move up against the wall and and like make room for others to like do you want to go to the right or to the left to the the right here or to the left over here Um, right left well yeah that's that's fine where i'm at okay no wait wait, put me on the other side side there's a table here you can hide under a table if you want Uh, so i'm gonna gonna do your hiding shadows got it okay next um Devin, you gotta move twenty five feet to get in. She so can't shoot or anything like that. That's your twenty five to get there. What do you do? Look, there's only just her. Know. It's just uh, her. Give her the finger. I don't know. I can't do anything, right? Right. Well, you can move or do it. You know, continue to, or you can just stay there. Yeah. You know, there's uh, so just note. You can see a bunch of glittering stuff, just all just piled up here. A whole bunch uh, of. And then can I go? Can I like make my way to the shiny stuff? Well, if you want to start walking across this way, yeah, I'm gonna stop you right it's out there. It's a trap. All right, yeah, XLE. 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 Lizard Brain says shiny go get or crow brain or whatever it is. It is crow brain. XLE, you're up. <laughs> XLE's scared. Oh, she's on the phone or something? Did you say Nixolia? Exce- XLE. Say... Mandy, XLE. What? Okay. Mandy, you're up. Oh my God, you're really killing me. Okay. Um, I'm still in the hall. Yeah, you got about you got thirty to go to get into the room this round. I would like to. I lost my sheet. Hold on. I want to use my shroud thing. All right, so you can use one of your three uh, innates. Yes, In- innates. Okay. I'm trying. I'm trying to pull up. The- I'm trying hide in shadows. Correct. Okay, so yes. uh, you get this far. Uh, um, that's thirty. You can still go another thirty. Where do you want to go? I want to get. My goal is to get behind this woman. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to start moving you this way. When you come into the she's room, in. when you come into the room in the shadow, she mm-hmm. says, it's you, it's yours if you can take it. And she, you see a brooch on her body with gems in it. She can see me. <laughs> she didn't point to you, but she's... <laughs> She, well, but think, she's she, she's addressing me. She, when you come into the room and your dark in your darkness, which certain uh-huh. people can see into, right? Mm-hmm. Um, she says that if you, this is yours for the taking, if you can take it from me. To me. Yes. 
And now oh, crap. she says, and now, this is the bitch from my dream. <laughs> and uh, tell her, you move 35 to get into the room. So no spell casting. She's a shadow like mage. Oh, boy, you're, yeah. Oh. Can I cast a spell while I'm moving? Then? If you move 10 feet, yes. You want to do it? Oh, what are you going to no. cast? No, I'll get into the room. Then. Get in the room. Next, Olya. You got to move 40 to get into the room. Yes, I will move forward invisible. Yes, that's right. It's better than darkness. I'm going to put you there, and then and Revelator, I'm going to move you into the room. Uh, okay. How <laughs> far away is the lady speaking to us? You can't see her until you get in the room, and you got to move 55 feet to get into the room. Okay. And uh, if I get into the room, how far is she? I will tell you in a second here. Okay. Yeah, uh, but you. Uh, thank you very much for that. Those kind words there. So um, when you get to this point, she's only 40 feet away from you after that. Got it. Okay. Now, yes. Remember, you've moved more than 10, so you can't, you can't cast a spell. The movement is your action in 1E2E, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's fine. Carl, you get, that, you get that far. That was 60 feet of movement. Okay? Can I, can I, can I not get into the area of effect you're setting up? Uh, yeah, sure. Do you want to stay back here? A little bit, just so that my next movement I can also act on. Okay. Unless so the I spell am. she cast is a is a shadow mage spell called summon shadow. Okay. So ready. So a shadow appears here. Shadow appears here. Shadow appears until there. You go. Hmm. Okay. All right. You get a shadow. You get a shadow. It's gonna get better than this. It's better. It's gonna get better. So, uh, Telegord, you sense something bad coming down this hall here. This one right here. All right. So, um, okay, and I'm I'm right there. Right? You're right there. Yeah, you see, uh, you see one this this dude. Okay. Nice. Can I react or not? Yet? No, that the round's ended. That's he moved right there, and that's it on the round. Okay, so we're gonna roll. Uh, I want to knit. Round is over. So next to Nick goes to Excelli. You can roll. You can have one uh, special hero point uh, ahead of time if you okay. want. No choose. Okie dokie. I'm going to roll this dice because it tends to roll pretty okay. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Watch me fuck myself over now that I've said that. Yep. Uh, it's a three. Six. All right, let me do the shadows. I first. can't be mad about it because I usually beat you at initiative. No. <laughs> shit, but... Shadow. The shadow attacks first. We're going to go on Telegord. Uh, you're okay. almost negative two. Telegord 10 misses. These are just normal shadows from the spell Summon, summon Shadow. It's fourth level. All right. Next uh, one is on uh, Kazara. 19. I'll make that a crit. Uncrit Oof. that. Did you just crit me? Yes. You want to undo I'm it? Crit. All right. Yeah. All right. You're down to three. Um, so I'm going to just keep it as a normal hit. Um, it does three points and drains one point of strength. Stop that. Shadows are awesome. Stop that. So, Kazara, your strength drops from 1855 to straight up 18. So um, you, you're now plus one, plus two. So you, you lost a plus one to hit. And plus three damage. You're down to plus three, plus five base now from that strength drain. Oh, Rob, Kazara, you got that back. You are back up to four from Rob. The re the regenerator is here. Okay. Uh, um, I'm I'm sorry. Quick question. So she just cast she just cast animate shadow. No, she cast summon shadow as they were coming. She summoned shadow. Yeah, I, so last she's one. Higher, okay. Yes. She's higher level than me. Got it. Yeah. Uh, eighteen on um our friend there. Um, Devin, that hits. I'm just going to do a normal hit. Uh, five points, Devin, from a shadow. You're at 52. The shadow um, drains a point of strength from you, but you have a strength spell on. So that drops your strength back to eight. You were 1851. drops it down to 18. So now you're, you're plus three, plus five, instead of that plus four, plus six. So that actually drained a point okay. off of the spell. All right? Oh, good. Okay. Now, um, this dude over there, he uh, he's not gonna uh, he's not gonna attack this round. He just he comes over to here this round, gets in position because there's another one coming. You get a bad feeling, to, um, uh, Telegord, that you do not want to get hit by these things physically. You got a bad feeling. All right, about so uh, last, <laughs> lastly, <It's a> trap. 
Lastly, Mistress Aranor, which is her name, says, uh, I'm going to enjoy this. She casts a spell. I wonder if you wrote this too, Ed. Darkening Bolt. Did you write that? It's in it's in it's in Wizard Spell Compendium. Dark, uh, darkening. It is, a, it is a rewrite of a spell I did. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, it's it. Thank you. We're getting close to our third hype train tonight. So this is a shadow version of a lightning bolt. This is fourth level. Could you see you see the violet the violet um, stud on her her amulet goes and pulses. And she can cast a spell one to four levels higher. Hmm. That's nice. Here we go. Uh, starts it here. You can't fork that. And hits Ravalantar and Carl with a darkening bolt. Hmm. It's a it's a lightning bolt in shadow form. Let's see how much. Oh boy. Okay, um, hmm. It's not lightning, though, Carl. Yeah, I get it. It's shadow. So I heard you. Yeah, uh, Ravalantar, uh, your saving throw. You need. Uh, let me just see here. It got deadly silent now. You guys are scared. You need serious <laughs> business. Ravalantar, you need a seven. You have two regulars, four specials. Mm -hmm. What would you like to use? Uh, I think I'll use a regular. Okay, you now need a six. Make a save, please. Okay. And I got an 11. Half damage. 16 instead of 32. <gasps> you're, down to, you're down to 23. Carl, you need, yeah. um, you I, need a I 13. Yeah, All right, 16. You're down to 31. I'm done. I'm done. It gets. It's gonna get better, though. It's gonna be better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kazara, you're up. You are, have a shadow on you. Shadow's only armor class seven. Okay, I'll swing at it. Do you want to use a shout of power or demoralizing shout? Yeah, you didn't use uh, one last time. Not yet. Okay. All right. So roll the hit, please. Uh, sixteen. That hits easily. Give me a die eight now. Only add six now because of your strength reduction. Uh, ten. Ten points on a uh, on a summoned shadow, so that goes okay. It's still up. Uh, Devin, Melee, swing. Uh, yep. Okay. Sure am. You got a uh, similar. Go ahead. Sixteen on the die. Okay, um, that hits. Give me a die eight and add um, add five now. Die eight plus five. Uh, eight baby on the die. Eight. Okay, so thirteen. All right, uh, nice you have you have a you have a shadow on you, and uh, make me a wisdom roll on a die twenty. I roll higher low. Low, you want to roll your wisdom or lower on a die twenty? A six. Uh, you have a feeling that those are specters. Yeah, I kind of had that feeling. Okay. Um. So many things I want to do all in the same round. Um, <laughs> do I think I can turn the specters? Uh, you can. They are in unconsecrated ground. I'm just going to let you know that. Uh, let me see what you... Uh, you, need, uh, you need a 20. <laughs> yeah, that's probably not going to work. <laughs> Thank you for the um, follow. I think then I probably, even though it wastes around, I need to cast uh, Shield of Veronius first. Yes, and what's it drop your armor class to? Um, it makes you mute. It drops it. What's that? I think it drops it by two. Let me get out. Let me get out real quick. Yeah, plus two AC bonus. Okay. And a Null's magic missile. Yeah, I thought it did that. What is your what is your uh, duration on that? Four rounds per level, oh my so gosh. 28 rounds. Okay, so for this fight. Yeah. All right. Uh, and drops your armor class now down to negative four. Shield of Veronius. Okay. All right, uh, Exeli. Did you say that this is deconsecrated ground? Un or consecrated ground? Unconsecrated ground. Okay. 
Well, thank you for thank you for watching from Denmark. We Denmark. really we really appreciate cool. it. Thank you so very much. That's really cool. And you know, like I said, we got some uh, great players and and uh, Ed and uh, and Eric, great legends who've wrote a ton of uh, of stuff for Forgotten Realms and Greyhawk for Eric and just wonderful stuff. And we got an awesome cast here tonight. And I'm, I'm I'm honored to be able to DM for everyone. Go ahead, Excel, you're up. Uh, okay. Um, I'm going to ignore the specters because there's none in my way. And yep. I'm, I'm, I'm going straight for this lady. Like, <laughs> there's nothing, there's nothing around her. She doesn't have any barriers. She doesn't have a wall of gloom. Correct. You don't see anything on her. There's nothing on her. No. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to get it as close as I can to her. Uh, I want, I want that brooch. Cause I think I know what it is. So, uh, uh, um, Okay, so are you going to try and just sneak, go behind her? Or are you going to uh, try and just engage her? Your call. Oh, I'm a bounty hunter, baby. I'm going to get behind her. Okay. <laughs> okay. Because if she tries to stop me, I'm going to whack her. You got it. So can I go for the brooch? Or am I not close enough yet? Uh, so um, you're you you're you're engaged. You're, you you move sixty. You move like forty five feet to get there. Okay. Stuck okay. behind. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. So, Understood. Uh, yeah. Next round. Yeah. Do yeah. I do I feel like she can sense my presence? Like has she indicated that she knows that I'm getting close? Well, all will be explained in the end so that you don't think I'm cheating. So that's all I'll say right <laughs> now. Because <sighs> I will wait till the end of the round and I'm gonna give you one hint. He's gonna one. explain at the end. Uh, one hint at whatever. the end of the round. I'll He's give. gonna explain at the end once my character's fucking. Ra dead in the Ra you're up. You see, <laughs> Spectre, Spectre, uh, Mistress Aranor, and three engaged shadows. Okay, so where are the shadows? One's on Telegord, One's on Devon. One's on um, on Kazara. And where am I? I'm here. Right here next to Telegord. Yeah. Okay, and can I see both Spectres? Yeah, absolutely. One there, one there. They're separated by about 40 feet. And can I see... Uh, I, I have seen the sneak attempt. No, you don't You don't see that because she's completely okay. invisible to you, but you see yeah, her you by can't herself. See me at all. Okay, okay. But she's moving up this round, so if you do it, it's... You, if you do an A effect spell, we'll get her, but if you do a single target spell, it won't. Okay, so um, if I do Acid Cloud behind her... I'll let you do that, sure. Because uh, it's a 30-foot globe. Right. Auto Luke's Acid Cloud? Yeah. And, I, and I'm going to cast it uh, one to four levels higher than I can. Roll, roll, please. Okay. So 1d4 first. Yes. Three levels higher. So, so a tenth level. Yeah, tenth level. Yeah. Okay. What's the okay. damage? 44. And it lasts, and, it lasts for now multiple rounds. It lasts for five more rounds instead? For it's two. Uh, yep. Okay. Yep. All right. So roll four die four, please. Yep. Ah. Oh, boy. Eight. Okay. So... I'm just going to say, Excel, he's here at the end of the round, and, it starts, and she looks over at you and says, really? And she's, like, standing in it. Nothing's happening to her. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. At all. Nixolia. And she looks over at you and says, you're amusing. Nice. I'm going to try to dispel her. Okay. So, what are you going to cast? you going to cast Dispel Magic? Yep. Okay. Roll percentile dice. Will that also dispel my uh, shadow cloak? Shadow cloak. Uh, um, if you you did the innate ability one, so no. Okay. Right. If you did the spell casting one, the first I did level the spell. Innate ability yeah. One. So then I there's no. First. And you have no spells on you. So roll three times for me, percentile dice, please. All right. Twenty eight. Okay. You uh, uh, you may have dispelled something. Roll again. Sixty nine. Okay, and roll one more time. Nice. And 15. Okay, that dispelled the Autoluke's Acid Cloud. Oh, 
Well, there you go. But it did, it, it, and she was standing in it like she was taking no damage. So actually, Excelli can get there next round now. So it actually works that you dispelled that because she's sneaking behind. But you don't know if it dispelled anything on her or not. All right, that leaves right. Rosie and Carl for this round. Then I'm going to give my one and only hint. I feel like I know what it's going to be. <clears throat> uh, I have a question. Uh, this big glowing uh, orb thing behind her, do yeah. I like notice anything about it? The, it's the... just pulsing shadow eminence from it. Um, so I would like to start like sneaking uh, closer to around the back of that. You can get all the way over to here. This round, you can get all the way over to there in 60 foot movement. Cool. Okay, and by the way, that dispel magic, I'm, I, um, uh, I'm not going to say that was offensive, so uh, you can still stay invisible. And that leaves, lastly, Carl. One of those uh, shadows got some damage on it? Uh, one, two, three, all with damage on it. You want Silver Lance one? Yep. Which one? You tell me. Devin? Kazara has two attacks around. Devin, Kazara, or Telegord? Uh, Devin. Roll me four to that four, right? Four to 16? Tony's showing some shoulder. I'm either hot or cold tonight. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're going with half. <laughs> awesome. Four four. Wow. Three fours and a one. All right. So 13. 13 points. That actually, and that was the one on. Um, There's no plus on that? On Devin. Uh, um, so what'd you, you, no, it's it's four, it's four day four. So, but guess what? You, um, uh, that one, Devin did. You did a lot of damage last round of yours. You did 13 in yours, Devin. You did max on it. You actually got rid of it exactly. That, okay. that one disappears. And I'll move up. Move up 10. All right, so here's my uh, here's my one hint. Well, what do you think the hint's going to be? That, oh, she, she went away. Oh, here she comes. My one and only hint. What do you think it's going to be? What do you think that hint's going to be? Go stand near that dark orb so that you get more. Yeah, uh, I have a feeling that thing's going to shoot. No, me no. Her. You are forgetting... A major, major aspect of your dream. I mean, I took I took notes about it. it okay, was but Altamira, there were the Black Tower in Altamira, no windows, no doors. Another tower, just the same in a swamp, but ruins. Is it her? Is it her? Her emblem on her? I was getting her instructions. With, something woke you up at the end of the dream. Every Tiger. Time. Roll for an it, please. Who's in it? Is it? It's not mine. I lost the last one. Whoever's after me. I lost. That's it. it. That's one. it for hints. So uh, go ahead, to, uh, uh, Kazar. She's a weird tiger. Five. This Four. bitch bites me. That would be metal as fuck. <laughs> where, where a tiger shadow mage? Hell yeah. That's worse. Right or oh wait. That's my new metal right band. Now. What? Oh, because I would she's think she would be gloating right now. She's a rock shaka. Yeah, that was my other guess. Rock shasa. All right, so uh, you're first, Excelli. What do you do? Uh, I I want I want a brooch. So you're gonna try and like sneak grab it? Yeah, hell yeah. Roll me a twenty side die. Okie dokie. Excelli doesn't know any better. I do, but I don't care. Yeah, I know. That did not go into the thing. Should I re-roll? I didn't look at what it was. You re-roll. I did not look at it. Yeah. I, it just went out of my little dish. Uh, that's 12 She just whatever. She grabs your arm and says, no. You think it's that easy? She says. Uh, she can see me. I, I fucking knew it. I'm going to, I'm going to eat your face. Take totally me out is. to dinner first. Yeah. <laughs> Can I stab her now? Uh, I'll let you roll. I'll let you roll your secondary hand attack. Yeah, let's go, baby. Yes. Twelve on the die plus whatever. All right. So her armor class is uh, negative four. Uh, so you need um, a natural twenty. Oh my god. <laughs> she's like no pressure. She's like you're all dead. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, that cool. very well easy. <laughs> this point. Ro Rosie, aren't you scared yet? I'm just gonna go fuck myself now. <laughs> Rosie, you're up. What are you doing? 
If you, by the way, uh, uh, one thing, DM. If you break that, uh, 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 you break that. Um, uh, I think Excel will never forgive you. So you probably don't want to break that thing. But you may do something else to it. But what that does, it's pulsing right now with power. So. Uh, so. The the orb. This, yeah, yeah. It's sh yeah, it's just a shadow emanation coming. We do need to break it. Uh, so. You you got a clear line of sight that you could sneak up to her and attempt to backstab her. I'll even let you attack this round. Oh, okay. But well, I notice this is all great, Jay, but I also know that you like to play mind games on me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I I noticed that she like knew Exeli was there. Oh, yeah. Basically. That, that there's no sneaking up on this woman. Um, it, is she engaged with Exeli? Right yeah, now? yeah. So you can you can get a clean backstab. It, it, I'm not saying it, you don't know if it's gonna what it's gonna do, but yeah. But I was sneaking around to the back of this orb because I kind of want to fucking hit this orb. You can hit the orb. No, you can hit the orb. Hit the orb. Hit the orb. Hit the orb. No, don't do it. <laughs> Exeli says no. <laughs> I'm saying no. Remember, Excelli came here for a purpose. So I need to eat that thing, <laughs> literally. Oh, okay, bones. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like that energy. You wanna, I'm putting my, putting my bones hat on you right can, now. You can sneak up on it. You can uh, you, her and back. I can let you. You're like 15 feet away. I'll let you backstab her this round. I'm, I'm, There's a lot of threatening with eating, though. That's uh, I, 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 I want to make it really clear, clear right now. Putting rocks in your mouth is a totally normal thing to do. Sure, it is. I'm just. Uh -huh. uh, this is uh -huh. you know, this okay. Is yeah, fuck it. I'm gonna go backstab her because, right. because Mandy is really adamant about me not hitting the. Roll both your attacks. Really want to smash that. Roll your primary. It. it hasn't hurt us yet. Roll your primary. Nineteen. Uh, you want to make that a crit? Yeah. Okay. I'm not even gonna undo it. Roll your secondary. God, this is so sus. Uh, fifteen. All right. Uh. So fifteen plus with you um because she wasn't paying attention to you, so you snuck up. Mm -hmm. So that the all right, so the roll the critical hit in the primary, please. Uh seventy-three. Missile thrusting. Oh, I love thrusting. So here's the here's the here's the good thing and the sad thing. It's a massive critical roll twice. But your Whoa. plus your plus two weapon does no damage whatsoever to her. Cool. <laughs> Thanks, Jay. Now your plus three weapon that hit in the uh, roll me okay roll me three die four. Okay. Plus three. Stop laughing. <laughs> oh my god, that's so shit. Seven total. Seven head, three points. Seven turtles. You did three points on her. You damaged her. You oh actually damaged God. her for three points, and that really is not was not smart on your part because she's like, "What?" Because she hasn't been damaged in two hundred years. Gee, so. Willikers, Batman, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next, Kazara. Um, who is anyone around me besides the specter? No, uh, no, not Kazara, you have a, a um, shadow, and then there's two yeah. specters. I'm going to tell you something too. Down the hall, you hear a female voice. Son of a bitch. And it's like, no, no, no. That's what you hear. So there's a shadow and two specters. <laughs> two shadows, two specters left, and whatever mistress. Um, um, How many Alan are within is. 10 feet of me? Uh, just, you, mean, now you, you can get the two, you can demoralize and shout the two shadows. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. All right, and you can roll your attacks. It's a two attack round for you. Is it? Yeah, because you attack. Well, you attack last round. I love that. That's mm -hmm. a, oh, okay. That's a 19 on the first hit. That's a crit. And a 13 on the second. They both hit, and uh, she, that thing had 12 hit points left. So you did. You're gonna do at least 30. So yeah, go on. T t tell the word you're up. All right. Um, so. Can you zoom in a little bit? I can't really see very well. Where is she exactly? And where She's right here. Line? She's right here. And you're okay. here, and you got a shadow on you. Uh, yeah. A third level a third level spell from uh, um, Ravalanter did nothing to her last round. She just stood in it and didn't even bother. Hmm. Um, like she has a minor glove of invulnerability up? No. Yeah, sure. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> but not that. <laughs> 
<sighs> um, do I know? Do, do I have any insight at all why this spell would have failed for him? No, I don't think so. With your intelligence, this is not something you've ever come across. No, I, I'm not trying to be facetious, but you have eight intelligence. I highly doubt you have any idea about this. Unless okay, you've been watching his channel. To, What's that? I am going to. Cut. What would you like to do? I'm. I'm going to play to my intelligence, mm -hmm. and I am going to hit her with a really big fist. Okay. So you're going to use Ventral Fist of Arrhenius, right? Yep. I'm going to try to aim it so I miss my allies, at least. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 it's automatic hit, right? So the Ventral Fist comes out. There's no save. How much, how much damage do you do? Um, 2d4 plus 7. Okay. I'm in my glory. <laughs> 12 points. Goes right through her. Does nothing. Yikes. She shakes her head. Nixolia. Last round you did the spell magic. Yeah. And I just watched everybody like <laughs> not really be able to do anything. Oh, this is wonderful. Hey. Jay, does it affect her stuff at all? No, it, it just. It, it, how do I say? How do I say this? It's like she just said, "I've never been. I haven't been damaged in two hundred years, right?" So she's probably not human. I mean, the backstab. Rosie's backstab did three points of damage to her with a plus three weapon at her dagger. I mean, I, I. I feel like I know at this point what this is. So uh, can we move through the room with avoiding the shadow or do we have to deal with the shadow? No, you know what? You can go. You got two specters over here. You got some woman down in another corridor. You go, no, no, no. Which is really weird, but yeah. So. I don't care about this. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go around and check out the lady if I can get there. Or at least move enough to... to where the lady, where the lady's coming from? Whoever's whoever's crying saying... All right, so, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move the specter here and I'm going to put you but here. But I don't, I don't want to take any attack so opportunity. No, I'm going to put you... If I can't do that, I'm going to... No, I'm going to let you do it. I'm going to let you do it because that's brave. I like it. That's brave. Dumb, but it's fine. <laughs> I like it. It's like it. That may save someone's life. I'm a hero. It may not save yours, but it may save someone's. <laughs> okay, that's good. And that leaves um, that leaves uh, Ravalanta and Carl. No, and, and Devin. Devin, what do you do? I know this do is it. this is I'm a challenge. So... This is the toughest adventure of both the groups have ever done. I'm pulling out that crossbow. Oh, okay. And I'm shooting that weird orb. Okay. Roll. I'm doing it. Rolling. What do I need? All right, just uh, you're not proficient. Um, uh, you, uh, using a, using a crossbow of Alatur. Roll uh -huh. me a twenty sided die. Just roll me an attack. Well, okay. Before I do anything else, mm -hmm. I let me tell you, I'm gonna use two regulars. Okay. Baby. Go for it. Oh, I, I rolled the fucking clear dice that I can't fucking see. Well, that's your own. Fault. It's a seventeen. Seventeen. It hits it and bounces off and does nothing. Son of a bitch! Do I get another hit? No, because it's a light crossbow. It's one per round. Damn it! All right. Well, that was one scientific investigation. Ravalantar and Carl. Right. Do I have a line of sight on a specter? Yeah, absolutely. I have line of sight on both. Okay. Nistel's blazing beam. Nice. On the ne nearest one. Nice. Wow. What? That's a lot of damage, isn't it? Yep. Forty-six. Forty-six. No save. Nope. <laughs> okay. 16. 16 points. I'm going to do, say you do the closest one to someone who you think will get yep, attacked yep. by it. So, yep. All right, at least Carl. Um, which one did he get? Do I can This one here. Both specters? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah the one... Uh, uh, she has bad. Um, you know what? Let's, uh, let's try and light her up. Let's see. Will a... Uh, can I... Can I even get her with a... Do I think this is worth it? Um, just to light her up with the, uh, the uh, you know, the glowy spell. Fairy fire. Yeah. I'm Marco? Fairy fire. You got fairy fire her? Stick. Yeah. Let's stick on her. Let's see. This, this shadow is close enough to get it, too. 
So you can do her, uh, and, her and Shadow. I'm not going to... Uh... I mean, it's both. It doesn't... It's free. It doesn't... Oh, you mean I can hit them both? Yeah. With the, uh, it's yeah, within forty both. feet, all all within forty feet of the of her. You can get so you can get those two, at, uh, you know, because you you're six level. You get six small creatures, six small man sized creatures within that forty feet. All right, but not my not, not my people. No, no, it's okay, you can target you. who you get. Light them up. All right, lit up nothing. All right. What about the other two? They're out of the range. Gosh. It's okay. You got you, you, you shattered. So, all right. So I'm just gonna show. I'm just gonna show Tony what's coming around the corner. It's a it's a it's a it's a non corporal elven female chick. <laughs> what what so are you? Can I plug my ears? <laughs> Look at Tony. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're well, for... trying to help somebody. <laughs> You did. You just because she she she. It actually is. Excelli uh, and Rosie aren't gonna have to make saves now instead of her coming in the room and getting you all. This was a glorious save for you. So roll for net, please. Who's in it? Is it? You have everything at your disposal to win this. Thanks, Dad. Great pep talk. Hey, this is a challenge. Did someone roll a net? I'm rolling it. it, it. It's too. Yeah, it's you. Yeah. I rolled oh. a four. Oh, it's fine. Okay. All right. Oh, was? Yeah, because I won better? the last one. Oh, let let, let Maria go. She rolls you good. Go. <laughs> I, I rolled a six. All right. Yes. Oh See? All right. You got it. So, um, if you, yeah, um, I never acted. You're right. So let me do let me do that real quick. All right. That one came in, but these two each, um, my bad. I never did my actions. You won. I never doing anything. So that's my bad. Real quick. Um, she, uh, you guys won in it, so. If we live this round out. Each here. specter, each specter does not engage in melee combat. Each specter, um, and we have a lot of magic missiles going on. They each cast their first level magic missile spell because they are spell casters. And the one says something to the other oh, one, not. and the other specter <laughs> says to the other one, and this is really strange, she's mine. And the other one goes, no, she's mine. And you're like, what the f It's bizarre. Spectres are arguing with each other. So, Devin, you take 14 points. You're down to 38. It's a bit rude, isn't it? And, Telgord, you take nothing because of your spell. It, it targeted you and you took nothing. Uh, the, sh uh, the shadow missed, and then she um, uh, lastly says uh, to you... Um, I, uh, she uh, she says this to the the, Im the dark imaged area of Excelli. She says, Analkis sent you, didn't he? Well, you can send him a message back. Now you won't be able to. You're never leaving here. Who says this? The she does. She does. Yeah. Who do I? Uh, I've cast a lot. Of, uh, all right. Um, Kazar, Dartan, Shadow Bolt on you. That's a spell that uh. Xelly has start ten shadow yeah. bolt. It's a save, it's a spell save. It's it's all right, and then you guys win in it. So I'm, I lost my train of thought there. Uh, spell uh, save. It's fourteen on the die. Yeah, half damage. You take twelve points. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Now you won. We'll start with Xelly. What do you do? Uh. Okay. So she's still flinging spells. Yeah, while she, holding she, she, my arm. Yeah, she doesn't care. I mean, she's like, uh, and then she's like, uh, is she still? Is she still holding on to my arm? She, yeah, she's like, question. she's like, just. Is her interaction with me something that has caused me to become visible again? No, you're still. You did an offensive attack, so you're visible. Great. Uh, I first of all, fuck this lady. Second of all, <laughs> I would like to break out of her grasp. She's not trying to hold on to me, right? No, no, because you're, you're. If she is, I'm gonna do no. something really nasty. No, she's like you can't. You can, there's nothing in. There's nothing you can do to me. You are. You are. You are inconsequential. I want to touch the orb. You can touch the orb. Now right, you're gonna go over and touch the orb. Does it hurt me? Can I absorb whatever? See, it's you go over. You go over and like reach up and touch the orb. Yeah, I want right, to. Make an intelligence roll on a die twenty. Hell yeah. That's a nat twenty. Yes, which uh, which means you, which means you, you failed your roll, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. Uh, <laughs> it's, 
it's an orb. It's an orb of attunement, which means if you put, if you uh, take something from someone else, you can attune it to you instead. A shadow orb of attunement. Mm. Okay. It is a powerful item that can take certain things that are attuned to others and reattune it to you. Okay, so if it breaks, great. it's bad. Um. Okay. So that's your action. I, do, I can't do anything else. No, nah, that's it. But now you know. Uh, Rosie, you're up. Rosie, you realize your dagger can hit her. Your little cheesy, well, your dagger did Excuse affect, me? Your, 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 dagger. your dagger can hit her. Because you have a plus three weapon. Uh, yeah. Also, uh, my dagger might get me noticed maybe a little too much by her. Well, uh, she, she doesn't When I me. feel like Children. Other people could take care of business. That's very unheronian of you. Yeah. Um, but because I am fucking brave, I'm gonna try to hit her with my dagger again. Okay. So you're unheronian. putting it, you're gonna put it in your primary. <laughs> you're gonna move it to your primary hand. Here we go, Padre. You yes. Move... All right. So plus three. Hit with it. Hand. Roll. Roll. I rolled a fumble. Yes. I would like to give myself a point to get out of that. Right. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use three to make uh, make you burn them down. Three. Yeah, three. So you gotta burn three as well to. Uh, yeah. It's fine. No. It's fine. What four? You gotta burn four because. Excuse me. You can't just change it. You said three. Uh, okay, three. That's fine. <laughs> That's not how that what? works. You I'm taking two. lessons that arguing works. Just so you know. Yeah, because okay, I'm a soft. <laughs> Nick Soli, I'm a softy. I'm a softy. Uh, Devin, what do you do? What do you do, Devin? I'm shooting that lady with the crossbow. Really? Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure you want to do that? Yep. Why Why would you want to do that? I don't know. I just have an inkling that I should do that. Anyway, I'm going to use my last regular on it. Right. Okay. Why? You have five of these crossbow bolts left. Her, I know. Her armor class is negative four. You need a base 18 to hit her. Oh, fuck me. But I use my regular. <laughs> use your regular. And then oh, I excellent. get base 17. You roll a base 17. Uh, you're non proficient. Your deck. So let me, and it's a plus one, and the, uh, the bolts are plus one. So let me figure this out. Yeah, do some math, Jay. That's a 21. That's a, that's a, that's a 21. But the base is 17. Yeah, so you hit, but I'm going to burn. No, I haven't. I haven't rolled yet. So hold on. Oh, oh, okay, okay. You need a base. I'm, just, I'm mathing. Oh, oh, you need a base eighteen. Roll base okay. eight. Right, cool your jets, dad. Jeez. Woohoo! I'm just calculating. Roll, <laughs> roll, roll, roll. It's a nine. Nine. Uh, yeah, missed. Yep. Fuck. So I got four <laughs> left. I got four bolts left. Four Fuck. bolts <laughs> left, or the fight, or you're all dead. Jay, don't put that kind of pressure on me. I will cry. <laughs> Kizara. But you have other things you got to worry about, too, in here. Kizara, what do you do? Uh, who's around me? Uh, you're close. Uh, let me do teleport. You can help him and swing right here. You're within 10. You can actually swing on that this round if you want. Yeah, yeah, I'll right. do that. All right, roll. Um, 11 on the die. 11. We're counting down. We've counted down to four. Oh, well, pluses that hits easily. The armor class seven. Give me a die eight and add nine, please. Uh, 16. Tell her, what do you do? Um, I guess I will take out the shadow in front of me. I'm going to, she's, she's, she's eliminating it. So I'm going to allow you to do something else if you want. Oh, um, I guess there's a specter to my right. Yes. Um, what, how's it go? Um, Wow, to, the, to the left of me. Jokers, Jokers to the right. <laughs> yeah. You know exactly, Ed. Steelers and I'm Re stuck Bingo. in the middle with you. Steelers yeah. Wheel. <laughs> so, so, Nick Solia, what are you, are you yelling something like, oh, or are you just, you're just like, I'm dead. What? <laughs> it's just like, crap. Right. I don't know that I've ever actually seen a Banshee in person, okay. but I could guess. Okay. So you got. You, you know got, what? If, if I, if you would let me know, because I am kind of smart, that this is actually a banshee. Yes. So correct. what we're gonna do is, it's, and and in first edition, it's called a groaning spirit. Groaning spirit, specter, specter. So there you go. Tell her, like, oh crap. You see this woman, like, no, 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 no. Like she's telling those two to stop fighting. That's what, yeah. Uh, do I think I can turn a banshee, or is that even worse than a specter? That's worse than a specter. <laughs> You can try though. 
Um, what the hell is going to work other than that? Does anybody have silence? I don't. Oh, right now. <laughs> no, but that would be the that would be the cat's meow now, wouldn't it? It, it would be awesome. <laughs> Is silence in 1E2E? Oh, yeah. Sounds 50 oh, okay. so yeah. So, uh, it's even more, it's even more I, powerful I mean, than I ha- in 5E. I have an idea. Cats me on a stone or something. Um, just a second. I'm looking up the 2E description. What spell? Uh, protection from evil. Will that lock her in there? No, but it'll give you a plus two in your save. <laughs> No. What's that? No, it won't lock her in. It won't lock her in. Because remember, it's an anti effect screen. And then uh, we we don't thaumatagic, thaumat, whatever, circle, protect from evil spells. Like, like you can, they're, they're minus two to hit. You'll all get plus two. You'll get a plus two in your save. That's Don't you have protection evil 10 foot radius? Oh, you don't because you changed it. Right? I but I'm out of those spells. Yeah. <laughs> so, Telegord, I'm waiting for Telegord and then Nixolia. Then Ravalantar, because you got other things you got to take care of the two specters and the uh, yeah. and, and the banshee. So, um, I know this is tough, isn't it? <laughs> this is bad. This I'm is like, bad. Uh... This is bad because but you're all you're all a a level players. So I, I have faith in you all. Bringing your A game is what I'm here. Bringing your A game. We're not B team. If you're not the B team. No, no, that's my guys on mm, Thursday night. Crap. Oh, <laughs> all right, well, I'm, yeah, I'm like. Coronius uh, is calling. I'm going to go take out the Banshee, I guess. All right. So <laughs> you got to you got to move forward 10. Uh, I'm going to make a suggestion to you. Why don't you use your innate bless off your medallion so everyone at least gets a plus one on their save coming up. Right? Yep. All right. Yep. That way, I anyone think- who's going to be affected by that scream is going to get a plus one. So you run up and engage this round and cast bless. All right. So next, Nixola, you're up. Uh, I'm going to go stab her in the face because yes! I have nothing better. Yes. Okay. Well. I'm I, a Bardish. I get two attacks, right? That's no, it's one attack. You're three. Uh, oh, no, what am I remember, at? you got the bonus attack because of that fumble. So you have three regulars and five specials. Yep. Right. That's fine. I'm gonna use a regular first. Mm. Start, okay. Yep. And I'm dirty fighting. Yep. Because you know you can blind ghosts or something. I don't know. I'll even let you do it because I feel charitable. Uh, I actually got a twenty, not a natural twenty though. All right. What well, what was your what was your natural roll? 18. Why don't you use it one special? Because you have uh, you you have keen. Or can you can you crit undead in this? Yeah. All right, then I'm totally using a special. Because you want to, yeah, okay, sounds good. I'm not going to even undo that. Because roll a crit. Because you can do double or triple. I mean, that's what you want on here, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, roll. All right percentages. Come on. Good job. I know I'm scared. Where 94. 94. That's triple. So give me six oh. die six die four. Plus three. Six, four, plus three. Yep. All right. Good job. That's a, You need damage. Two, three, six. Is that including the dirty fighting? Uh, no, you can't dirty fight a, a ghost. Okay. I wasn't sure. I was kidding. All right. Let's see. Everyone, three giveaways tonight, so please sign up. Exclamation point drawing. You just got to be on the claim. How much? 18. Nice job. Rebel enter. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, my second oh, Nistel's Blazing Beam on the Banshee. Boom. Nice job. Roll damage. Mm-hmm. That made her really mad. No! <laughs> so we are... I got a really, really disturbing little gift from her at the end, hopefully. Oh, thank you. Just what I wanted. Okay, yes. let's have two of these, and let's. Because you know my disturbed mind. Hey, orchid. Seventeen. Seventeen. She tried that orchid. It doesn't work because uh, uh, this. She's not a human or anything like that. She. You barely, this is one of the most imbalanced first edition monsters of all time. So seventeen. Nice job. Carl. But, but it's my favorite of all time. In D and D, I figured what it's a perfect time to bring this out. Well, it's part of the storyline anyway, so it was perfect. It was a perfect conglomeration, thanks to Mandy bringing everyone together. So there kill you us go. all at once. No, not killing them. Die. Die. No I one's dead. Die. No one's dead yet. Go ahead, Carl. 
Uh, no, can I uh, light up the two uh, specters on the right? With a fairy fire? Yeah. Yeah, sure. All right. Boop, boop, That's boop. what I'm doing. We'll start with the worst thing, and that is the groaning spirit screams. Now, all six of you that are in the area effect, which is 60-foot radius, so they're out. So you don't have to save versus death magic. The rest of the group has to save versus death magic. Now, you get a plus one for your for your bless, for the blessed Telegord. Telegord, you can go first. Death magic save, you need a five right now. Any regulars? Uh, yeah, I'll use one. One, you need, and that's your last one. You need a four. All righty. Eight. You made it. You don't die. Nick Solia, you need death magic. You need now, an, with the plus one, you need an eight. You have two regulars. You want to use them? Yeah. You need a six. Let's see. Ah! Okay. She yells. Did you, five? Oh, you, you want to use a special? Uh, yes. Yeah, you're not. Do I have any left? I yeah, you have two left. left. Now you have one left. Okay. So your special saved you. Uh, Devin, you, Devin, who fails all her roles. <laughs> Devin, you need uh, you need an eight right now. Any regulars? Uh, yep. no, I don't have any left. Do I? Oh. You don't roll. Okay. You need an eight. So. Uh. <laughs> What'd you roll? Do you roll a one? Three. What? A three. Oh, so no. A, a three? A, you, you use all your specials. Yeah. I didn't, do I it. didn't think anybody was worse at rolling saves than me. You, uh, you, you made it exactly, and you're out of all hero points. Tony, you just got one back from Phantom. So the, your hero point saved you from death. All of five. Next. Kazara, save versus death, death magic. Wow. That was, that was close. Uh, death magic save of you need an eight as well, Kazara. You have three regulars. You want to use them? Yeah, I'm gonna use one regular. Okay, you need you need a seven. I got a thirteen. You made it. I'll just put a bunch of stuff in chat. For oh, my right. uh, oh my god! Uh, oh my god! Bones, you just got five specials back. Rob, I will kiss you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Carl. That's a threat. Carl, death magic save. <laughs> Carl, you need yeah, a... Yeah, I got a 15. All right, you made a seven, you made it. And Ravalantar, lastly, death magic save. You oh, need... Lovely. You need... I don't have to save? No. I'm, no. I'm going <laughs> to... You need a nine, Ravalantar. Okay, so I'll blow... One regular, you need an eight. Roll, roll. You have four specials. Yeah. yeah. Oh, boy. And I got a nine. Okay, you are you are not dead. Uh, you two are on the other effect, so we caused because Nick Soli ran there and she didn't get into the room. You you two don't have to make a save. So, all right, let me do the two specters still. Specter number one. Thank you. Let me see if that put us over. I think that put us over for another random special. That's 300. Yeah, it did. So I'm going to randomize that one. Uh, unless, uh, unless, like, Shara, you want to give that to someone, you tell me who. All right, Spectre number one. I'm not, they got spells here. So they're still arguing after she's like, no, no, no. And she screams, which is really weird, right? But then I do weird stuff. So this one casts on Devin and, and, uh, and kids are a whole person. <laughs> So right. uh, and that uh, that's just a regular spell. Uh, that's a spell, spell save at minus one. You're plus one. Uh, all right. So Devin, you need a thirteen, and Kazara, you need a, um, you need a twelve. I rolled an eighteen. All right. You need a twelve, Kazara. Uh, I rolled a twelve. Okay. So that that didn't uh, that didn't work there. Let me see. I'm going to randomize that uh, one. I don't think we said to go to anyone there. All right. So it goes to um, Carl. You have four specials now. All right. This one back here though. Thank you. This one here casts lightning bolts. Carl, you take no damage and forks it, so it hits these three. They're right down. So with his with its third level spell. Carl takes no damage because of his uh, um, because of his uh, woo, woo. Ju druid. So I need the same saves on spells for the two of you, okay, um, and then I'll tell what Ravalantar needs. Actually, it's one better. It's one better. So if you need a thirteen, you need a twelve. If you need a twelve, you need an eleven. So you can make your saves, you two, both Kazara and Bones, uh, Kazara and Devin. I know. 
It, hey, yeah, it, I'm crossing the streams right now. Hmm. I rolled a three. Fail full damage. How much? Uh, I got a uh, 16. All right, um, Bo, uh, Devin, 22. You're at 16, 11 for Kazara. She's a 41. She says, uh, I have no fear. She says to both you and Rosie, uh, your, your idiot friend can't shoot straight. She casts. I know, this is fun, isn't it? No, you know what? She's going to attack. She's going to attack. Rosie's doing, can damage her, so she's going to attack. Um, and I'm going to change her now. It's a, uh, all right. There you go. <sighs> Fun, huh? Is that Khajiit? Does Khajiit come to sell us wares if we have coin? Khajiit <laughs> has wares. Back lunish, coin. right? It's a back, it's a, uh, right? Back lunish garb and all and... So here we go. Five attacks. What? So she's a Rakshasa knight. So there you go. Oh, she's a okay. She that is like five rock. attacks on me. Is that what I just heard? Yeah. Yep. Well, four claws, one bite. Guys, if I die, just throw me in the trash. Nine. No. <laughs> Remember, there's no. You'll be stuff. welcomed into Eight. Heronian halls. Guys, <laughs> talking about moon sugar. Hit, so that's hit. started. Hit, hit, miss, hit, bite, hit. All right. Let me see. The bite, the the bites each do two to seven, and the claw does two to sixteen. So, yes. Seven, nine, 24, 25, Rosie. You're down to sixteen. <sighs> Wowzers. Yes. And now it's a net. This is the most crucial initiative of the night, Kazara. Don't say that. Don't say that. It is. It's going Four. Uh, I'm going to... Here we go. So I'm going to use my... I'm down to seven. Six specials. Here we go. Two plus one, three. You still won. Ah. Hell yeah. All right. So at least you know the Banshee can't scream again. So we got that going for us. Which is um, nice. Everything's Good. coming up fucking us, I guess. Yeah. Thanks for the hype train, everyone. Thanks for the third one of the night. We'll start up top here with Xeli. As you see her, she's like, uh, she says, uh, do I look pretty to you now? Honestly, no. You see, and I'm going to Dartan shadow bolt her in the fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Roll your roll your damage. Okay. Uh, what I don't remember what my damage. Uh, is. five dice six. Five dice six. Thank yeah. you very much. One, two, three, four. Her, her the, the the tiger head face is what you saw in all your visions each morning. No, you think? Uh, ten, thirteen, sixteen, seventeen plus whatever. Goes right through her. Son of a bitch. I should. I I had a feeling that that was going to happen. So my what? magic is useless against her. Oh. What level spells do you need to cast to affect Rakshasas? Anyone? I don't know. Uh. This shit's not in five e. <laughs> <laughs> You're up, Rosie. The little halfling's the only one doing damage to her right now. <laughs> I'm the sucks. fucking Ooh. little engine that could right now. Yes, you've done three uh. points on her. So I have a question. Yes. Uh, these steaks, uh, these delicious steaks we acquired yeah. earlier. Is there anything special about? No, they were for steak? they were for killing that. Uh, that person outside was a was a monster slash vampire slash you know abomination hunter, and uh, this would be of course his main you know main. Target. So it's just like a, a basic were... buffy fucking wooden steak. Yeah, absolutely. What okay. about uh, those? Could she use a crossbow bolt as a steak? Uh, no, because uh, Devin's got them all. So there you go. Oh, that's too bad. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I had thought about that. Right, Rosie. It is what it is. Uh, I guess I'm, I'm just... doing my best. Four. Is there keep... one right by her by the uh... four mm -hmm. bolts left? 
four blessed bolts of Alatar. Yeah, I mean, she did. She she remember when she hit the orb and it went dink and like bounced off. Would there maybe be that one on the ground that Rosie could be like, let me let me try a little stabby stabby with this? Oh no. Why do you hate me, Jay? I, I it don't. Was. It was a great idea, but it, it hit that thing and it bro- that. I shattered. thought I was your favorite son. It's fine. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'll, I guess I'll do a stabby stabby. Go with for it. My, you get your once uh, attacking your primary hand with your dagger. You guys are doing great. Just call me Sport from now on. Uh, it's this is great. Uh, sport. This is tough. <laughs> <laughs> is this uh, Scrubs? Oh my God! What are these rolls, dice? You have failed me. It's a two. You missed. Devin. Ah. You don't see. You have four. <laughs> you have four of these bolts left. I'm switching. I'm switching. I'm switching dice again. Roll me. Dice. Roll me a, a twenty-sided die, please. Uh, good thing I won the bag of splendor months ago. So I have all these dice. I keep switching between. Come on, at twenty. It's a thirteen. All right. Five so- specials. Yeah, that's an 18. You'll hit exactly. You want to do that? Yes. All right. I burn one special and miss. You're... And you're out. Jay, why? Because <laughs> I can. Is she out, though? Yeah, she's five. But what if someone, like, no, you know... No, no. I... Jay, what? you're so aggressive. being so mean right now. She, <laughs> she got... Ex- when that thing came and just missed her, she got extremely... No, extremely you're being nervous. Who here has been personally victimized by by Jay? Raise your hand. <laughs> Who here? Rob just recharge you. Rob just recharge you for next no, round. The whole room can, I use so one weird. can I use one of those? No. Why not? No. You got three bolts left. You better hit with one no, of them. No, I'm not going to. Why not? Now, oh, there we go. Ew. Now you have seven oh, specials oh, for next minute. round. <clears throat> wait a minute. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, what's Edgar gonna say? All right, so go ahead, go ahead there, uh, Kazara. Uh, yeah, Kazara, yeah. what would He's you trying like to, to move do? the conversation? Quick, quick, before Ed thinks of something. Ka- Kazara, <laughs> would you like to go to a Spectre? Ed's uh, yeah, I'll take out another Spectre. All right, so you will over engage this round. I'm gonna say within 10, you can swing at that Spectre one attack round. Okay. 17 on the die? Yeah, that, that hits. Uh, you can burn You can burn two specials and make it a crit. I am are not gonna, using are, my. Are I, you gonna race? No, I'm saving my specials for those crossbow bolts now. Fine, yeah, I'll bring you. How many specials do you have? I'm not telling. <laughs> I have five. You have seven now, buddy. You have seven really specials, better. Devin. You have okay, six. Okay, good. Yeah. Roll, roll oh, the, he really yeah. hates us. Roll the critical hit, please. Why don't we keep playing D and D with him? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Why is he doing this to us? Because you we guys didn't. are having fun. You guys are having a blast. Are we? Isn't having, it I'm fun, not fun are anymore, we? Jay? Isn't it fun to be challenged? I feel attacked. No. I don't feel safe. <laughs> I need to go hug my teddy bear. I just want to play a role playing game with my friends and pretend to be pretty ladies that all kiss each other. Okay, so yeah. let me. I'm roll. not stopping that. You, you literally are. You, you literally, literally are. are. What'd you roll on your percentile dice, sir? Uh, thirty-seven. Yeah, I remember it's all scrambled up. All right, triple. So give me three, three die eight. Wow, and your strength's still drained a bit. Three die eight plus eight. That's good. This is the specter that's damaged, by the uh, way. Eight, eighteen. Good job. It's got a lot of damage on it, but it's still up. Uh, uh, go ahead, Nexolia. You, um, you are on. Uh, you are on the groaning spirit. I want to know how many Kazara just used. Kazara just used two. Two what? Specials. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to try to stab you again. Go ahead. Go for it. With my bardiche. Nope. I, wow. I T- rolled a one. Fumble. You want to do it? Uh, I don't think. Well, you got two. You got him. You, you got him. You got him recharge from uh, Rob. Rob's here saving you guys. Uh, I'm gonna. You don't want to roll fumble. Yes. Yeah, I am not gonna burn any of my specials. I need to save them to stop uh, her getting hit. Um, and then uh, Telegord, go. Yes, I'll save the last one for when you try to murder me. <laughs> <laughs> Telegord, you're up. What would you like to do? You're on the right now. You're in the groaning right. spirit. Word it. I'm gonna swing hard and kill her. Go roll again. Tony, look, you just got it back. Rob is Rob is Rob is cranking you all up. I'm still gonna hoard him. <laughs> uh, twenty one. Like a drag. Uh, uh, give me die eight and add uh, five. Four, four. My bad. I heard five. Yeah, I know, but I rolled an eight. All right, twelve points. 
12 points. That is on the green. It's still up. A lot of damage on it, though. Uh, go ahead there, Carl and Rebel Antar. Round where I get three, three, two. Uh, at eighth level, you're three every two. <laughs> oh, I'm eighth level now. You just made seventh. So, yeah, the person who was going to go up is Rosie. The thief will be eighth after this if she if she survives here. So, go ahead. Uh, what what do we got here for the two of you? Go ahead, uh, Rebel Antar and Carl. You still have two specters and the Guardian Spirit left. Uh. <clears throat> Robert. Is anybody close enough to me who has a plus one or better weapon? Carl, right there. Carl? Yeah, Carl's right next to you. Yeah. I want to see what, what he's going to do with this. This is going to be interesting. It's just, it's plus one. Okay, and can you sacrifice it? <laughs> uh... I could I could sacrifice my spear, Brittany. No, you have a copash. Oh my god, you have a spear named Brittany. Yes. Yeah. I've always had. To... No, that's keen. You don't want. To... You have a co plus one copash. Oh yeah, I got a plus one copash. I'd sacrifice that. Okay. Give me. Oh, there so, you go. I don't know what I, I don't know what. I take it. Do. I cast blade leap and okay. I hit the uh, uh, rakshasa with it. Okay, but that blade leap well, blade leap blade leap won't destroy the weapon, will it? Nope. It just it just launches it, and I don't have to be right. Right. No, you, you just got to roll. Yeah, I think it automatically hits too. Yeah, it's an automatic hit. Yes, it is. Um, so um, roll damage. Uh, once the blade left the caster's hand, it did not return on its own, nor was it consumed by the spell. Right. So you can you can do that, um, and it's a great idea, Ravalantar, but the Rakshasas are immune to plus one and plus two weapons. And they get really? take, they, take, they take half damage from plus three weapons uh, and plus... Uh, really? Yeah. yeah this Ra is Rakshasa, plus one or better magical weapon to hit. It's, she's not a Rakshasa, she's a Rakshasa knight. Ah, from the Scott okay. Benny article. Okay, well, in that case, I won't do that. No, it's okay. I, it's okay. You did it because I, I think know. it's a great thing. You did it. You cast it and did it, and okay. it, it bounced off her. And she says, "You're getting closer. You're getting warmer." <laughs> okay. Uh, no, seriously, right. it's, it's cool. Okay. Go ahead there. Go ahead there, Carl. Yes, because sometimes uh, actions just don't. You know, actions don't work. It was good. It was a good All try. Right. All right, uh, let's put a couple arrows in. What's do do I get a sense of whether the a specter uh, that one specter is away from everybody enough that I can? Shoot oh yeah, it? absolutely, you can shoot it. What are you shooting it with? And then shooting into melee with the other specter. Yes, yeah. you'd have to shoot into melee with the other one. And um, melee the in the melee, melee, clear. Yeah, yeah. Is the one that's been shot at the one in melee? Yes. More damage on it. Yes. Yeah. Let's shoot at that one then. All right, you're shooting the melee. It's all class I'm two. Really good at what are you using? My bow. What do you mean? Arrows. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm using plus one arrows. Roll. So I got a fifteen and a sixteen on the die. They're both it. Okay. Two dice six plus four. That was a pretty. That was a good move. That was a really. Can I? Can I? Can I? Yes. Uh, upgrade my sixteen to a twenty with four of my points. Do I? Have, I have points yeah, yeah. Crit? I'm gonna let you. Yeah, yeah. What the hell? Why not? Roll crit. Okay, let's make it a crit. Roll percentile. All right. See, this is a game. You stepping it up. You're all trying stuff. I really appreciate it. I love the ad, the ad spell idea was great. If it was a regular rakshasa, um, it's it, you guys are you guys are thinking, which I really appreciate. Seven. Zero seven? Yeah. Uh, all right, so give me an extra die six. So it was double. So it's three die six plus four. You're going to do it. You're going to you're gonna kill it. Just don't roll real well. <laughs> uh, 14. It had 12 left. There you go. And he shot in melee combat. All right, all right. your actions, you won. <laughs> actions are done. always shooting a melee. That's the, that's the path to success. The, the groaning spirit swings at Nexolia. It can't, it can't. Yell for another uh, eight, nine rounds. So you're fine. It missed. That specter still has spells, and that specter will cast. Because you two are right next to you. I I'm sorry I'm picking on you two, but you're right next to each other. It's going to make you move this round. Cast Stinking Cloud. It's my last spell I have for it. I'm just going to put something out real quick. 
I'm just going to put this there, just noting that there's a stinking cloud there. All right, so poison save. Go ahead, Kazara, and go ahead, Devin. If you fail, you're puking again. Devin always Nin fails or save. 19 on the die. All right, go ahead, Devin. Devin, De Devin, you have seven specials. Devin, you need a, now you need a, uh, the bus is on. You need an eight. I need an eight? Yeah. I just rolled a 19 on my save. All right, so you made two. No, you both have to move your 10 feet out this round. And then uh, so you're out of the, so you don't have to make a save next round. You could stay in and, and, and function. You, now, if you move only ten, you could still act. And lastly, uh, the mis mistress uh, Aaron or um, come in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, 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 Paul, I, I forget. She's going she gonna to immediately attack Ixali this round. We're all quiet waiting to find out where the... Four claws, one four claws, one bite. Where the Eye of Sauron goes and points to... Oh, great. By, by the way, by the way, this is an, also an ode to uh, Scott Benny who passed this year, too. Right. So, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. it was nice knowing you guys. Yeah, Scott, Scott Benny was a, a great writer, and I never got to interview him, and I uh, kind of... It's a shame we, did, we never got to talk with him on a show. So... 17, 12, 15, 17. Wow. Wow. You're on damage, Excelly, so uh, they all hit. Let's see what I did. I know. All this plus four. That stunk. That stunk. 21. You're down to 14. Round's over. I have a Groaning Spirit left severely damaged. I have a, a Spectre undamaged, and I have Mistress Aranor. You have three shots left, or else you're going to have to be uh, daggering her to death with a plus three dagger until you're all dead. Oh, my God. Because no, uh, no one has plus four weapons. Three shots, Fancy. Don't let us down. Yes. So give me an init, please, Kazara. You're gonna, uh, you have uh, four specials. You want to add one to the roll or go straight up? I'm going straight on. I got a five. You beat me too. We will start. Devin, you gonna move ten? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Shoot away. Here we go. Three out. Three. Three bolts of Alator left. Blessed by blessed by a priest of Alator ages ago. Hey Jay, she got a twenty. I rolled a twenty. I believe you. All right, so um, I would fucking hope you would. <laughs> all right, so that's a that's a crit, right? Um, yeah. So you, no matter, you have four specials. No, you have seven. seven. I have five. Okay. I'll race you. Yeah. Well, I, I have to do it. So you're down you to can two. Use them all. Roll a critical I'll hit. Roll a critical hit. Eighty-four. Any of you ever see what happened in the Rakshasa in the Night Stalker? Darren McGavin? <laughs> no, I haven't. I love that show. You have to see it. All right, I don't remember. Does it? What happens? Uh, it, well, it, it, when it, it scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. Uh, it left me in, with an impression of how great Rakshasas are. So, Is this you, therapy for you, then? You, you, shoot, you shoot her smack dab in the chest, okay? Uh, you got Is this where you get your mean attitude? Yeah, that's it. That's it. You shoot, shoot her smack dab in the chest. Um, I will wait till the end of the round to tell you what else happens. Okay? All right. So, Axeli, you, uh, I don't know what, uh, what do you want to do? My turn again already? Yeah. Uh, Devin went first and shot her smack dab in the chest with a blessed bolt of Alitur. Okay. Uh... I, you sent me a message, but that's okay. I'll just ask you now. Um, two yes. questions. Yes, I'm listening. Can you send me the description for the nine life stealer? All right. So a nine life stealer, if you critical hit with it, they get to save versus death magic. And you kill them outright on a critical hit. But it's only a plus two weapon, so it does no damage to her. Oh. So it's pointless. It is for her. I, I literally cannot do anything to this. I know. Well, um, yes, but there is other things here that need to be taken care of that are seriously nasty. I'm going to try to go for the brooch again because I literally can't hurt her. Okay. It's simultaneous with her getting shot. None of so. my magic is useful roll, against her. Roll, 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 27 die. Because it's all going to happen in the same That's version. a 14 on the die. All right. So let me see your, your hero points here. How many are you going to burn? 
How many do I need to burn, Jay? All four. Fine. You grab it from her. You grab oh, it yeah. off her. As you grab it off her, your hand gets nicked by the arrow, the bolt that goes right through her chest at the same time. Whatever. Okay. I don't care. Go ahead. I know you don't. Go ahead there. Go ahead, uh, Rosie. Here I go, stabbing again. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I rolled a 17. I would like to burn three points to make that a crit. Yes, you can do that. Ooh. So roll the critical hit. Uh, see that. Thank you, Rob. Rob, you don't I got me. my specials back. Yeah, yeah. 26. So, zero six, you said? 26? 26. 26. Thrusting, thrusting. You guys got this. Thing. Always with the thrusting. Uh, uh, it struck an abdomen death in seven to 12 rounds. So give me triple. Give me three die four. And add three, and then have it. Oh my God, uh, Rob is on fire! Yeah, and it's over. It's over, Johnny. Three die four. What, what, I don't three get four, plus, three like four, plus, plus three, three. Right? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's four total. Okay. Eight. Okay. So four. All right. Thanks, Rob. Kazar, are you gonna go after the other specter? Yep. Roll ahead, please. Uh, that's probably not going to hit. That's a four. Yeah, with pluses, that won't hit. So, uh, that's, that's a miss. It'd be like that sometimes. Yes. Go ahead there, uh, Nick Solia, on the groaning spirit. See if I can stab her this time. I'm always either one end or the other of the spectrum. That didn't sound good to me. Speaking of which, I got 21 to hit. <laughs> okay. Give me a damage, please. Uh, no, it's a 19, so it's a crit. Yeah. Oh man, another crit. Yeah. <laughs> roll a crit. Yeah, you're you guys are critting like crazy tonight. Roll the critical put, please. Fifty-one. Fifty-one triple. So give me six die four, and add um and add your five yes. three six die four plus three. Uh, tell the you can roll your attack too if you so choose on the groaning spirit, as she's rolling her damage. Oh, he's not there. That's okay. Six day four plus three, how much? Twenty. Twenty. <laughs> I'm back if we need me, Jay. Sorry. Just roll your attack. It's okay. It's it's being killed this round. Just if you hit you uh you did damage to it too. Seventeen. Yes, you uh, you can roll one day eight and add uh, and add your uh, damage to it as well. One day eight plus four uh onto the groaning Love spirit. Him. The groaning spirit yeah. is is destroyed and dispelled and a necklace when she uh, it gets killed a necklace falls off with a charm uh, nice. on it uh go ahead there um carl so the uh phantom thing um there's a specter left and the uh, and the rakshasa knight who's uh i think i don't have any chance with that rakshasa yep um and uh the, we got uh, kazar and uh melee with it now yes no yes so you have to shoot in the melee 18 and 17. Look right. at that. That's, did you use plus ones? Yeah, of course. Uh, give me damage. I can't believe you're shooting in melee combat. What do you mean? I always shoot in melee yeah. combat. Go, go for damage, please. This is a Slav Squad squad. Yes. How much? I don't have any specials <laughs> left, do I? If, if Kazara's in melee combat, of course they're going to shoot into combat. <laughs> <laughs> How much? Uh, wait, just. I mean, I asked, do I have a. Two die, two die, six plus four. Uh,. Two and a one on the die, so seven points. First damage on it. Uh, Ravalanta, you're up. There's a specter right. left. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna blow my last Nistel's blazing beam. Roll it up, man. For, uh, no save on the undead. Uh, forty-six. Yep. It Boom. <laughs> by by the and way, seventeen. By the way, everyone, I really kiss that ass at the end of this. <laughs> uh oh! You'll uh -oh. see. You'll see. You'll see. You'll see. So uh, at the end, you rip off the brooch as, and like I said, that bolt nixes, and when you shoot her, she looks shocked that because she's been alive hundreds and hundreds of years that someone finally, with a bolt blessed by a you know by a deity, uh, uh, you know, in her religious group. Uh, you know, the Bakalunish uh, land she's from. Uh, she's like, it can't be, no! And you just see her just basically 
like a mess. Like if someone hit some you with a massive heart, she just drops dead just from the one bolt. The bolt itself killed her. All right, oh. all right, kill. Bolts blessed by a priest will kill Rakshasas. Period. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wee. Nice. And you have two bolts left there. So, so non. With not, with, two, with, more, two more rack sashes. With your non, yeah, with your non proficiency, uh, you did it there. Um, so the, the specter's left. Let me do the specter attack on Kazara, and that's seven misses. You can roll in it again, Kazara. As uh, and you grab that, you grab that brooch there, Xelly. You're like that's gonna be a two. Uh, re roll two. Ooh. Three. I roll a one. So roll your two attacks, Ooh. please. It's a two attack round. You have you, you have it in, uh, huh? you have it in you to take it out this round if you hit twice. I rolled a natural twenty, so oh, and roll your second attack. An eighteen. Uh if you have one, that makes it a crit. I'm out of special, so you double crit it. Uh, I had twenty six nice. hit points. You're gonna do it. You double crit it and you just obliterate <laughs> and both specters are gone. And uh it's deadly. It, it's quiet now. And you're like, what did we just I'll get rid of that? What did we just go through? And you see uh, the body's still there. She turned, you know, she's she's what she is in real appearance. Um, a, a An old ancient Rakshasa. Now, here's the thing you're thinking. She said something about this Analkis person. You don't know who that is, uh, XL. You have never heard of this person. Um you know nothing about that, but you note that this tower was identical. Was probably at one point identical to the tower that's in Altamira now. So, I I'm, I immediately uh, use the statue so that I can attune. All right, so you're gonna yes, yeah, so you're going to you're going to well, you don't even here that can use it. You're going to claim the shadow amulet for yourself. I'm assuming, and you're going to uh, put yeah. the shadow amulet on. And then you're going to touch the statue, and you see, you all see this glow, this purplish, blackish, like a black light from the '70s glow around her. And then you see that the power gets infused into this amulet, uh, you know, uh, and, and it's a, it's called a, it, it's a make, it's something I constructed years ago. It's a shadow amulet and it enhances uh, shadow mage's spells of certain. So just, I, I'll write this down in the back of your sheet. You, um, the black okay. stone. Gives you plus one hit point per every three levels on your spell Shadow Bolt. Okay. Wow. All right. Not from a wand. It's got to be a cast spell. The okay. green, the green gem, plus one hit point per bolt, whether you fail or save from minor shadow evocation, the second level spell. Okay. The the third bolt, uh, the dark blue one, uh, gem, bonus first or and second or a third level spell added to your spell list. So you can take a both a bonus first and second or a third. All right. Okay. And then the fourth level once cast once of uh, the violet cast one spell one to four levels higher once per day. That's Ooh. violet. That's what she did. She did that with darkening bolt. And then uh, you okay. don't. The fifth one is empty. She did not have the turquoise one. In the fifth. So I have to find a stone. There's a fifth and a sixth. None of the adventurers PCs in my campaign have the fifth or the sixth stone yet. So okay. yep, there's six stone slots. Yep. So there okay. you go. So. There's piles of stuff everywhere, right? There's particularly in the corner. I'm looking for all the spooky shit. Like, I'm immediately... You find her spell book, too, so... Yes! Right. Okay, Is this the yeah. ass-kissing of Ed moment? What's that? Is this the, where the ass-kissing of Ed moment? Well, yes, out? because Ed... Ravalantar, uh, you know, you all... Does someone have detect magic in the party? Yeah, pop it. Yeah, I have read magic. Is that the same thing? No, that's no. to read. That's to read spells and scrolls. And, and I don't like know. That. I've never so, used it. Yeah, we well, use that. It's the use same that, spell in fifth edition. You use that. You use that when read you're studying. Magic? Use that it's to transcribe spells. Use that for them. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get something out. Ralantar, you find. Do you see what I have in my hand? Yep. All right. So <laughs> Ralantar, you find a book, a tome in the pile over here. A really yeah, strong it's magic. Good. You find a term. What do you do? I I pick it up and look at it. Okay. 
I told you, I'm really going deep in the ass kissing on this one. What do you do? I piss on it. Oh, you <laughs> find this. Galadaster's own. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. I know it's from Forgotten Realms, so any of you purists out there, don't bite my head off. But, yes, it's uh, you find that, and uh, there are certain spells in it that... Um, you think, yeah. and you're like, you think that the the guild, uh, the Greyhawk, is going to be extremely happy to add to the repertoire. The spells are Fire Staff, Slumber Ward, Guidorn's Grappling Grasp, and Morganaver's Sting are the spells nice. in that. So yes, that's the book that you find here. Oh, um, nice. This book, yes, this book. yeah. So I know. <laughs> I love I love crossing the streams though. That's the great thing about D and D. Who knows how it got here, right? Who knows? Portal, you know. Spelljammer. Why do you keep talking about crossing streams, Jay? Well, you know, cross, we, crossing, crossing can we over. Talk about, can crossing, we talk about this obsession with yeah, streams. Well, it's, streams it's, it's going crossing from, the back door. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Realms. Back door is a stream crossing. All right. Yeah, <laughs> crossing from five realms realms to Grail come back and forth. Well, that's part of the fun of it. Also, in here. The group finds um, she had a ring of protection on plus two. In the pile, uh, you can see there's a there's a suit of plate mail that is um, human or half work sized. You find a short bow in the pile that radiates magic, a shield in the pile that radiates magic, another book, um, a satchel in the in anything? there. Is there anything that looks shadowy? No, you got your worth with that. Okay, <laughs> the cool. I'm good. Man. I'm going I'm to I'm let them lose yeah, the rest of it. That, that amulet that is, yes. Um, so you find, um, uh, and also a couple potions of extra healing she had on her. But yeah, so with all the stuff. Oh, I need those. Uh, uh, also, the, uh, the the necklace has a little charm on it. Um, and it was, uh, it has, a, it has um, three triangles intertwined. Oh, so it, that doesn't seem significant. It, no, it's just no, a, not at all. It, it's it. just a, it's just a joke that the two specters and her were all the two guys were fighting out over her in real life, right? So that was yeah, that's all that was. There was a little spoof there. That's why she was yelling no, like she's trying to get them not to fight with each other. So yeah, I know that's kind of corny, but yeah. So uh, you have your. Uh, your, your little that pendant's worth two thousand gold pieces, by the way. It's made out of uh, mithril, All right? So it's, uh, the mm. the mithril pendant itself is worth two thousand gold. Yeah. Pendant I'm wearing or a different. No, the, the the one with the three triangles intertwined oh, on it oh, that, that, oh, the, that the that the groaning spirit had on. The right? love triangle. Exactly. Love that's, triangle. that's exactly what it is. It's a pendant of the love triangle. <laughs> it's not magical. Oh. I know. I'm just disturbed. All right. So that's what. <laughs> You also find a pair of armbands. not us. You find an armband as well. Ooh. So look at all this great stuff. Does it look cool? It looks clerical. It looks clerical. Not, so, not, <laughs> so not cool. Let's give it to his eminence. Yes. So I, I'll tell you, uh, when you do identify is when you get back, because after about a week. But um, So um, the bracers you found outside are bracers armor class 5. The clerk leg cross was plus 1. There's two plus 1 bolts of Alator left. Um, you got the shadow amulet, uh, the book, the Galadaster's Orison, you know, that's, that's, those spells, uh, Ed, your character can get, plus he can also get bonus. Remember for when you turn in spells that are new, you get, you get more study. So you, uh, from, from the guild, the plus one plate mail, plus one short bow. The shield is a plus one survivor's shield. It allows one reroll one time of a failed saving throw once. Is the, is the plus one male better than the plus one bandage? Yes, it's, I have? yeah, but it, it makes your movement rate drop to nine, but it, it's better in your armor class. I know it's a trade off. Plus one short bow. Uh, the um, the the the, the, uh, the satchel's a silver's sustaining satchel. So if you put a food item in, it's not spoiled. It triples it within a turn. So if you put an apple in there, they, they, they become oh, that's, that's a rose or like a pocket. Cheese. They become three. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's a great item, isn't it? Uh, uh, yes. And um, so there's there's something here for and the, the tome. Uh, 
is not that old. So you remember, there's she's killed multiple travelers before, or, or people uh, that have adventurers. Uh, um, uh, the tome is uh, uh, has a title on it. The, the Heroes of Emerity Meadows is the title. Oh, I thought it was going to say, "Wow, Devin's the coolest." Well, no, it doesn't say. Just that. a book of that. No, it says Devin. Just De- make Devin a Phil. sharpie and, and yeah. write that over the it, actual title. Does anyone know what it is? Tier, the Heroes of Emerity Meadows is the name of the title. You mean? Are you the, asking? Do we know the adventure? No. The, do you know Emory? what it yeah. would be in a, in, a, in effect? What? Because I, I like titling my tomes and books. Yeah, the vampire uh, thrumble. No, stop, dude. Don't don't. don't worry. <laughs> anyone, is it, is it the secret plot to Child's Play? The, oh. <laughs> It is a it is a tome of leadership and influence. So it's a plus one to your charisma. Very cool. Yep. So I know that was hard. Epilogue. You killed a uh, you killed an ancient Rakshasa shadow mage. So we got that going. For you me. got that that going for you. Uh, I definitely make sure to spit on the body before we leave. Well, you probably should destroy the body, right? Yes. I mean, spit on it first, though. Yes, uh, from back Lunish lands, <laughs> and the story was that that you know, outside the guy, the monster hunter, you know, but he he, whatever happened to him outside, he got overrun by the gas or whatever. He he uh, or didn't quite make. He it. didn't quite. Yes, so he. he well, was, that's what he did for traveling solo. Yeah, what can I traveling say? so far, uh, and uh, so the group, the the what does the group do? Uh, um, the the five of you and the three of you, two separate groups there. Hey, King, what's up, man? Good to Bashman. see you. Bashman. There's uh, one Bashman. You all, uh, you, no, Bashman. there were no deaths. There were no deaths. There were some close, some close calls, but, um, you know. Yeah, you almost freaking one-shot me, dude. I did. I'm a little I'm a little disappointed, Jay. What, did I, what, it didn't kill you? <laughs> you survived, yeah. Um, yes. Well, uh, in honor of not dying. Uh, so, <laughs> note how nasty Rakshasa in first edition are. It's you brutal. cannot cast spell. You know what level spells you need to, to do effect them? Uh, uh, eight? No, wait, eight. I think it's ninth. Oh god, they are unaffected. It wasn't what we could do. They're, yeah. So the bolt, the the, the bus, the bus bolts was the the way to go, and then weapons of certain plus do half damage. Plus four weapons do full, but no one had a plus four weapon on them. But I knew there was a plus three in the party if. You know, this was because it was a night, not a regulation. Right? Exactly, it's a Scott ben- Scott Benny article. Has there's an article in Dragon about he enhances Rakshasas. I've talked about it on Gavin's and stuff. It, you know, Rakshasas are my favorite monsters, so I got a nice, I got a yeah, chance really to, cool. I got a chance to use one and uh, make it part of the storyline. And uh, so, um, you made us cry. I made you cry, uh, but yep. you guys all were successful, and now we can do some treasure division and give, do some giveaways, and hopefully everyone enjoyed a challenge. I, I, you know, I had to make this a super challenge with both groups together. Wanted you to all feel it a little bit, but you but you know, as far as like uh, cro- uh, whatever uh, crossing streams or whatever, when you when you look at uh, the story Xanthoria or uh, the adventure of Xanthoria that uh, Tony did, there's a there's a there's a there's a demon in there that everybody in in uh, in uh, Greyhawk knows and loves. Zugmoy. Zugmoy. It's I, yeah, so I mean I ran like, Zug- just it goes back and forth. Right. Back and forth <laughs> yeah, she grows on you. In fact, oh. in, in okay. fact, Xanthoria I ran in this campaign, and it, the effects of Xanthoria are still going on because that's why there's there's no healing and all, and a lot of people in Celine died from the plague. I, I mean, I I ran that adventure. Yeah, that a boy. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. I was excited when you did that. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. There's a reason it was okay, right? And that's the reason. <laughs> Nothing else. It's great. So, all right, let's do some. Uh, let's do some quickie treasure division. We know. We know what. We know what Exceli got. So uh, we'll go down and and do. Uh, I guess uh, based off need here. So um, here's my question to, to Kazara. Do you not want that armor? Uh, if, if someone else can use it, they can take it. But if no one else can use it, you're the only one. You're the only one. Yeah, I'll take it. I'm not necessarily going to have it equipped, but I'll take it. All right. right So plus one plate mail that's half work, half work human sized. And then you can make a decision if you want your armor class to be one, one, two, two, or two, two, three, three, or it is now. And your move rate will drop to nine. All right, okay. just just so you know. Now at seventh, when you go up in my game, you can take armor mastery, which increases your movement rate one whole section up the back up to twelve. 
So you can do that uh, as your as your proficiency when you turn seventh, which you're, you're going to go out the seventh of this adventure. So that's something to consider, oh, okay. too. You may want to do that. All right. Yeah. So, um, the short bow plus one obviously goes to Devin, correct? You don't have a magic short bow. All right. Plus one short bow. Gotcha. All right. I'm like in the middle of burping a whole bunch after chugging the rest of the beer. So Nice. Like, that's awesome. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, we know Ravalantar is taking the book, taking the tome. We know that. Uh, that leaves. I'm assuming. Um, that, I'm, ass I'm, <laughs> I'm assuming Rosie. You're gonna give Rosie the the, the satchel. Or someone else want that? I don't need the cheese pocket satchel. <laughs> what What does the satchel do again? Sorry. All right, silver sustaining satchel. You put okay. you put something that's not rotted in it. So say you put an apple or a piece of cheese in it. Within a turn, it triples it. Oh yeah, I'd be kidding me that. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I thought. Well, if the, can you imagine the profit on the pocket cheese? <laughs> I mean, it's only personal profit, but it's still profit. It grows the economy. Everybody wins. Yes. The dog is gonna get so I, fat. I, 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 <laughs> we're both gonna get so fat. We could use him as a like a weapon, send him into the battle, and then when he explodes. I I was thinking Nixolia for the shield because she does not have a magic shield yet, and she fights with shield. Uh, she doesn't have a magic one, and uh, and then uh, you know you get one reroll of a failed save once in its lifetime. Sure. All right. Plus one shield survivors. One. The way I roll, that might come in handy. Yeah, I mean, uh, imagine imagine failing against the banshee, and you had that, so you could actually reroll that one time. Yeah. All right. Then I'll drop your uh, armor class down to negative one. So there you go. Let me see what else we have here. We have. Left, we have a Bracer's Armor Class 5, a plus 2 Ring of Protection, the Tome of Leadership and Influence, and the uh, and the and the uh, the three way necklace worth uh, with uh, the worth worth uh, 2000 gold. Uh, I know, uh, any anything you want, uh, from that, um, Telegord? You haven't gotten anything yet. Who hasn't gotten anything? Telegord and Carl, right. Yeah. Can, you, can you say the items again, Jay? As... Bracer's Armor Class 5, which probably is not going to go your... Uh, a plus 2 Ring of Protection. And you only have a plus 1 now. And uh, and um, and uh, and the Tome of Leadership and Influence. I'd probably, I guess, take the ring. Um, and then I probably have to donate my current one. They don't stack, right? Correct. And then donate my current one back into the pile. You want to do that? Yeah. I don't. Th uh, I'm going to put it, keep it on your sheet because you can donate to a church or something. Because I don't think anyone in the party does not have a ring of protection. All right. Okay. Uh, all right, Carl. You want the if you take the bracers, uh, that'll lower your armor class a lot. Oh, sure. Yeah. Why not? That'll also help your movement outdoors uh, for hiding if you ever use it. Actually, Jay, yes. is there any is there any chance that I could use the plus one ring to pay for some armor off like between? So we can work on that uh, in the course. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Because you have normal plate on now, um, so there's some options. Yeah. Okay. You, you can start getting up a fund built up. All right. Uh, that leaves that leaves the tome of leadership of influence and two extra healing potions and, and the. Um, what are you going to do with a crossbow? And no one's proficient with it. I eat it. <laughs> what? He, no, nothing, Jay. I'm just being really I know, sorry. I know. All right, and, is, first thing that comes to my mind is just stick things in my mouth. But I, I, I don't I, hot boil it, eat it. I, Watch it. it. One of the venturing parties should just put it in storage somewhere in case you ever have to run across Rakshasa again. Uh, I think we should give it to two drink minimum. What? What were you gonna say? I was gonna ask, can MJ wield it? Uh, <gasps> oh, Kurt, 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 Mage Thief? No. Oh, okay. It's a good. It's a good point. Um, can anybody's anybody who's not here use it? <laughs> no. No, because your archer thief already is a longbow and uh, short bow for the halfling, right? It was a, put it on just put it on file for the next time someone thinks that they're going to yeah, go after the correct I, I will. I will. I will. Keep it in in in, in party notations, okay? I, I'll take care of that. 
I need a type of leadership influence and the uh, two extra. Can healing. I strap it to my dog? No. <laughs> that would be kind of fucking cool, though, Jay. I mean, think about it. No. Because then if you got a squirrel, why do you hate, why do you hate you, fun and us? I, you could get a squirrel that rides on the back of the dog that shoots the crossbow. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my yes. god. Yes. Oh my gosh, you guys are crazy. Yes. So uh, who wants? Who Wait, wants? Ed to, said I'm yes. Ed said yes. Ed said, said yes. So. Ed's humoring you all. <laughs> Ed said I so. Love it. I love it too. You know what? I love it too. There. Sir Codpiece, <laughs> protector of the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. I'm gonna have to befriend befriend a squirrel now. Thank God exactly. I have this magical pouch that who, triples who, all my snacks. Who wants an extra alien? <laughs> who wants an extra alien potion? I do. Everybody. Well, you, you guys decide. You do one for Can each. Can we give one to Kazara? <laughs> one for each group. Needs a healing potion right now, though. <laughs> one. Uh, you get the heal. You got. You got your priests and clerks can rest and uh, and, and pray for spells and seven day travel back. By the time you get back, you'll all okay. be undamaged. Yeah. Um. Can we just keep? Can I keep Ed in my back pocket for any time you just you do things that I don't want you or you don't let me do things that I want to do? And can I can we just call it. Ed every yeah, time and, and say. Us? Ed, Ed said that I can. So. Sure. Squad <laughs> Squad Squad's putting Ed on speed dial. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> so uh -oh. we'll give one extra healing potion to each party, and they can decide which character gets it. How's that? Talk about a rules lawyer. It's oh. okay. We'll pay you. We'll pay you in butt jokes. Don't worry. We'll pay you in butt jokes. We've got plenty of those. You could say that we have them coming out the ass. Oh my ah! gosh! You guys, oh my are, God. you guys are terrible. Oh. Oh. So let's go with. Uh, let, uh, oh God, I love you guys so much. Uh, I already told you I was going to get drunk and cry about how much I love you guys. I've said this multiple times. So don't, like, don't do it. You won't. I haven't seen any tears it. yet, Bones. So uh, I have tears yet, Bones. Are you gonna start crying now? Maybe later tonight, baby, okay. in your DMs. I, I'm looking at I'm looking at charisma. Him, I'm looking at charisma, and I know you got only that spell book, Ravalantar, but you have 15, and that 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 tome will put you up to 16 charisma. Oh, all right. Ooh. Twist my rubber. Why arm. not? <laughs> yeah. All right. So that leaves that leaves the uh, the three way uh, and, um, a brooch, uh, uh, you know, uh, a dying and the uh, two extra healing potions. There are so many jokes to be had. Like I know. Two seconds you say <laughs> so something, Jay. Let's, I, I know. Every time I open my mouth, it seems that way. So you make this really <laughs> hard for me. I, who? Uh, <laughs> I, so between between uh, uh, between uh, Nixoli and Telegord, who gets the extra healing from that group? You guys decide. Nixoli. There you go. Sure, I don't care. Uh, and, uh, it's like, yeah, it doesn't matter. Which which member of the Slav Squad squad gets the other the one extra healing potion left? Let me I see. vote Kazara. Kazara, yeah, you have it. Kazara has, getting smacked. Kazara already has one on her sheet. Sally, then. All She's right. Yeah, Sally. Okay. Okay. I'm just making sure that you. Okay, and that leaves that leaves the uh, the uh, uh, mithril necklace. Can I just have it to be pretty? Who's it? <laughs> I, was, I was gonna say, can oh, I put it on Charlie? Wait, just town, sell it, and then divide the money amongst all of hey, us. Hey, there I you like go. That I like hey, that idea. Fun fact. All right. I, think that I like more I like being money. pretty. Are you gonna divide? Are you gonna divide it by eight? <laughs> You're gonna do it. Divide it by eight. Sell it and divide it by everyone. Yeah. yeah. All, right, all right. I'll do that. I'll do that. Look at that. More money. Teamwork right. awesome. dream work, baby. You see, you see Excelli get little dollar signs in her eyes when you talk about selling the, the, the necklace. <laughs> nice. So how how do you think the groups work together? Pretty well, you think? Yeah? Oh, yeah. All right. That was fun. There you go, Ed. See? That's what I wanted to hear. That's what I wanted to hear. You guys enjoyed it. I know it was tough. I know it was really, really... A I thought tough about um, being mean to you, Jay. Um, but <laughs> it wasn't, so... <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? She held back. She was. I was. Herself. I was gonna. I was gonna be IRL, not very nice, uh, for a moment there. But then I decided to not be. What not when, nice. when Devin broke her arm? <laughs> this yeah. was the moment. Initially, yeah, that was the moment. But she fell on her own. I didn't do that. No. 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 Mo mostly that time that you raced me when I could have just shot that dumb bitch. I. Um, I know, but I had to. I had to stretch it out a little bit. 
Oh, he oh. had the points. Yay. He I had, had the he points. Had, I had the points. Oh, I can say so points. many oh. mean things. I had the points. Day. Oh, my gosh. I thought my head was going to explode and my ears were going to start like, bleeding. I understand yeah, that, but that but, but that is up to – that was the audience – people who gave me all those points and it would be and they're giving them to me as a dm so i gotta utilize them yeah but you you're the one who decides when to use them i used them them right and here's the thing he just threw the entire audience under the bus yeah, yeah, really did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, they feel oh, good about that. it. Turn in, they're just turning us against chat. Yeah. It's fine. They're all. They, they, they're they, all... Feel, he, they feel good about it. They do, <laughs> and that's the thing. Uh-huh. You, can, you can read and, on either and, side. Yeah, thank you for the audience for helping. The uh, audience uh, was know, awesome. We had th- th- at least thanks to Rob for helping and whoever everybody. else helped us. Everybody else Rob, can suck it. <laughs> yes. No, it wasn't you. It wasn't you, Troy. It was uh, some of the others early on. Uh, Troy only gave me three. <laughs> yes, it wasn't. It was a lot of the other early people <laughs> that came right. on just before bitter. you. And just know, <laughs> just just, uh, and so you need to tell yeah. me. You need to tell me when you win if you want the two decks, the deck of many things, and the deck of friends and foes. Uh, they're really cool, right? Uh, you have these bright bones. I just have the deck of friends and foes. I do want the deck of many things. I need you to send me a link as to where I can purchase this. Okay, I will do that. No problem. What's the deck of many things? Is it like one of these things? Oh, chat, you know I'm kidding. I fucking love you guys. Yes, everyone Stop loves it. you all. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, Jesus, you sensitive sallies. These are really Whoa. cool. These are really wow. cool. Yeah, both wondering how do you, how do you like them. And then... Uh, Two two of these dice. You can the first one gets her color. I got pink black, the pink back. black and green. Okay, uh, let me uh, <laughs> let me do this and look at that. It's eleven ten. We went a little late. Will Don't you just good. send me my my decks already? Jeez. I love how you guys are bringing the dungeon mommy joke into chat here on on not uh, dungeon. <laughs> the next time Stop the slab it. squad starts, you're not allowed to call me mommy. That's creepy. Mommy, even though I am hurt. No, you're gonna. The more, the more you resist Mandy, the more Mommy? it's gonna happen. Lashara is Lashara on to claim. I know Lashara. Gets, yes, I see Lashara. Lashara is on to claim. Lashara, would you like? Would you like a Titan dice set or would you like the two decks? You just tell me what you want. Yeah, you can get the the pink, black, green, or the two decks. Uh, your choice. I will need your full name and address to send. You got it, Lashara. Uh, nice. I'm hoping you're kind of in the United States, just to let you know. Yeah. All right. Uh, put your name and address and whisper okay, to me, it. please. Would that be great? Here you go. Next, next, next dice Good. winner. Baker. Oh, great. That, that's awesome. Perfect. Baker, are you on? SM Baker ESQ. Another regular follower. Uh, I don't see him on. He may have had to go. Uh oh. All right. Well, we'll, right ho- we'll hold off on that winner right now, and let's go to the next one because we still have three anyway. Lady Gwen. Lady Chris. Gwen, eighteen. Oh, that's okay, Eric. See you, man. Have a good one, dude. Thanks, Eric. Thanks for playing. Hope you had fun. Nice playing with you, Eric. Bye. 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 Wonderful. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Eric. So, you, so you all know that Eric Boyd wrote uh, wrote all the deities books for Forgotten Realms, right? I do now. What? You didn't tell me that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Talk do your homework. Yeah. Fuck. Of, I, I uh, may have. Face an avatar. Before game. Demi human. Demi human deities. I never learned how to read. Yeah. So. Yeah, uh, Mandy, all ah. these. Mandy, all mm-hmm. these. These are his. What? All these. These books. These are all Eric Boyd. Yep. Damn. Yep. Uh, I handed all my deity stuff to Julia, and Julia went, oh my god, I can't do all the scheduling and write this. <laughs> so she laid it out and handed it to Eric, and Eric wrote the rest of it. Yeah. Which is all the rituals and all the temples. That's Ooh. cool. And also, Eric created, oh, yeah. the, Eric created the second edition specialty priest that I use today. So, nice. yep. 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 All right, so uh, did we get... Thanks, Anna. Thank you. Uh, did we get, um, did Lady, Thanks, did Lady Gwyn, is Lady Gwyn on? Let me see if Lady yeah. Gwyn is on. I didn't yeah. see Lady I didn't see Lady Gwyn pop up either. Nope. Okay, they're both oh. off. Oh, 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 o
Do you want uh, pink, the, the black, or the green? You tell me which Titan dice and give me name and address, and I'll send them right out to you. All right, and I got one more Titan dice to give away. Black. Just oh, Lashara plays. You play. Lashara plays with you, Josh. Right? Yes. It's Dawn. Sure. It's Dawn. Oh, it's Dawn. Yeah, Grax. Hey, Dawn. How you doing? Grax, Dawn. You had a different. Uh, I won't say I, anything else. Other details. That's awesome. Good. I'm I, I appreciate you coming on and play uh, and watching. She, well, she plays in my regular. Yeah, I know on, on Saturday nights. That, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, we got one more winner, and then we got to figure out who to raid into. I'll rate a Goodman. Is Goodman? Uh, I'm gonna check and see if Goodman's still going to be on. Uh, let me Gab look. Gabriel. I know Gabriel. Let me look at their page really quick. Gabriel, you got it. Do you want the pink or the green? Hey, I, they're only an hour and 19 minutes in. I think they're right. probably fine. I'll read it to them. Gabriel, you tell me what color, and I think I have your address already. I'm almost positive I have your address. So, All right, you got the you got the Oculus green. There you go. Yeah, I got that green set, right. too. They're pretty sweet. I, yeah, the, it's the green one with the purple ink, right? Yeah. yeah I have that one. That's it's like good. almost like a purpley pink. Nice. Yeah. Green's I have that color. one. Let me just awesome. make sure. All right, let's do some shout-outs. You, you guys want to shout-out through and, uh, and tell, tell everyone uh, uh, what you're doing? Ed, do you want to go first and then just go clockwise? I, I, I'm going to run upstairs. Gabrielle, I don't know if I have your uh, name and address. If I if I do, just let me know. But please, can you resend it in the in the whisper? Um, I, I'm gonna up and hit the restroom real quick while um I'm gonna explode. So okay, bye. Yeah, bye. Hey, hey, okay, I'm go. supposed to tell you what I'm doing. Uh, I can't tell you what I'm doing because <laughs> I'm nd 8 on all the Hollywood stuff and all the computer stuff. So I can say that I'm working on Volo's Guide to Orm Purr. With Clint Cronk and Jeff Gander and Fiona. And uh, it will be out uh, probably the end of this year. Or the end of next year, excuse me. Whenever we get around to it. And I'm also working on Askliath, Viking like Rule Dublin, for the Fate of the Norns role-playing game. A complete, detailed fantasy city. 96 city blocks. 1,300 buildings, each with NPCs in it. So, if you use this for your campaign, never again can your players say... Oh, screw that building there that you want us to go into. We're going over to this building over here. You can say, yeah, no problem. Got you covered. <laughs> is that, is that that's for... Awesome. That's uh, super cool. And that's for Fate of the Norns? Yeah, yeah. that's for... Yeah. Where, what, where could we use that in Greyhawk if we were using it? Like in the... Um, we got any, some Viking areas. Any port city that is okay. tidal. Uh, but you'll have to... If you don't want, like, authentic Viking names, as in no surnames everybody has matronyms or patronyms or rude nicknames you're gonna have to rename characters but other than that you can use it in any fantasy city it's a it's a uh a tidal port on a river so you could stick it anywhere are you guys going to be like getting that uh used in like the background of any adventures that are oh god yeah so yeah we're other oh, yeah. products yeah, Gary Khan will run a whole bunch of adventures, and it'll be an evergreen product. We'll use it like uh, we used Waterdeep for the Forgotten Realms. Ooh. So we'll do endless adventures. We'll do endless expansions. Um, but you don't have to use any of them if you don't want to. I've been working on this one for three years. I've been killing myself doing characters. Yeah, well... So it's like it reminds me of uh you know the depth to which Len went into things. Yes. Lukaku. Yeah. Like yeah. I mean the whole, out everybody. Yeah, the whole point is I do the donkey work, so you don't have to. You can enjoy the adventure. That's it's the good, whole point. It's a good resource. Yeah. Love that. Anyway, I should shut up now. What is everybody else doing? Hi guys. I'm Darling Creep Show. You might have seen me uh, talking shit in chat as well as during the game, because that's what I excel at. Uh, <laughs> tomorrow night, I'm going to be playing in more Blade Runner over on uh, Guild Superior, so I'm really excited about that. That game, we're on episode six of eight episodes total, and uh, that's 
pretty cool what's happening over there. It's a very, very serious game, very dark game, which I enjoy. And then afterwards, I'll be on my channel uh, painting some miniatures. I've actually got a uh, Christine Van Patten miniature that I'm going to be starting tomorrow evening while we watch some more Batman 66 because Adam West is awesome. <laughs> he, he was awesome yes he was. so thank you for coming on uh tonight i really appreciate it you know hope you, i know you had a good time and sorry you, i don't want the dog dying i didn't, didn't want to deal with that you understand that right we don't want the dog dying in this kind of episode so now you can use the dog in for in future ones right yeah, yeah. i get it <laughs> Does get, get, get torn, get, <laughs> how do your dog get torn apart by gas? I do game? expect to get some dog stats for the next game, though. Oh, there's got to be stats. There's got to be dog stats. It's right? There's got to be stats it's or we go it's on strike. Day. It's not a war dog. It's a regular dog. But yeah, There has st to be stats yeah. or we go it on strike day. Stats. I can do yeah. stats for the dog. I will hold the Slav Squad Squad. I will do Water stats Ridge. for your dog. I, I, <laughs> I feel <laughs> like... I feel I like I would be so close to this dog at this point. Like, we'd be best friends. Like, all I do is eat all day. So <laughs> that means all I do is feed this dog all day. So, like, we could totally get somewhere and I'd be like, sit, Charlie, be a good boy, and mommy will come back with more pocket cheese. And Charlie would just hang out wherever I sat him. I just so want my just fucking put a, dog. a knife in his <laughs> mouth for him to wield. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. So yeah. A whole sword, an entire sword. You mess it's with like the a dog fucking mall. Oh my god. Yeah. Moose, that's terrible. Whoever is watching the dog sold it to the tavern kitchen. No! That is absolutely no. 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 not that, true. The kitchen, kitchen is fucked. In the beginning of the session, you would know that I put it in the. I know. I'm just saying that's what Moose said in chat. Dog. I didn't say that. I'm telling chat that. You were paying attention. Yeah, I, I hope you that cook is watching his back. So Tony, Tony, are you off your writer's block? We're gonna kill the cook anyway. It's fine. It's fine. Is your writer, what was that? Is your writer's block done, Tony? Yes. That's good to hear. For now. <laughs> no. I think I was just stressing about it too much. I appreciate you putting in, uh, in the, on the Facebook the thing about going to, to Gary Con because I think in person we're gonna have a blast of a time. That would be so awesome. So I do too. I mean, online is fun, but in person I, I have more fun. Yeah, absolutely. And we'll be we'll only be short, Eric. And uh, you know, uh, I, and I apologize. Uh, Ed, what's the, the uh, your, your Norn's friend? Andrew. What's his name? Andrew. Andrew. Andrew Volkoskis. Yeah, we're gonna have Andrew guest guest play. Excellent. And that. So, and we're gonna we're, uh, uh, Josh is working on it, and it, we're gonna actually maybe even playing in the chop house. Oh, in the Ooh. restaurant. Nice. We'll see what we can do. Yeah. Nice. No, there's, you're probably not even supposed to mention that yet. So. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Okay. I well, of course, you, everything, just said still, it. everything's I still see it. Stuff. I, ha I have to get time off from my Thanks. day job. Right. So, you know, I, I can't confirm yet. But yes, I'm coming. Yes. Real life. <laughs> awesome. if, if, I, if I have to kill power to that whole library building for a week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you need... Ark Scott saying he needs to go to Gary Kine. I think he meant he need to leave tonight, so... Alright. Yep, I got it, uh, Gwen. Thank you. We're good. We're good. We got everyone. So, uh, Mandy, what's going on with you? Oh, um, it's my turn, is it? Okay. Sure. Uh, hi, everybody. Those of you who don't know me already, I'm Mandy, or the Mandy, as you see me all over the internet. I'm a professional dungeon master, a D&D player, homebrew writing person, forgotten realms messer-upper, and, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, only, it's only because I deeply love the forgotten realms, uh, and, uh, I oh, am, gosh. oh, here's, here's the big thing that I'm, that I'm doing now. I'm casting for my next campaign, which is starting in, uh, January, so casting is open till December, uh, 7th, and it is for, uh, my new homebrew world called Mist Lost. It is, Totally cool. homebrew, homebrew gods, homebrew archfey, homebrew. It's a whole new multiverse, baby. So awesome. if you wanna, if you wanna play a super cool homebrew game with me on stream, uh, apply today. You can find that on my Twitter. That's fantastic. I hope, uh, hope it's very successful. Thank you. Very cool. Bones. Uh, hi, it's uh, it's me, Bones. Um, I'm just doing a whole bunch of indie games over on my channel. Doing um, a indie game developer roundtable at the end of the year um on december 16th so if you're into games uh that you don't normally see on your steam front page come by 
we'll be talking about uh, a year in review of this past year for everything that's come out that's really exciting and what we look forward to see in uh, Q1 starting next year. Um, and then, of course, I'm playing TTRPGs around the web. As always, make sure you guys check out my social media and see where I'm going to be on other channels. It's a good time. Awesome. And uh, I hope I'm glad you're not mad at me. Uh, no, I'm mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean... you're dead. You're dead to me. Uh, that's funny. Kirsten Myriad. Glad you, glad you're, you're normally not here this late, which is awesome. I know. I'm usually I usually have dipped out by like an hour and a half ago. Uh, yeah, you guys can find me. Uh, I'm usually on Twitch streaming. Uh, I stream games, uh, but I also stream art as well. Uh, and I usually stream D and D art. So I either draw um, my own personal characters, or I have also been drawing uh, NPCs and such, doing art for uh, the homebrew world that I am creating and hoping to plan to run next year at some point. Not sure if that's going to be streamed or not, but. Uh, you can also find me on various other channels playing uh, D and D, including Mandy's channel and Praetor's Rejects. Uh, and yeah, I'm just I'm all over the place. Awesome, thank you for playing tonight. It's funny how uh, out of all the characters, your character seems the most level-headed of the group. Shock! It's it's because in every other game, I play a little chaos gremlin, so this is like my balance. <laughs> okay, <laughs> awesome to hear. Awesome. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this out there. Uh, um, should we? Uh, are you guys okay with me rating Goodman, or should we? Uh, uh, I uh, Insomnia Nights on too, but um, yeah, rate Goodman, man. Yeah, rate Goodman. Okay, we'll rate Goodman. I'm cool with whatever. Sure, they're pretty. Are they? They're not too far into streams. So. Yeah. All right. Okay. And then Josh. Vitani, uh, Vitani's, Vitani said, "Yeah, go uh, ahead." All right. Cool. And Josh. Um, I'm Josh Pop. I uh, work for Gary Khan. I do other things. Uh, La Kafka Archive Group, which tries to take Leonard's stuff after he passed and gave him, he gave us all the stuff that he didn't publish, and we're just trying to polish it up and get it out there. It's folks like me and Troy and Anna and, uh, and sometimes Jay, when I'm sometimes not Daniel Boggs, other people. Um, you know, because Leonard just wanted to see the stuff not just disappear into a box. Um, so, uh, we got a couple of things coming up that we're going to be putting out there. It was one thing for Gary Khan, uh, that's going to be basically new. And then one thing that's old, which was an adventure that Leonard did for like Gen Con nine or something like that, that just wound up, you know, nowhere that, uh, I think Alan found actually growing. Um, I probably, I probably played in that. <laughs> probably, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Uh, what else is going on next week is, um. I've done a lot of virtual cons, right? We've run about like, I don't know, 30 now in the last couple of years. Um, and I uh, got involved with Greyhawk Reborn. I'm running some games for them at RPGA Con. It's out of Calgary. It's a hybrid con. It's next weekend. There's room in the virtual games uh, if you're looking to, to play, uh, especially if you want to get into a first level Greyhawk Reborn game. That's organized play for Greyhawk games. Uh, basically, cool. Greyhawk just kept going. Yep. They just kept doing it. Um, and also next weekend, I'm going to be on a stream over at Dry Ike Con, Dry Ike Con in Germany, uh, doing a panel called The Future of Conventions, which will probably be a discussion about virtual and physical convention and gaming and stuff like that. So I'll be giving my opinion on the matter. And uh, Anna is going to be with me, Anna Meyer. Uh, awesome. Because she's nice. like, you know, she, she has been doing both and you know she's international too so she's got that some some better perspective um anyway and you know lots of other stuff but that's what's uh anything else i'm forgetting anybody i think you're getting thanks to the chat so no so no tomorrow night another big gab and i got sean reynolds on thanks pal yeah sean reynolds tomorrow night uh we had him on two years ago and we got him back for a full two hours this time and I delved deep into all the Living Greyhawk journals and all the stuff he did for Greyhawk uh, going, uh, you know, that I could find. So uh, uh, that'll be a great discussion. That's tomorrow at 7. Uh, you know, Sean Reynolds is a really good guy. So, and it does Yeah, he was, at, uh, he was at Game Hole. Yep, he was at Game Hole, absolutely. So that's it for tonight. Thanks, everyone. Thank you for all the wonderful support. And thank you to the both casts for working so well together. Thank you for all the fun times and laughs and uh, busting my balls. So... Thanks, Jay. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Jay. Always a pleasure. To Always come a pleasure. You. We're gonna rate. <laughs> we're gonna rate. Fun. 
Uh, and we'll Thank set you. we'll you know we'll set up some regular games coming up. Oh, hey, you know, Ed, Ed, you're on next Friday, right? Still, you're scheduled for next. Yes. yes. Oh yeah. Well, and yeah. I have to I have to get you some original realms. Yes. Yes. So uh, I, I stole the ones from uh, 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 Mr. Uh, uh, what's his name has from his uh, that he saw at game hole that Alex Cammer shared with him. Those yep. pictures. I kind of downloaded them off the site, uh, and uh, I have those. But I yeah, I love some other stuff that you have too. So, uh, Fancy Mapping Show next Friday. Ed Greenwood is a special guest with Anna, Alyssa Faden, and myself. And that's next Friday at 8. We're going to do Maps of the Forgotten Realms. Yep. Ooh. Nice. Okay. I'm going to have to watch the VOD for that. Yes. Wait, so we get to see Ed's original hand-drawn maps? You're going to see whatever Ed has available. Yep. Absolutely. Hey, no. you, can see, you can see some of them right now. Oh, yeah. wait a minute. No, you can't. Yeah. Oh. They got Aww. No, wait a minute. But Ed will find them, and we will. Yeah, I'll find them. Yeah, Ed will find them, and we will get them, and uh, we'll have some fun with that. So that'll be next Friday night. All right, everyone. Everyone have a good have a good rest of the weekend. Enjoy it, and thank you. Uh, The community makes this stream, so I really appreciate everyone's support. Yeah. See you tomorrow night. Thank you. Seven o'clock. All right, let me uh, me set the weight up. We're gonna. People hung in there a long time, which I really appreciate. Raid, 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 raid. Yeah, I think this is the longest game we've done, Jay. Yeah. Well, it was a long one. Two was a doozy. Here. It was six hours. Wow. It was long. And, no, it wasn't six. We started five and a half. Five and a half. That's six hours in my book. Well, yeah, yeah. We, we round up here. We yeah. round up here. Yeah. Wow, 95, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. See you tomorrow. I'll send, I'll send you the bill for the extra hours, Jay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Paid games only or overtime. <laughs> Hey, games only moving forward. Let, yeah. let, let me, uh, let me. You broke the seal. Right. Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, so you know what? No, I better not. I'm not going to start trouble. <laughs> Too late. Too late. <laughs> Don't forget to turn off the stream, Jay. I'm turning.